<laughs> Good morning. Look who it is. It's beautiful, <laughs> Debbie. And we both got the kimono memo. We do look a bit like twins this morning. We do, twinners. We've got our jade and pearl necklaces and our kimonos. Both got the memo. Yeah, but you and I do like a kimono, don't we? I love, I love a kimono. On everything? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, over mm. jeans? Kimono. Yeah, well, Dress? Yes. Kimono? Yep. Just before bed? Kimono. kimono. <laughs> In bed, come on. No. <laughs> exactly. They are always appropriate. <laughs> they are. Is that my mic banging? It is possibly me. I did think this was a good idea at the beginning. It might not be. Oh, they look beautiful. Well, let me know if I need to take them off. Um, good morning, lovely jewellery makers. My goodness me, we've got a fantastic Saturday for you. I'm so excited about today's show. And the fact that you're going to be part of it as well, Debbie. Oh, thank because, you. Because um, I've said this, you know, um, when we first experienced these amazing carvings that Dave is bringing at 10 o'clock. Yes. Even if they are not within your budget, which they are definitely not within mine, or 100%. Mine. Just to be part of this moment in history. Because this isn't just historic for us here at Jewelry Maker. And just to get some perspective on this. Um, Here's little old jewellery maker, you know, we, we bring you the most beautiful, beautiful inspiration from such talented designers. We can bring you all your findings, all your beautiful gemstones, of course, but opportunities like this aren't just huge for us as a channel or, or, or us as a partnership. This is huge for the West. Yeah. Because this, to our knowledge anyway, other than the, the big three, your Bonhams, your Sotheby's and your Christie's, has never happened before. You know, most of us would have to register to go to attend those auction houses to be able to yeah. just witness something like this. Um, so it is, and I don't, I, and I genuinely, hand on heart, mean it. It's, it is historic, um, and I, I'll say this in Dave's absence. What we have a huge, I've got such respect for Dave, because um, what he has actually achieved for us here. Um, in, in, in order to just witness, you know, and possibly be able to own pieces like this, is gigantic. Mm. You know, these were exclusively held uh, uh, and would be in ascending auctions. Wow. You know, with people that have, you know, very, very, very big budgets. So it is, it is gigantic. So credit where it's due. What Dave has achieved on these carvings is truly, truly monumental. Um, and like I said, I'll say that in his absence because he never gives himself the credit that he completely deserves. Um, so yes, Dave is joining us from 10 o'clock today. We have six one-of-a-kind carvings. There, will be, there won't be a single other carving like this in the entire world. Isn't that amazing to think that you own something that nobody else has? I mean, sometimes you might have a print that's one of a hundred and you think that's yeah. good. But yeah. you actually own something. And even if they tried to do it the same twice, they couldn't, could they? Because no. the level of artistry. Yeah, it's all done by hand. Oh, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. I was trying to explain, because I uh, um, was talking to one of my friends yesterday, and I was telling her about today and how exciting today was, obviously. And just, she probably, I don't know if she was interested, but anyway, I was talking to her about it. Um, and she was going, okay, so these are carved by hand, but you know when someone can't quite grasp how exceptional they are? Mm. I was like, you're gonna have to tune in because they're, they're mind-blowingly beautiful. So, okay, let's give Dave an, in an opportunity to introduce, because there will be people who are thinking, what's going on, I don't mm. know. Um, here is Dave talking about what is gonna happen today at 10 o'clock. Like I said, just to witness something like this is absolutely incredible, Dave Troth. I would love uh, for each of you to be able to join me this weekend for an unprecedented collection. And I don't just mean unprecedented here at Jewelry Maker. Um, after speaking with many of uh, fellow collectors and people who are interested in Jadeite in the Far East, we genuinely believe this might be the first time ever a gallery exhibition like this has ever been offered firsthand in the Western world. Pieces like this do occasionally make their way into the hands of Western collectors, but it will come from possibly an auction house in Hong Kong. To have the access to a master's studio, to be able to offer his unique artworks to our collectors, that each one has possibly been worked on for six months or longer, is a real privilege for me. And for those of you that are gonna be joining in, I've got some very special news to share with you. I want everyone to have the chance to be able to own something, something like this. I think it's very important. 
and I'd love for you to come and view these incredible pieces of art with me. Pieces of art, without shadow of a doubt. It's the sort of thing I was just saying to Elle that makes you want to just touch it. Yeah. Just, because... Well, that, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I remember when we had a big um, skull in the office that I think came from the Mineral Man, a big, big, huge piece of quartz and I just wanted to touch it I get the same feeling with these it's just like unbelievable yeah unbelievable um yeah and, and by all means you can when they're they're not in the studio as of yet, no, not here yet. Um, but when you when you see them in person up close just it'll blow your mind even more um yeah so there's six available um, opportunities each and every single one different one of a kind as we just said and even the wood plinths are hand carved you can see that yeah though, can't just you? beautiful I mean, oh. But it's not just about these magnificent works of arts today because we have the wonderful Debbie <laughs> and she has created some beautiful jewellery. So we have a tool. Go What's on. the tool all about? Well, we've got two tools. Two tools. We've got a ring stretcher tool, which is a really affordable, smaller one. Okay. Um, but the really fun tool is a, um, well, a channel set tool, really. Um, and it's just like a punch. That's the ring set. That's, That's the, the ring. ring stretcher. Okay. Perfect. And then we've got a um, sort of channel setting tool, which I had such fun with. You know, this is the jewelry. Is over that those here. those amazing earrings that I saw on social oh, yeah. media? <laughs> oh. So it enables you to put little crystals on things, but it, you put a little channel for them first, so they kind of sit in there. You know, so. Um, I made the earrings from scratch from copper sheet, but the rest are just bundles of our uh, pendants and things that you can customise. I love a wow. bit of customisation. So you've encrusted them with those beautiful crystals? Yeah. How amazing. So that's coming up, that tool's coming up at? 12. 12 o'clock yeah, today. Yeah. Um, now, the ring stretcher we haven't seen in how long? Five years? Really? Do you know what I love about this one? It's a very small tool. So, you know, not everyone's got a huge space in the mm. workshop. So, you know, you can pop this in a drawer. It's very useful um, and it's not difficult to use. And it's not going to be like a considered £100 price tag. Okay. Um, so, you know, if you need to stretch some ring bands, this is a great I was going to say, can I use this on um, existing jewellery then? Yeah, definitely. Nothing with stones in, but any bands that you want to um, you can, you stretch, can, you, you certainly can. Amazing. So that's happening at 12 o'clock today. Your early bird today, they are back. And you can start shopping ahead and pre-ordering on these, and I would encourage that right now. Um, we have back by very, very, very popular demand in the three different colours as well, your sterling silver bead caps. Bead caps, I can never get enough of them. Nor me, they make such a difference, don't they? They transform a single bead. Absolutely, I mean, it can transform a design just by adding some bead caps to one bead. Yeah, just literally pop them on, away you go. Staples they Staples. are. Staples, um, so here's the rose. Um, you saw the yellow gold. And we also have them in the silver colour as well. Um, just so you know, the rose and the yellow gold are more limited edition. Um, a bit more limited in their quantity, sorry. And then you've got a larger quantity of the silver because that is your most popular colour. Now, today, it's not a lounge hour. Um, so that does mean that you can shop throughout the entirety um, of the day. But that does also mean... Um, the only thing you can you can actually shop ahead on is the early bird currently. So um, I'll just race through each and every single one of the items. Hang on a minute. They're at 20, why are they at 20, 20, 25 pounds, 99 pence? Okay, so righto, we should have been starting higher than that, but you know we will bring you an on-air <laughs> um, deal, of course. I mean, they're going to go perfectly with so many of your kits, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. Your early birds. Um, yeah, but there's a load and load of amazing goodies. We've got beautiful kits today as well. Um, got some lovely gemstones. I can see some Amazonite. Is that what I think it is, Debbie? Is that fluorite? Yes. Oh, my goodness, some beautiful fluorite. These three kits, a little bit of announcement. They're coming up at 9 o'clock. Um, OK, so basically, the reason why this isn't a lounge hour is an error. It's a mistake. Hey-ho, we, do, we all make them. Don't, don't beat yourself up about it, Roscoe. <laughs> it's all good. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> he says, I'll tell you what I'll do as an apology. Three kits. All on pre-order right now, which we never, ever do. Oh. At 9 o'clock is when we're officially bringing them, but you can shop ahead now. How about they're under £10 per kit? Under £10. 
I mean, that's an amazing price point for the strands on their own. And they've got findings in. Now, oh. I haven't had a kit with findings in. I mean, my findings are getting so low. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially in silver. My silver always goes first. But I always have to have all three colours of findings because you never know what you're going to need, whether you want to mix your metals, what someone's going to ask you for, whether it be a gift. Um, I absolutely love the fluorite. Yeah, the look colors, at that. The colours in Got to be strand. one of the best strands of fluorite. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you have just price pledged that under £10, though. So amazing. So that means you can get all three kits for £30? It's pretty incredible, isn't it? That's amazing. That's so amazing. And I'm going to show you in the 9 a.m. demo how to make a stretchy goddess bracelet. Do you remember those? Oh, these? Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. So I haven't sort of done a goddess bracelet in, in ages. And I usually do them on um, tiger tail, you know, beading thread. And I thought, I wonder if you can do stretchy. So I had a play, and you can. It works. It works. It works beautifully. <laughs> it works absolutely beautiful. Um, so shop ahead on those kits. Um, do send us a message as well. Come and say hello to Debbie and I. And, of course, the lovely crew. We've already loaded uh, deals onto the website because, look, he, oh, bless him. I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Don't worry, Roscoe. It's all good. It's Saturday morning. You know, just chill. The kits, by the way, absolutely flying out. The beading caps, absolutely flying out as well. Um, yeah, because we haven't seen them in absolutely ages, no, have we? No, no. So, uh, yes, right then. Drop us a message. Tell us what you're up to as well this Saturday. Are you excited about today's show? Because I most certainly am. Um, starting your jewellery maker show, as we always do with your fabulous creations, it's the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Sorry. I used that time just to go, uh, I'm still very congested. You're a trooper. Congested, very snuggly. You sound very sexy with that. You could be a DJ. I told a story about that yesterday. Not me, personally. But, you know, you've got that husky voice. Have I? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you are, Dad. Um, <laughs> chip off the old block. My dad, I, I said this story yesterday. I remember going back to um, it, back at school, and it was my parents' evening, and... and my dad, he was a good, he was a good looking chap, yeah. a really good looking chap, yeah. and my pe my friends all fancied my dad. Um, <laughs> they did, you know, which you feel uncomfortable with at the time, yeah, don't yeah. you? But now I get it, I do get it. Um, but he, we went to a parents' evening, and um, my maths teacher and I wasn't great at maths, so I was fully expected to have a little bit of a, a telling off during my maths uh, um, parents' evening. Um, but no, my dad was there, and he had a bit of a, a, a cold and was sounding very husky like this. And then my maths teacher was like, oh. Hello, Mr. Barker. Oh, oh. Is, uh. <laughs> Hello. So, like, she just spent the whole time ogling my dad, and it was all good, actually. It all turned out well. So thank you very much for that. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I got off scot-free from being rubbish at maths. Um, anyway, starting us off this morning, some beautiful colour, number 302, um, is Susan James. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I oh, love glass that. glass fusion. That's absolutely gorgeous. Love a bit of glass fusion. And Susan says, morning, all at Jewelry Maker and Waffers. Here is my latest entry to the WAF uh, with various sizes of Howlite from Jewelry Maker, gold spacer beads from my stash, and gold-plated findings from Jewelry Maker. Um, the glass was purchased from um, an artisan glass shop. Good luck to everybody and have a lovely day. All the best. That's lovely. That's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. So, one of my favourite colours, the turquoise colour. It's yeah. just stunning. They work, don't they? They work beautifully yeah. together. Um, number 303 is from Venetia. Oh, what a lovely photo. Oh, that's a lovely photo. Beautiful. Um, hello, jewellery maker. My friend Karina is taking her dance teams to Florida wow. to compete in the World Championships. And I made her and her daughter Jess these stretchy bracelets using rainbow lava rock from jewellery maker. She sent me a message and a photo of them wearing them saying, thank you so much for our bracelets. I absolutely love them. From sunny Florida. How beautiful. Well, I'm sure those bracelets gave good luck. And good luck to you, to your friend's team as well. Definitely. That's amazing, isn't it? Mm. Um, number 304 is from the very talented Sean. Hello, Sean. Wow. Amazing. Is that a Rachel Norris? I think so. Wow, it's stunning. Look at that intricate wire work. Um, Sean says, I used one of my favourite tutorials by Rachel Norris <laughs> to make this tiger wire wrap necklace. I used copper wire, agate ovals and rounds, as well as a stunning quartz, brilliant cut 
gemstone um, in the tiger or from jewelry maker. Each agate is wire wrapped or wire caged and then rosary linked together. Thank you for your fantastic booklets and for bringing us such amazing uh, value goodies. Uh, my love and hugs to you all at Jewelry Maker and that's from the wonderful Sean. Over to you. Ooh, need my glasses. Um, I've got 305 and it's Karen Romanofsky. Hi all, I redesigned oh. my jadeite stretchy bracelet so that I could add the jadeite money bag charm that was in my amazing Christmas advent calendar, as well as giving it a bit of a zush. The money bag must be working as I've since won the Wall of Fame runner-up and the JM Make Spring yes! competition. Let's hope it runs in threes. Good luck to all. Oh, let me have a look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Amazing. So you're 305. Good luck to you. Yes, it does come in threes, doesn't it? 306, Nikki Ledwick. Dear JM, please see attach my mum's Erica Tricker's latest creation. This is a challenge piece. I set her to assist with the hat challenge my archery girl set me. This is my new outdoor finals Victorian steampunk style hat to go with the fascinator she made me for indoor finals. Wow, how clever. The ribbons from JM and Hobby Maker, the ribbon me girls, and the shell pearls are from JM as well. Looking forward to using it this weekend at the national tour. Thanks, Mum. What a cool mum and what a clever mum. Amazing. As well. So good luck to you, Nikki. And the next one, I've got number 307, and that's Deb Davis. Good name. Please find my offering for this week's Wall of Fame, a rose quartz snaky bracelet with gemstones from JM. Good luck to all the waffers. Oh, Amazing. Love the butterflies. Really beautiful. How beautiful and how talented you all are. Keep those entries coming in. Their draw happens on Wednesday morning, so you've still got time uh, to send your photographs in Good with luck. a short message. Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Remember, all the kits for nine o'clock are available on pre-order right now. The bead caps are going crazy on pre-order. The yellow and rose are already so already almost sold out. Um, Seventy percent of the stock of those have already gone. The kits at nine o'clock. They are guaranteed, price promising them under £10 today. And you can see you've got a beautiful fluorite, an amazing amazonite, and your lovely bumblebee jasper um, with, as Debbie pointed out, with findings. Yay. Yes. And I mean, that's a great price point for the strands alone, let alone everything else that comes with Definitely. it. Definitely. And I think, you know, if you are have been watching, having a little flick and have been watching and thinking, do you know what, I have a go at jewellery making, then um, this might be the kit for you because you get your findings in there and you also get your um, gemstones. So you can sort of get started for 9 99 which is pretty good. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. All you basically need is your, is your toolkit. Exactly. Which you can get for under a tenner, I think, anyway. Yeah. So or there or thereabouts. That's, that's pretty good. Very good. Um, amazing. So again, don't forget, drop us a message. To come and tell us what you're excited about today. Um, if you had any plans at 10 o'clock, and if you can, I would draw a line through them. Um, if you can, of course. <laughs> Um, just because it is going to be the most amazing morning um, from the kits, the inspiration, the talented guest designer, of course, and our wonderful special guest with a fabulous day. Um, I'm going to start this fabulous show with a very cool gemstone. It's doubly terminated. Ooh, is this it is. Mm -hmm. It is. Also goes by, yeah, you know it. One of my favourites. Love Herkimer Quartz. Also referred to as Herkimer Diamonds because it has got distinct similarities in its lovely appearance. Um, you can see that double termination within this. Uh, I love the positioning of the drill hole because it celebrates, doesn't it? That's yes. The beautiful natural crystal structure. These are faceted by Mother Nature. So, um, yeah, not on a cutting wheel. This is how they naturally occur um, within the earth. Um, actually found, discovered in um, Herkimer County in New York City. Oh, really? Yes. And I think they've got, you know, because you have got these natural shapes, don't you think it replicates like the skyline of New York? It really does. So I didn't cool. know that's where they came yeah. from. <laughs> and you can go and mine this gemstone if you like. It actually, uh, um, if ever you go over, over to uh, Herkimer County um, in New York, yes, you can pay for a mining license. You can uh, sort of have a go at mining this gemstone. Stone. Um, but it doesn't tend to be as fruitful as this. I was going to say, strand. I'd come back with one. One, yeah, <laughs> one itty bitty one possibly. Yeah. Um, 20 carats. Um, I always think it looks a little bit like salt and pepper diamonds as well because you have this really beautiful kind of monochrome, conclu uh, um, monochrome inclusions that occur naturally. Under £10? I'm more than happy at under £10. Are you? Who wants this? Oh, that's a good... Okay. You never used to be able to get... These. I know that I say this every time they're on. There's one time I really, really needed them for a commission, and I could I get them? 
and I could only see them in really obscure places or yeah. get them from America. Where they're expensive. Where they're really expensive and then you have to pay shipping. And there yeah. are lots of people use this sort of stone now for engagement rings. Yeah, so, lovely. You know, because they do look like salt and pepper diamonds, yeah. don't they? Well, Adele was wearing it, wasn't she? She was wearing this gemstone in her interview with uh, um, Oprah. She was wearing her Kama Court. Was she? Um, I tell you what, she didn't pay under £5 pounds for her <laughs> Kama Courts, though, did she? She might have done. She's she, very down to earth. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. Under £5 pounds for you this morning. How many have we got then, Roscoe? 40 available, but you're on it. Well done. I tell you what, bright, up and at it this morning, this Saturday morning, I tell you what, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to work with... Everything. I mean, I love the idea of Herkimer Quartz alongside pearls or maybe a white yes. jadeite, you know, yes. really uh, keeping that sort of monochrome beauty, celebrating these gorgeous shapes. And I, I don't know if I've got the time to do it now because these are absolutely flying out, but um, I've certainly shown you other retailers that use, you know, just a couple of your Herkimer, and they refer to them as Herk Herkimer diamonds, um, just a couple, maybe so simple wrap loop, and you're talking like £60 yeah. for a piece of jewellery, and it's just a couple of those amazing stones. Um, I get it, though, because, you know, they are difficult to get hold of. It's very, very challenging to get hold of this beautiful stone. It's only mined in a few locations around the world, um, and as I said, this is Mother Nature's faceting, not done on, actually, a cutting wheel. Four ninety nine. well done, everybody. When Hello to you, Ruby. Hello to you, Beshley. Hello to you, Una. Hello to you, London Muriel Maker in London. Hello, Giselle, Linda, Maureen, Carol Maker, West Midlands, Eileen. Here we go. This is what we were referring to. I forget what website this was actually from, but look, £34.80 for that for that sterling silver ring. Yeah. You know, um, that's one. That's one Herkimer. And a lot of people are setting them into, you know, like fine jewellers are setting these into um, white gold or, oh, lovely. you know, for high-end rings yes. because people love them and they've got the, a delicacy and a quality that you don't see in any other no. gemstone, do you? They're no. very, very distinctive. Yeah, diamonds don't look like that no. in, their, in their natural form. I love them. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Uh, shall we do... Yes, this is Kotan. Yeah, Kotan, natural, and we took it to a clearance deal the other day. Oh, wow, okay. It's a master carving, but if you're one of those people that prefers the, the, the smaller sizes, you know, for example, I mean, I'm, I'm wearing all the jade today, um, but if I wanted to put maybe like a little butterfly here, oh, or yeah. just here or here, in fact, hold that thought. How beautiful would that oh, be? I've not seen the butterflies before. How sweet are these? Oh, I love that. And she is double carved. That is imperial white, cotan mutton fat. Now there's seven of these left from the price that we did the other day. Um, I'll show you at the back of her hand as well. Hello, Susan in Cambridgeshire. Morning, beautiful L. Debbie and all the JM staff. Uh, my wall of fame pick was upside down. Oh, That's sorry, it. Susan. I'm so sorry. We've just corrected that for you, oh, my lovely. There we are. There we are, Susan. Well, it's beautiful. It was beautiful, even upside down, my lovely. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Love that. I love the colours. Lovely with copper. And and the fact you've got, got such um, so many mediums in one in one piece. Yeah. So many di different mixed mediums. Um, hello to you, Olga. Wow. Presenter necklines are, are looking very much like Chanel. Oh. Check us out. Yeah, move over. What was it? Who was it? Rihanna wearing all the pearls, wasn't she? You see, I've been outstacked today, if you'll excuse the expression, because I've only got one on. Nobody's I... outstacking. <laughs> I can't outstack you. No way. Because I've only got one on, and Elle's got more than me. Right, hang on a minute then. Let's rectify that. <laughs> I need to rectify that. One second. Usually I have loads. I put a picture on Facebook the other day. We're going out with my daughter to see Michael Bublé at about five. Or oh, I love Michael Bublé. <laughs> oh, How was that, by the way? Oh, he's so good. He is. He's, he's, he's dreamy, funny isn't he? as well. He's he quite... is funny. I've kissed Michael Bublé. Oh, Just what? Just dropping that one in. How come? I have, you? Yeah. yeah, and Adam. No, he hasn't. You've kissed Adam. <laughs> <laughs> it did just sound like I've kissed Adam. No, for the record, Ruth, I haven't kissed Adam. Promise, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's better. Oh, there we are. There you go. Sorted. Bit, I no, yeah, better. I have genuinely kissed Michael Bublé. As in just a... How? When? Just, How? Who? So before he made it real big, yeah. 
Um, I went to see him in concert All with right. an ex years and years ago, hence why I noticed there's no... <laughs> I don't have any guilt. Um, <laughs> No, it's all good. Uh, so we were sat like a, you know, as you can walk around and you've got, you've, you've got an, a walkway, haven't yeah. you, in an arena. And we were sat sort of on the front row and he walked around just gave, giving people kisses. You know, he's a very nice chap. He is a very nice yeah, chap. I know, so there you go. I'm sure there's lots of ladies out there saying, I've kissed Michael Bublé, because he does that. He's lovely. Um, anyway, right then. Yes, we did a closeout deal on this. Beautiful Kotam mutton fat. Now, Dave cl launched this. But that's an amazing deal for a hand-carved, steeped in history. The Kotan mine is believed, is, is rumoured uh, to be um, on the verge of depletion. This beautiful butterfly is double-carved as well. So we closed it, sold it very successfully at $29.99 until um, Ross and I kind of swooped on in there. <laughs> like, let's do a close our deal, yeah. Um, we've got seven of them left, so make the most of this opportunity. Well done, Alla in Surrey. What? So you can make earrings if you get two? Yeah. For that same if price you're point. quick. <laughs> you will need to be quick because there oh, are only I'd seven. Love, I haven't seen these before. I think they're beautiful. They are lovely, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I love the butterfly symbolism anyway. What are they symbolic of? I've gone blank. Transformation. There you go. Thank rebirth. You. you start as one thing. You can be anything. You know, it's just age old, isn't it? I like that. So do I. I needed you next to me because I'm a bit fuzzy this morning. So I was just trying to think about what does what does the butterfly mean? But, you know, but sometimes. It makes sense. Well, I need to pay you back for when I'm a bit menopausal and I can't think of complicated words like tall. <laughs> <laughs> Or flyers. We, I got, we got each other's back. Well done, everybody. <laughs> flyers? Yeah, I remember once going, they're, they're, <coughs> you went pliers. I went, that's it. That's <laughs> um, I don't have them here. Um, some pearls. Oh, OK, some beautiful drop pearls coming your way, lovely jewellery makers, that I think will be absolutely amazing. Um, will be absolutely amazing alongside... Alongside so many of well, your kits that are coming up with the butterfly. Can you imagine drop pearl or butterfly drop pearl? I think drop pearls. Are, oh, I want to see them. I want to see them. Bring them over Gorgeous Europe. Dan. <gasps> oh, they're you know when you underestimate <laughs> something. <laughs> I thought you meant titty. And ones. me? I totally underestimated this. Oh my goodness me! There's only four available. Wow. He was me imagining the little ones, you know, you know, about seven, eight millimetres. You've got, hang, yeah, but Ross, look, there's another one there. You've got, these are naturally coloured. They're like a Baroque drop, aren't they? Does yeah. that make sense? Yes. I like it. I like it. They're much more fluid, more liquid-like. Um, so look at the size, 12 to 14 millimetres. There's only four of these available. Oh my goodness, one of those butterflies would look absolutely beautiful perched on top of this. Really would. I mean, it would make a lovely drop if you just wanted to use one in a pendant, long yeah. line necklace. A little butterfly on top. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I've, I, you know, I'm going to try not to be, um, say the things I always say when I'm talking about jewellery maker pearls. I'm, I'm trying desperately not to, but I can feel myself gravitating <laughs> in that direction already. But we all know that what's on your screens right now is not unrealistic. It's not, is it? No. To see something like this in Hatton Garden or in uh, um, Bond Street or Chanel as well. It wouldn't be Chanel. Chanel use imitation pearls. Um, you know, or, I don't know, Paris. We would be talking about prices like this. Granted, they probably have a platinum or an 18 karat gold clasp on them. Um, and they'd possibly be sold individually. Yeah. Rather than a full strand. Now, there are four available opportunities. Shall we hold this up to the neckline? I think we should. Um, I'm going to show you a should-be price. Here at Jewellery Maker, this is a fantastic deal. These, these are huge drops. Probably some of the biggest drops we have in the entire vault. Yeah, I, I mean, I knew it, Ross. I knew that I was expecting that should be priced to be 3 dollars to be frank. But we're not closing there either. Ah, oh, there are four of you with it in your basket already. If everybody checks out, they've already sold out. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Stunning. It, can you wear too many gemstones? No. No, I don't think so either. I don't think so. Especially pearls and jade. My mum always used to say, jewellery's for wearing. Absolutely. You know, people get jewellery and they keep it in the bank or whatever. You know, jewellery's for wearing and loving and enjoying. I Absolutely. Think. We have four available. 
Look at the split payment already and we're not stopping there. How about just separate, I'll give them a count for you because what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. You've got nine pairs of earrings there straight yeah, away. Yeah. You know, um, I know this is a little bit tricky to show, but can you imagine? Just one of them? Beautiful. Oh, perfect, that pearl is. Oh my goodness me, these are dreamy. I'm quite envious. Wow, £100 back into your pocket, totally and utterly natural, gigantic in their size. Um, and we've said before, our, our pearl suppliers, nothing's changed, by the way, over the past year or so. Um, our pearl suppliers, and it was really after sort of the pandemic, they were saying, look, pearl, uh, strands like this aren't impossible, but they are very, very expensive. The pearl market, probably more than any other gem, um, was completely decimated during the COVID pandemic because mm. obviously people couldn't get out to the pearl farms and they couldn't look after um, the oysters or the mollusks, whatever it is. Um, and ultimately, they were all lost to the sea. That's years of investment that is lost to the sea. Oh, that's um, so it's going to take probably a decade to re, uh, sort of recoup I've got just one of them left. Is our call screens play, uh, playing up again today? Um, the final one opportunity. So, yeah, get them home. You know, you don't have to take my word for it. Have a little look elsewhere, and I, I know you will absolutely agree. Remember, you are you need to compare the quality, though, as well as the size um, and the shape, of course. Um, £199 is a great price for one, to be truthful. Well, yeah, and if you look in jewellers' windows, these are the sorts of pearls that you see for the big money, isn't yeah. it? Um, these unusual shapes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean... I, I, um, if you think House of Gucci, that film with Lady yeah. Gaga, it's this shape pearls. Pamela, you can take that last one if you check out. I can see you there. I've also got Eileen in London, and I've got another London collector. Um, amazing. Tying away, you're there. Pamela, if you've pressed your option one and you go through to our call centre, you can still get that one. £66.33 and pence only. Catherine, I can see you there as well in Lanarkshire. My goodness, we were over allocated, but it does need confirming. Six of you have it in your baskets for the final one opportunity. Totally and utterly natural. You know, uh, th these are legacy pearls. I say it all the time. You know, this is not me being um, disrespectful in any way, shape, or form, but you have your freshwater pearls that you're sort of your, your more generic sizes, you know, your six and your seven millimeters, and they, they command three figures. Sizes like this and shapes like this with natural colours can be sky high. I'll leave those with you. Absolutely amazing. Now, just to give you a heads up, your early bird today, they are back by very, very popular demand, your beautiful bead caps. Yay. Um, now, if you want to get the rose or the yellow, I would check, I would, I would do it now because they are on the verge of, pre, uh, of selling out already. Um, you do get all three designs. They are gold-plated, sterling silver, and rose gold-plated and silver. Um, the gold is this close to selling out already, and I haven't even brought them to air. So I would definitely, definitely recommend, encourage you shopping ahead on the bead caps. Um, yeah, it's been ages since we've had bead caps. We need bead stuff. caps, especially with the precious metal ones, to go with things like your pearls and your jade. Yeah. Things that you want to put the precious metal with. Absolutely, that you want to celebrate. Yeah. For sure. Um, and remember, 9 o'clock with our lovely Debbie, you've got some beautiful kits. And we've made a price pledge because basically we made a boo boo. Um, we forgot to lock everything. <laughs> A boo-boo. Um, yeah, we forgot about the lounge hour this morning. So basically, everything's available on pre-order right now. Um, they are all guaranteed under £10. That's amazing. Fluorite, one of the best strands of fluorite, I have to say. Amazonite, and you've got Bumblebee Jasper with findings. I know. And yeah, I just... As I said before, I'm always running out of my findings. We always used to get the findings in with the kits, didn't we? So you yeah. sort of built up your stash, but mine is depleted. So I think getting findings, Swindled. even if you're not going to use those findings with that strand, to have the findings in there is invaluable, really. Yeah. That fluorite strand's unbelievable, it's isn't gorgeous, it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? That jewellery is beautiful. I love that. Um, OK, I do, Ross. Ready for this? Hang on. You have to limber up for this one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that all one strand? It's all one oh. strand. <laughs> Two metres. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, you can make some amazing long line necklaces with that. Oh, love rhodonite. Yeah, so do I. It, for me, it's like raspberry and chocolate. Ooh. You've got that delicious or oh, natural colours. So this is Mother Nature. 
um, at its finest, no enhancement whatsoever, not even reconstitution. Um, again, road night, yeah, you get these really beautiful, delicious kind of uh, strawberry or raspberry-like colours teamed alongside some lovely sort of mocha, chocker tones. Um, every single one will be unique. Now, if you love this gemstone, I'm going to tell you, you also have a two-metre strand um, of rhodonite in the four mils coming up as well. So if you wanted to create maybe graduation um, or texture um, within your designs. We don't see it that often. No. It used to be one of our traditionals, didn't it? It really did. I love it because it's, I know it's not thought of as a neutral stone, so it's not white, it's not black, but it goes with so much because yeah. you've got that kind of subtle colour. I think yeah. it's really fresh and spring-like <coughs> as well. Excuse me. Um, I like the idea of this with jade, actually. I think it'd be really lovely with some jade. Yeah, I agree. Um, those really nice pinks. How many have we got? 19 available. Look at that carrot weight. Just casually buying 1,259 carrots of a beautiful genuine gemstone. <laughs> you know, you can't say that every day, can Not you? Not really, no. How many carrots of gemstones did you buy today? 1,259, you know. Um, just like that. <laughs> as you do. As you do. Um, Such a usable size as well. Yeah, like good old stretchies, 8 Stretchies, you can do your malas, you can do your long line necklaces, whole suites of jewellery with this many gemstones. Beautiful. And at 64 99 you know, it's a fantastic price point, isn't it, for that, that carrot way. Yeah, stretchies, knotting, marla yep. necklaces. It's just your, your, your um, classic rounds. So, you know, earrings, everything. So we all start with the rounds. They fit together beautifully. Just pop in some little spacer beads or some bead caps that are coming up would look so pretty on this strand. I struggle to move on from rounds, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I do love a round. Yeah, I love a round. I just, you know, if you're going to have your stretchies or if you're going to layer, then different size rounds just looks beautiful. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, though. London, Susan, Richard and Anelia. Emma in Cambridgeshire, Paula in London, Lisa um, in East Sussex, Muriel in London. Hello, Star. What a pretty name. Star in West Sussex. Nice to see you all this morning. Um, we're not stopping there, though. We've got 11 of these available within the vault. We've got the four mils, too, in a, another two metre strand. Two metres? Two <laughs> metres. 29.99. I mean, that is skipping rope length, isn't it? Do you know, I was just thinking, that's so weird. I was just thinking that you could skip with those. I wouldn't advise it, but yeah, no. that is skipping you know, rope I mean, length. Yeah, no, because there's, there's 1,259 carats of a beautiful gemstone. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to be skipping with no, them. No, you don't want that, that back around your face either, do you? <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Four mils are coming up as well. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. You can see that quantity is dropping. These will be lovely additions as well. I'm just going to reach for, sorry, um, the Amazonite that's Ooh, coming yeah. up within Debbie's kit. You know it's going under £10 for Debbie's kit this morning, so you can shop ahead and secure yours. Um, how about also as well, how about putting your beautiful fluorite in there? Because you've got a similar colour palette, haven't you? The colours in that fluorite are I almost so said, stunning. Come a palette. <laughs> it's, the joy of, <laughs> it's the joy of actually having being as congested as you are who knows what words are going to come out of my mouth <laughs> the final one well done four millimeters are coming your way as well apologies i'm just a bit snuffly okay <laughs> um <laughs> amazing 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 um let's do the four millimeters now shall we i love a four mil yeah love them i mean the necklace that i just passed over to you Four mils and little seed pearls. Really simple. And I know I keep going on about stacking, but these are amazing for stacking because all you need to do to stack necklaces is just put different sizes of the same gemstones. Yeah. And it just looks beautiful. It does. And also if you're doing sweets of jewellery, if you've got both of those strands, you've got endless design opportunities here. A little one, a bigger one and a spacer bead. There's your earring. Beautiful. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Stretchy bracelets. Yeah. You know, very, um, I know I'm sure, I can't remember what, what, you know, what presentation it was, but we've certainly showed lots of beaded jewellery, haven't we, before, like long line, lots of uh, uh, sort of pendulum, sort of metaphysical mm. um, inspiration and vibes. They just really work. Um, so two metres of natural road night, again, that wonderful, like, like you've stirred raspberry into some delicious chocolate sauce. You're making me hungry. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> but it sounds like yummy, doesn't it? On no, a waffle. When I was pregnant, I, it was raspberries that I used to crave. Was it? Yeah. Mine was bananas. I used to stand there and look at them like I was worshipping them. <laughs> they go a bit weird when you're pregnant sometimes, yeah. don't you? You do. <laughs> 19.99 um, for two metres off. How many did we have, sorry, Ross? 
20 of these available, um, yeah, under 20 pounds. That is effectively, you know, because it's easy for me to, that's one, that's like our normal length, mm -hmm. isn't it? About that one, two, three, four, about five strands. <laughs> About oh, yeah. five of our usual strands. Oh, you strands. could do a lovely, now you've done that, a lovely multi-layered piece. Ooh, yes. You know, with our clasps that will hold uh, multi-layers and maybe some space space or some pearls. Nice. I like the idea of pearls with this gemstone. Uh, again, it's that contrast, isn't it? It's mm. a bit softer than, say, a jet black gemstone. Definitely. And it wouldn't be too heavy as well with this size. Love it. Love it. Again, check out your baskets. Make sure you guarantee your success and drop us a message. We've got tools to bring you. Two tools. Say that tools. fast. Tools. Yes. Uh, Debbie loves a tool. Um, we've got kits under £10 that you can shop ahead and guarantee right now. <laughs> Sorry, there's a sentence. Debbie loves a tool. Um, <laughs> amazing. Um, should we do another, t another two metre strand? In your beautiful red mahogany. Is this a new thing, the two metre strand? Maybe. I was very, very happy with the one metre, but now I'm two metre. Yes, please. I know. We just always want more, don't we? Oh, what's this? More, 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 as uh, Billy Idol once said. <laughs> um, is this red tiger's eye? It this is. This is gorgeous. It always reminds me of that sort of, you know, like the antique furniture that's got that really deep, like, colour. That's been it? polished yeah, by those like professional People. With proper wax and yeah, stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, because you've got that wonderful chatoyancy to, within this gemstone. Yes, coloured tiger's eye. So you can get it in blues, greens, yellows. You can get it in uh, all different colours, basically. Um, it doesn't hinder your ability to see that chatoyancy. In actual fact, in my opinion, it actually enhances our mm -hmm. ability to... Um, see that wonderful phenomena effect. It's like a migration of light that just circles all bits around each of the stones. 507 carats of tiger's eye. Again, pop along to good old Thomas Sabo. I mean, they're a big advocator of this beautiful gemstone and a long line beaded necklace that I know you could, uh, I know you could make, especially with the bee caps that are yeah. coming up in your early bird today. Um, you're talking three figures for any one of their necklaces. Great for gents' jewellery as well. Yeah, definitely unisex. I mean, lovely with gold. Yeah, nice. And um, gold's very in at the minute, but equally silver or rose gold. It's one lovely. of those gemstones that I think goes with anything. I can imagine Beckham wearing something like this. Yeah, so could I actually. Someone, you know, who else is trendy? Who else wears jewellery? Uh, Tom Hardy. Oh, Tom Hardy, yeah. Yeah, hang on. Throw this one in there. Harry Styles, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, he does his pearls. Um, Jeremy Clarkson. He, yes. He loves his beaded jewellery, does Clarkson. <laughs> he does, though. I like Jeremy Clarkson. As does, um, not James May, the other one. Oh, um, Richard, Richard Hammond. Yes, yes. Because I was noticing, when I was when watching them, I've always noticed that he wears his beaded bracelets yeah, when he's driving the, the car. Bracelets. Yeah, yeah. Mm. love it, absolutely. £24.99, pence. well, you'll make a lot of stretchy bracelets out of a two metre long length. <laughs> yeah, you That's will. a lot of stretchies. Um, well done, everybody, congratulations. Shall we do, are the bead trays, now you are eyeing these up, our Debs, weren't They're you? so cute. Yeah, they are fabulous. I need to just make sure I'm not banging my mic right here. And do you know, like, when you're working with oh, lots of different beads on your mat, and if you've got the smaller ones, and then you need to just kind of scoop them up, I think it's really good to have a couple of these and to, I know that they sort out your beads, but to just keep them in the little channel in the middle, because then when it comes to putting it back or putting it on your mat or where you need to put it, you've got that really easy way of pouring them out. You have a you? funnel. A little funnel. Is there anything more satisfying than funneling? <laughs> I'm going to start with the black. <laughs> I, I said it yesterday, it's the Beecham's, okay? Um, sends me a little bit funneling. It is quite satisfying, though, isn't it? Just like, you know, good old, good old funnel. Yeah, it's like if you get all your beads in one place, when you use a scoop. Yeah. I like that. Satisfying. Yeah. And it's not ricocheting across the living yeah. room floor. No, and, I'm you with know, you. You've got the cats and dogs chasing oh, it. Yeah. You know. Drop, drop, spit yeah, it out. Spit drop. it out. <laughs> Um, so and they're also very portable, aren't they? So um, yeah, basically you can you can you can sort your beads. If I tilt it in that direction, maybe you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Um, so you've got the different size gauges here for your beads. You've got, obviously got that area for you to put your seed beads, gemstones, whatever you wish. And then you have these little gullies there, so that you can obviously be making. You know, if you, if you if you make jewelry on the go as well, particularly, I think this is great that you can kind of throw in your handbag. Definitely, and organisation-wise, imagine having like four of these around you with different gemstones in, and you know, if, some people make a lot of one thing, don't they? If they make to sell, so they'll make the same style of stretchy, like ten of them, so you can have all of your beads and different ones. I think it would. Well, I know because I do it for a living. I can see so many possibilities on. And this. you know, these 
see, I have one of these. Yeah, me too. And this is what I make jewellery from. Mm. And I'll leave things in there mm. um, as well. And then, of course, kids get hold of it and they're going to shake it around. You could put this in that. Definitely. And it would stop all the beads sort of rolling around the place. Yeah. That's, and I end up having to scoop them out, if you At like. The corners, the yeah. Crevices. <laughs> yeah, so if they're actually in these bead trays, they're not going anywhere. $9.99. Um, this is kind of like a resin material. I was going to ask can I, if I can see what sure. it's made of. Oh, that's really substantial. Yeah, so it's not going to distort. It's not going to break. Now I've got a hundred of these available. Should we get? Should we take them under five pounds for you today? Ooh. And you've got the two different colours. So you've got it in the black and in the white coming your way. Um, the white is available. It's going to the same price point, so I'll put that in the background, shall I? Um, but yeah, they go in your bead trays. They will go in your jewellery maker bags. You know. Um, you might have different projects, as you said. You might have different projects on the go as well. You might be, you know, just store them in your little bead trays Definitely. and then pull them out as and when. For the price that I just heard that we're going to, I, yeah. I would get four, personally, yeah. me. Because I know that having them around would just save my time of fiddling about, which I like to do by, you know, oh, drop things and, oh, put, where are those? I've put them in the bag over there. Where are they? I just think organisation-wise and you know your time they, these would be absolutely brilliant i've not seen these before are they new they they're newish yes we launched them not so long ago they're really good um and it was i think yeah within the last six weeks or so and they might well sell out today because we have got no. less than a hundred of each of them they are fantastic aren't they and you think how much time we waste that's what i mean just trying to sort things out yeah and if you know where they are and they're each in a separate chain then when it's time to put them back you can just funnel them out amazing and um, good to go yeah. You are good to go. And obviously, you're going to be looking after your, your components as well. £4.99 pence only. Um, so you can get hold of the black and you can also get hold of the white. And I guess that works in terms of what gemstones uh, yeah, um, you're working with, you know, ease of uh, um, picking them up and actually seeing yeah. them, of course. Um, I think our call screens are frozen again today. I can't see you as of yet. I know you're there, but I can't, I can't see your name, sadly. Um, the white one is coming up on the back of this. So, yeah, worthwhile maybe multi-buying. Um, there are only 80 of the white, though, but you know it's going under £5. That's just a good. Just a cheeky little add-on to your order, isn't it? And they're not flimsy little plasticky things. No. They're like little tr proper trays. Like they, They're not going to bend and the beads are going to fall out, which sometimes, you know, with you, some of the other ones will just crack in the corners. Yeah. No, these are solid. Yeah. That's why I'm making such a noise. They are. They are. Thank you, Adam. Um, they are solid. Um, the white is flying, by the way, so clearly your preference. And I guess as well, if you do things like commissions, you know, very uh, um, professional to be able to sort of show the pieces or the gemstones that you have on offer. £4.99, well done, everybody. Congratulations, everyone. Um, a really, really, really exciting Saturday show for you today. A moment in history, if you will. Um, your kits are coming up. You can shop ahead and pre-order with Fantastic Debbie under for under £10 for each of those kits. And that's an amazing deal for the finding. It's an amazing deal for the gemstones as well. Now, final warning for your early bird um, because um, yeah we're going to dive into your early bird know that the gold and the rose gold are already almost sold out and we also have them in the silver color um, bead caps back by very very popular demand but like I said earlier on, this is a moment in history, it truly is, and we have one incredibly talented individual, and I don't just say that, say that because I consider him a friend. You know, what Dave has achieved, not just for us as a channel or us as a partnership, um, for the West and our ability to, to admire, I'm not even talking about necessarily purchase, but to admire, you know, one of a kind um, master carved pieces like this. Well, without further ado, here is Dave talking about the opportunity that is going to be before us from 10 o'clock today. I would love uh, for each of you to be able to join me this weekend for an unprecedented collection. And I don't just mean unprecedented here at Jewelry Maker. Um, after speaking with many of uh, fellow collectors, and people who are interested in jadeite in the Far East, we genuinely believe this might be the first time ever a gallery exhibition like this has ever been offered firsthand in the Western world. Pieces like this do occasionally make their way into the hands of Western collectors, but it will come from possibly an auction house in Hong Kong. To have the access to a master's studio, to be able to offer his unique artworks to our collectors, that each one has possibly been worked on for six months or longer is a real privilege for me and for those of you that are going to be joining in I've got some very special news to share with you. 
I want everyone to have the chance to be able to own something, something like this. I think it's very important and I'd love for you to come and view these incredible pieces of art with me. seen it there's a there's a I don't know if you call it a meme or a reel or whatever I don't know whatever the term used today um it came up on Facebook and there's like there's two types of people in the world <laughs> yeah and it's a camera looking um into sort of like a car window and you've got one really cute I think it's a chihuahua that pops up and he's like Doh. and then there's the <laughs> other one that's like this that's like Debbie you're the all perfect oh. and I'm that one I'm the oh. Well, this well, I feel like the one today. Oh, dear. A bit blurry. Right then. <laughs> you don't look blurry. I wish I looked like that when I was blurry. <laughs> Not making a great deal of sense. Um, these are absolutely flying on pre-order. And they have, as are the kits, by the way, that are Yay! going under £10. Ten, I know, amazing. Yeah. Amazing, so amazing for the strand. Amazing for the findings. So yes, I would use this time to shop ahead on those kits. Now, um, these are more limited and they have already, already flown out the door. A bead cap is something, I'll be honest, you know, when I first saw a bead cap, I'd be like, yeah, what, it was, what? Okay, I, I, I overlook them. Mm -hmm. But then when you actually in include them in jewellery, you really, really start to appreciate them. And I don't know if I've got any on any of the jewellery that we're wearing. So if you can imagine, you've got one round oval, whatever it is, um, gemstone. And I'll tip them out. Here you go. And we can use maybe one of the strands from Debbie's kits um, just to sort of, just to showcase it. Um, so you take one of your lovely bead caps. And I know I'm not teaching you how to suck eggs. I know loads of you know how to do this. But, um, but you basically thread it on in between your strands. And you get this really beautiful flurry, this absolutely amazing detail um, within um, sort of, sort of embracing your gemstones. So, yes, now you get... Three different designs. They are all gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Um, so you have your precious metal here as well. They are super popular always. Now I'm going to start with the gold. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Look at the difference between that and then just one on its own. Yeah. So all you need is a bead cap, one bead, maybe a spacer bead, but not essential, or a smaller bead. And there's your earring. And look at that for a link in oh, a bracelet it looks beautiful. or a charm. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, stunning. And so if you're going to put the same beads together and you just want to add something different to maybe the focal bead. Yeah. Um, again, this is something that I'm forever like searching in the depths of my drawers if I can just find one because I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I know. they. Well, they are, I think, definitely an essential. Now, we are going to be introducing the graphics because these are already on the verge of selling out. So good luck. You get a pack of 20 of them. Um, approximately six millimetres across the three different designs. Graphics are live in three, two, one. There we go. OK. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's all right. It doesn't matter. Um, just go, go, go. Remember, know that these are on the verge of selling out already. Um, and again, I think they should become part of our essentials list, shouldn't they? And, you know, you don't have to use them like that. You can face them forward and use them as little flowers, like little bell flowers, so that you could even put a little stamen. I've done that before. Oh, through lovely. the centre with seed beads or micro-faceted beads. Um, and you can have it as like a little flower. As I just grabbed that one and popped it on the head pin, I noticed that how floral it really is. Because some of them do say that they're like flowers, but these really are like little like yeah, buttercups almost. They're Absolutely so pretty. beautiful. Aren't they lovely? Yeah, and, and they're different as well. So these are a little bit more hexagonal in their, uh, sorry, square in their shape. And then these ones you've got quite, I don't know, almost like a um, like a chrysanthemum. Does that make sense? Almost yeah. like a chrysanthemum yeah. shape. Make sure you're checking out your baskets because, again, there are so many names on our course screens right now. Uh, so you're getting 20 pieces across the three different designs. Again, gold-plated, um, beautiful 925 sterling silver. Good morning, everybody. It's lovely to be with you. I would encourage shopping ahead on the rose and also the silver. Um, if, like Debbie and I, um, you are desperate for your bead caps. Um, we will speak to the powers that be and 
and um, maybe this should be something that should be in our trade meeting on Monday morning and we should suggest that possibly we have them more frequently because they are always required they're always so popular yeah we had um, base metal ones a few months ago in a little box um, and I've been using those and do you know what they've all gone from yeah. the little box because oh the big that massive box yeah well it was no it's yeah sort of a, a box full of all different metal ones yeah um, and I've been using them in in kit design in other jewelry and literally I've got like four left or something yeah. and that's how often I use them I think having the um, precious metal ones as I said before quite important if you're making higher end things like I know that our prices of pearls and jade you think well is that higher end of course it is I mean you know these are like trade prices so I would always put precious metal into my jade designs or my my lovely pearl designs you know it, it deserves it I think I totally <laughs> agree I totally agree and it does create you said earlier on like a focal bead as well yeah it does um, right we're gonna have to do this in one price crash because they have gone completely nuts Pack of 20, again, precious metal on, precious metal. Wonderful intricacy as well, don't you think? Yeah, they're so pretty. They really are. It's not just a plain cap. You know, there's filigree no. work there. Yeah. 14, oh, sold out. Well done. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Now, um, 121 people missed out on that. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Um, we'll bring you the rose gold colour there now. Um, again, make sure you don't miss out on this opportunity. And I would shop ahead, as I said earlier on. You know the price point now, so, um, yeah, just make sure you don't miss out on that. They do make such a difference, don't they? And it, like I said, it was gen genuinely, when I first joined the Jewelry Maker family, something that I probably overlooked. Um, thinking, OK, I don't need bead caps. No, you probably don't. You can still make jewellery without bead caps. But they do make a difference it's the little flourishes the little touches that make your jewelry uniquely you yeah that people will often say to me oh, i knew you made that that's a debbie kershaw design that was very you and i think that's a lovely compliment to have. yes um yeah i can tell your jewelry can you yeah 100 percent. i think that you know to have these little flourishes or how people identify you because you'll use them in a different way that another designer might not. Yeah. I know Mark, what, for example, I think it was with those base, uh, base metal ones that you were referring to mm. the other day. I know he flattened them. Yes. Yeah. I've done that He's, before. Yeah, yeah, flattened them so that he created like this, uh, uh, um, like a disc yeah, as opposed pretty. to a cap. Yeah, it, it absolutely worked. Um, there they all are in the beautiful blush rose gold. You know where they're going to. You've got a pack of 20, loads of multi-buyers. Um, I will speak to the powers that be and see if we can get more of these in stock. They, we do need to, because they are. They were always on our shows, weren't they? They yeah, were on, on a regular basis, but um, very few and far between now. Um, OK, sold out, well done. The phone lines are so, so, so busy. What we're going to have to do, um, we'll just dip into a break to allow our call centre just to breathe, <laughs> bless them. Um, you can grab the silver colour on your pre-order alongside the kits. Let our call centre just uh, sort of catch up. Um, along with the kits on the website or the app. Ideal opportunity if you've never shopped with us via the app or um, the website. It's super easy. Listen, I was a little bit old school. I always used to pick up the phone, but it's much easier now um yeah you saw now i use the app all the time so now we've got a bigger quantity of the silver hey much 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 bigger we've got over 200 of them um meaning we will go that little bit lower as well than 14.99 so um again shop ahead debbie's amazing kits coming up as well all available on pre-order all the talent and inspiration coming your way back after this Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I would love uh, for each of you to be able to join me this weekend for an unprecedented collection. And I don't just mean unprecedented here at Jewelry Maker. Um, after speaking with many of uh, fellow collectors and people who are interested in jadeite in the Far East, we genuinely believe this might be the first time ever a gallery exhibition like this has ever been offered firsthand in the Western world. Pieces like this do occasionally make their way into the hands of Western collectors, but it will come from possibly an auction house in Hong Kong. To have the access to a master's studio, to be able to offer his unique artworks to our collectors, that each one has possibly been worked on for six months or longer, is a real privilege for me. And for those of you that are gonna be joining in, I've got some very special news to share with you. 
I want everyone to have the chance to be able to own something, something like this. I think it's very important and I'd love for you to come and view these incredible pieces of art with me. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. When we talk about jade, it has uh, like a 10,000 year history. But obviously before modern gemology, before labs, the finest and rarest gemstones that were collected by the different uh, uh, emperors, the different um, dynasties, were all referred to as jade. But one of the most valued stones in the Quinlong period was a, a gemstone known as the, the red jade. It was actually a Nanhong agate, which is actually far rarer than red jade. Um, it was mined so heavily during that period uh, by Emperor Quinlong that they mined it to depletion and it disappeared. In around 2009, they rediscovered the seam of Nanhong um, and China was said to enter into Nanhong fever. So much so that pieces the size of eggs um, like chicken's eggs were commanding over hundred thousand dollars. It's extraordinarily rare. It's the most valuable form of agate in the world. It is a quartzite jadeite variety. It's hundred percent natural and the most interesting thing is this new seam that was discovered in 2009 is a finer grade than even what was in the prized possession of the Quinlong uh, Emperor. It has no cracks, it is pure, but as we, we know, this material can and will disappear at some point, and um, a lot of collectors are trying to get it. We've managed to secure this one-time launch for Jewelry Maker to commemorate our birthday, and I would encourage any collector to get hold of it while they can. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. They've had a breather. That's an ask you a lot now, call centre. <laughs> we are going to work you pretty hard today, I have to say. Yeah, it looks like it with uh, goodies. No, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, really amazing. The kits are flying, by the way. Price pledged under £10 for those amazing kits. Um, but your spacer beads, love them. Um, space, not the space of beads, sorry, bead caps, beg your pardon. But there's so much more than something that caps a bead. They're decorative, they're filigree, they're intricate, they're fabulous. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's like, a, that's like the perfect compliment, is it, in amongst jewellery makers? Ah, oh, Debbie, <laughs> you really cap my bead, you do. <laughs> no one's ever said that to me. <laughs> Until today. Till today, yeah. Until today. Um, we had what? We had just under a hundred of the yellow and the rose. Um, and I've got just over 200 of the silver. Oh, that's good. But 105 have already gone. Yeah, not surprised. I'm not surprised. So let's bring the graphics live. Um, yeah, look at them. Absolutely beautiful. Phone lines. Yeah, crazy busy Go. once again. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, good morning, lovely jewellery makers. I hope you're all well. Happy Saturday. See, this shows how much we all need findings. We do. More findings. I'll tell you what. In fact, yeah, I'll have a word. I'll leave it with me. I'll have a word. Have a word, please. Yeah, I will. Because we need more findings. It'll go like this. Wayne O. Wayne. <laughs> Wayne. Is, he might be here. Is he here, Wayne? No, uh, he's still in. He's not here. 
tell you who is, though. Uh, Dave Trost just stepped Oh, is he bringing those gorgeous oh, my into goodness the studio? Um, Wayne, we need more of these beautiful bead caps because they do so much, don't they? Please, Wayne. So, so, so much. Pretty please. He'll be watching for sure. Um, oh, is this Caroline? Lovely Caroline. Oh, he's buying silver now as well. Who, Wayne? Oh, well, Wayne, he's Ooh. got fingers in every single pie, isn't he? <laughs> he's very good, isn't he? He is, I, I tell you what. Very clever. He, he does a lot. Um, the jewellery maker baker, what does that mean? Oh, finger in loads of pies, right, I see what you mean. Yeah, he has, to be fair. We couldn't have jewellery maker without him, could we, at the moment? I mean, we'd be lost. Let's not big him up too much now, come okay, on, because he will be watching right okay. now. <laughs> he doesn't need his ego inflating any more than it already is. <laughs> She didn't love you, Wayne. We love you. I'm <laughs> joking. Um, okay, right. First price crash already. We've got three full rows of names. Lots of multi buyers. Um, genuinely, I would recommend multi buying if you can because we don't have bead caps in our vault at the moment. Um, it is something I will have a word. I will have that conversation. Um, but we don't have a huge amount of them available. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. But we did make a little price promise, didn't we? We did make a price pledge that they were going to go a little bit lower than the previous colours. Um, I mean, just imagine those maybe, you know, those gorgeous pearls that we had a few moments ago. Mm -hmm. One bead cap. Yeah, and it just elevates the design there. You've got, you know, two of the lovely pearls and then a bead cap on the bottom. And you've just, I mean, how long does that take? No time at all. Seconds. And so if you are charging for your time, then you don't have to even factor in the like two no. minutes that it takes. And you've got a high end, beautiful oh, pair of earrings. Amazing. Uh, well, you know, put it on the bottom as well. That would be lovely rather than just having sort of um, the little bead of your, of, of your head pin. Yeah. Um, actually having the cap so it yes. looks like it's part it's it's it bring it all together isn't it it is it's those little touches that are everything i think i agree in 31 seconds we had just over 200 of these available um we don't have that quantity anymore i've got four full rows of names quantities look twos threes sixes fives um, I, I, I will struggle to read every single one of your names because there's just so many of you there. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I've been totally distracted by Dave's carving. I know. I have never seen anything like that in my life. I know, unbelievable. It's great. It was sorry. <laughs> it's very difficult to, to remain focused when you've got that going on. How do you even do that? I, I mean, know. absolute. I'd expect to see. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just. I'd okay. expect to see something like that in a museum. Well, that's where it should be, isn't it? Sorry, I've not seen them up close and they just came into the studio and they are absolutely beautiful. Do you want to have a, do you want to have a look? I mean, look at the wood as well. Look how the wood's been carved. <sighs> Crumbs, that is Coming stunning. up in just, just under an hour's time. Just under an hour's Imagine time. Imagine buying one of those for, um, say, your parents on their golden wedding or something that you're going to keep and cherish and yeah. pass down through the generations. Oh yeah, you, so this, is, this is generational, isn't it? This wow. is something just amazing, they absolutely incredible. Twelve ninety nine for your beautiful sterling silver bead cap. <laughs> I know, it's so difficult. Listen, you know, we've got the best job in the world, but um, also sometimes the hardest job in the world when you've got things like this going on in the background and you're trying to focus on talking that, about I've something else. I've never seen anything like those. Amazing, truly, truly amazing. Um, there is a little bit of a cue on the phone lines, lovely jewellery makers. Please do bear with our call centre. We are bombarding them already this bright and early on a Saturday morning. Yep. I know. <laughs> I've not. I've gone silent now because I'm just staring across the studio. I know. I know. <laughs> I've lost Debbie. Yeah. I've lost. I'm her. just working out which child I can sell to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. No, I don't mean it. I love my children with all my heart. <laughs> 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 Kidney. <laughs> Keep the child. <laughs> Twelve ninety nine. That's basically working out at. 65p per And this is per precious cap. metal. Precious metal. Not ba these aren't base metals. Which makes a big difference. Like I said, I'm using those pearls as an example that we had a few moments ago. Look, there's nothing wrong with just putting like a, a wrap loop and attaching it to a chain. Absolutely. Nothing not. wrong with that. However, if you want to transform it and to make it look like a, you know, a, a fine silversmith filigree worked bale, then a bead cap will do that. Definitely. And like people often say to me, well, I don't like to use precious metal findings because it brings my cost up and then I have to add it to my selling price mm -hmm. if you make to sell. But what did you say? They were at 65, 85, 65, 65 P to add to your selling cost is not 
considerable. So no. it's not going to make a massive difference to your to your retail price in your stall or your cabinet or wherever you're selling. So I think it's worth that investment to just be able to say genuine gemstone and precious metal. Absolutely. And there are certain gemstones, most to be honest, uh, certain ones in particular, I think absolutely should have your precious metals rather than your base metals, like Definitely. those pearls, as, as I was talking about yeah, a few moments jade, ago. And the jade, absolutely. And, you know, be beautiful sapphire yeah. and um, emerald, all the lovely high-end gemstones that we do here, especially the pearls, I think. Definitely. Uh, we've got 21 of them left. That's the final 10%. <laughs> um, I will have a chat to the powers that be, a.k.a. Wayno. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I will have a little chat with him. Um, out of 200, look, we're down to at uh, the final 19. I'll see if he can get any more in. We do need them. I, I totally agree with you. I can hear you kind of nodding and talking back to the TV screen. <laughs> I know we need them. Um, and like I said, once upon a time, we used to have them in abundance, didn't we? we yeah, we did. On, on every show. We used to take them for granted, I suppose. And it's only... Like everything. Well, I... When it's there, you take it and for then, granted. And you know, it's only as my drawer is depleted, because I've got different ones for different metals. And my silver is like on the dregs on the bottom yeah um so i know how much i use them just by looking in in my in, i was gonna say my drawers but that sounds wrong <laughs> <laughs> Um, amazing. Yes, well, that's it. You know, we all have to rummage around the drawers, don't we, to find things like that. You never know. You never know. Um, well done, everybody. Now, the kits are all ready, um, being checked out. Well done, everybody. Price plummet, uh, promised under £10. That's Bumblebee Jasper, Amazonite and Fluorite, the most beautiful examples of each and every single one of those strands. Um, yeah. Start shopping it, and then we can obviously have uh, uh, enjoy uh, Debbie's wonderful demonstrations. But like I said, this is a moment in history today. It really, really is. And I genuinely would not want to be anywhere else than right here this morning. Um, just to be part of something like this truly is incredible. And here is the man himself, the wonderful Dave Troth, explaining exactly what will happen at 10 o'clock today. I would love uh, for each of you to be able to join me this weekend for an unprecedented collection. And I don't just mean unprecedented here at Jewelry Maker. Um, after speaking with many of uh, fellow collectors and people who are interested in jadeite in the Far East, we genuinely believe this might be the first time ever a gallery exhibition like this has ever been offered firsthand in the Western world. Pieces like this do occasionally make their way into the hands of Western collectors, but it will come from possibly an auction house in Hong Kong. To have the access to a master's studio, to be able to offer his unique artworks to our collectors, that each one has possibly been worked on for six months or longer, is a real privilege for me. And for those of you that are gonna be joining in, I've got some very special news to share with you. I want everyone to have the chance to be able to own something, something like this. I think it's very important and I'd love for you to come and view these incredible pieces of art with me. Oh, it's a delicate. Uh, lost Sorry. Debbie. <laughs> Sorry. Back to the studio. Oh, I want that one. <laughs> Debbie's just like, oh, I just love them. They are amazing. But that's what <coughs> art's all about, though, isn't it? I'm a great, you know, I, I'm one. Me, I'm, I take my daughter and we went... Uh, on, in half term to, to the, a gallery I'd not been to. I've obviously been to all the ones from London because I'm from London, but I haven't been to all the ones in Leeds. Um, and I like looking and I can get lost. And not in everything, some things I don't like, but that's art, isn't it? Yeah, like that, yeah, yeah, it's evokes, very personal. It's evocative, it evokes a reaction. But these, I could, get, I could stand and look at for a long time. Amazing. They're lovely, yeah. They're absolutely incredible. And of course, I know I've said it already, it is, that's one of the pieces from the first collection um which is already now this is this has sold the royal cranes oh. this one sold i know we've got the uh, the vineyard of prosperity I today think that's my favorite i think it is amazing yeah. um love the carving with it too it's the base it's like a tree and it just oh beautiful the bird on the bangle we sold right um the guardians of the pearl we have today <gasps> Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, Mountain of Serenity is sold Gorgeous. already. Jade Through Time. 
So this one's today. All right. Yeah, Mountains of Serenity. Jade Through Time we sold. Uh, yes, that's already gone. The butterfly on the bangle is in the studio it's as we speak. Stunning. It's amazing. Yeah, this absolutely amazing. It's like a catalogue you get at Sotheby's. Exactly, isn't it? yeah. Well, if you think we are, that's what, never mind jewellery maker, that's what what's going on right now, isn't it? This Not is that a, I've ever been to Sotheby's. No, just, nor me. Just, but um, imagine. Here's the dragon, the dragon and the pearl, that sold. Look at him. He's at, and by the way, these are this size. Huge. Huge. Um, this is my favourite, yeah. I absolutely love the golden fish. Little so beautiful so beautiful um you have bangle entwined we have today which is just breathtaking that one is absolutely beautiful yeah it's it it that that's that's pulling on my heartstrings that one bangle entwined um and then the swan song oh. and swan song two. Oh. and is there only one of each one in the world <sighs> One in the world of each of them. Oh, it's exciting. I know, it's so exciting. And, and as you said, you, you will, as I did uh, last time I had this amazing opportunity, I had to go over and have a look at them. Yeah, you have to really I get up I close. Can. Yeah, yes, of course you can. Okay. Um, okay. Right, so well done. It's happening at 10 o'clock today. It's a moment in history. And genuinely, like I said, this is, this is an opportunity we've got. Even if you're not necessarily going to be purchasing these, <clears throat> we pay to go to art galleries, don't we? Yeah. We pay to go to the V&A Museum. We pay to go um, to see these incredible artists. Um, well, these are artists of our generation. Mm -hmm. um, and this is an opportunity, like I said, even if you're not necessarily able to purchase them, which, look, I'll be honest, I can't purchase these, mm -hmm. but it's just a wonderful historic moment just to be able to witness them. So that's happening at 10 o'clock today. Right now, though, let's... Speaking of artists... Oh, no, don't... <laughs> no, no. Don't go there. <laughs> you are. You definitely, definitely are. Now, we've got brand new tools coming up today brand as well in the 12 o'clock hour. Yes. Um, but talk to us about your lovely jewellery. If you love this necklace and you love your rose gold plated findings, then start dialing now because we're starting with that kit. Um, the fluorite is unreal. Yeah, I um I was I was a bit deverish on what I wanted in these kits. Okay. Um, and I wanted findings because I th I thought you know if we've got any can we put some findings in because as I've been saying that I, th I think I haven't seen findings in a kit for a long time, and then I wanted gemstones that were really well, like my, one of my favourites is Amazonite and I wanted gemstone strands that were interesting and had different colours in. Yeah. When I opened this fluorite, I didn't almost didn't even know it was fluorite because of the different... Yeah, it's, you, you'd you be forgiven for thinking this was amethyst. Yeah, and different colours amethyst, lilac amethyst. You yeah. know, it just... Oh, it's so beautiful. So I decided to put it with a little seed pearls and because I think, you know, not everyone wants big chunky jewellery. Sometimes you want something elegant and understated. Yeah. So that's what I did with these. That is, this is a, a, an amazing quality strand it's of, of fluorite. And I can't believe we've said that this, we've made a price promise for this kit to be under £10. That necklace, Debbie, you know, the fact that I can possibly make that necklace for less than £10. <laughs> yeah. It's just madness, And isn't we've it? all got some pearls or little yes. beads left from the strand. You know that you take them off and you, you put them in your bead tray? Yes. Um, and because you only need a few, um, so but you would you could just rosary link the fluorites because there's so many different colours. Yeah, beautiful. And, and it would work the same way. That's a natural fluorite. Is it? I know. Oh, isn't Mother Nature clever? She is. She is indeed. And the fact that you have got that full kaleidoscope of colour with fluorite. Um, often, I always say this about fluorite. Fluorite can be quite a sleepy stone. Mm. It can be quite hazy, can't it? Yeah. A little bit, you know. And obviously it comes to the inclusions. But, um, yeah, I always think it can be a little bit sleepy and maybe sort of lack that intensity of saturation that we might wish for. Definitely not the case in this strand. <laughs> Definitely not. And Definitely I find not it a very calming gemstone. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to be very good at aiding learning. So if somebody's studying, this would be a nice gift for them, a fluorite piece. How about this oh, alongside yes, some... Yes, please. I know. Beautiful 12 millimetre jade rounds that are also just, just, just being casually um, popped onto the desk here. Under £10, that's for your full findings pack and your strand of fluorite. And is it going? I, I, I assume so. 
I assume, because I heard Ross say, and... Oh, my goodness. So, I think that this strand goes, if, seeing as we're going under £10, I think this strand goes amazingly with the Amazonite. Yeah. So, if you put those two together into one big kit... Yeah. It doesn't look like it would break the bank. I, I genuinely don't know what this is going to. Well, they're all guaranteed under under ten pounds. You so know, it's less than thirty for everything. I think that would be a lovely with change t together um, colours. I think it would be beautiful. Yeah, Very I agree. Uplifting. Come on, let's get some sun. Let's get some colour oh, in our lives. I hope. I hope so. You know, I hope the weather turns up for for king charles oh so do i so i hope do I. it does yeah uh, yeah i hope so too amazing come on we need a bit of sunshine now it's been a little bit slow on the uptake don't isn't it and i want, and this is the kind of jewelry that i want to exa be wearing exactly and i want to be making with i want to be using colors that make me happy and lift my mood so that's why i thought yeah definitely love it well that's back in the day back in the day debbie our findings pack used to be six pack. yeah weren't they 6.99 yeah i think so they i were, think they were yeah. Or a, a version of this finding yeah. pack anyway, we're about six ninety nine. What? Okay. For a kit? Yeah. Oh that's amazing, Ross. That's that's how how are we getting that strand of fluorite for seven ninety nine? I get two. Oh yeah, people are getting two. Yeah. <laughs> and three. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Look, look, look how beautiful that quality is. Amazing clarity, which as we, I think we all agree that fluorite can be still beautiful, but it's almost like oh, a little bit dreamy, a little bit, a little bit sleepy. And often the colours are in one gem. Yes. Whereas you've got sort of different gems, darker ones, lighter ones, oh. lavender ones, within this single gem, which I loved about this. And I, I just thought it lent itself to... Just a few little That's dust, beautiful. A dusting of pearls. That's so beautiful. <laughs> I love that you know, necklace, Debbie. You, oh, thank you. You can put whatever you want with that. Green would be nice with that. A green. Really nice. pretty. Oh, we had some chrysoprase yesterday. That or would be a nice. Citrine. Citrine. Nice. Nice. Seven pounds ninety-nine. How many did we have in terms of quantity? We had a hundred, but I can see there's a lot of multi buys and there's already two full rows of names. Linda Karen, hello to you, West Midlands, Antoinette Jill, Christina Channel Isles, well done to you, Yvette. I, I, our call centre can't keep up with you. Our, our call screen, sorry, not call centre. They're doing an amazing job. Sorry, call centre. Um, our call screen is actually struggling to keep up with you. Um, but look, twos, threes. I'm not surprised because even if you were to, and not that you are going to, um, even if you have to overlook that amazing strand, <laughs> you're getting a findings pack yeah. for seven ninety nine. Yeah, so you've got your chain, you've got your um, jump rings, you've got your earring wires, you've got your crimps, you've got some ball pins, yeah. and you've got the toggle two toggle clasps. So if you haven't made jewellery before and you're thinking, do you know what, I'm going to have a go, seven ninety nine, get the tool kit, which is it nine ninety nine on tool Something kit. like that. Yeah, and then you're good to go. You're and away. we've got loads of tutorials online as well that you can follow as well as all the design designers demos so I think this is a great one if people haven't done it before absolutely or if you're buying for a present trying to get someone into a bit of crafting you could, Adam's asking a question could I make those if I was a beginner yes yeah yeah it's you could of, do it Adam yeah. You can, you can do it. You know, the first thing I ever made was earrings, and then I was absolutely over the moon because I thought it would be three weeks till I could make a pair of earrings. So I was like, yes. No, on the verge of selling out though, Debbie. I'm not surprised. Do you want to know how many's left? 22. <gasps> yeah, and we've got way over 22 of you with it in your basket. Um, okay, the next is going to be. Oh, I love this gemstone. We very rarely see it now. And um, from the shallow waters of Indonesia, beautiful bumblebee jasper. So distinctive. It is one of those stones, a little bit like mukite, I think, that once you see it, you never forget it. Yes, very true. Um, um, yeah, amazing. Um, and. Lots of jaspers are named after their location of discovery. Um, lots of jaspers are actually named after, after their appearance, like ocean jasper, yeah. for example. That's a bit of both, I suppose, named after its appearance and its location. Um, mukite, named after its, uh, the Mooka, uh, Mooka Creek. Um, but, yeah, bumblebee jasper, it's very obvious. Dalmatian jasper, another mm. example. It's very obvious where it got its name from. This kit, by the way, you've already made the price promise. Bumblebee jasper doesn't normally come to, to our screens at a single figure price tag, very rarely if it does. Um, it's always a very popular stone as well because it's so distinctive, beautiful, distinctive, uh, a wonderful palette of colors. So we are actually saying that beautiful, <laughs> see what we did there, <laughs> see what we did there, um, is gonna be under 10 pounds then. Uh, well, yeah, and uh, you know, I've historically always put this with gold, mm. and what a revelation! It looks amazing with silver. Yeah, 
doesn't it? Yeah. It freshens it up. It gives it a different look. Um, of course, if you want to use your gold findings, you can. And then you've got a silver findings pack as well for under £10. But I loved it with silver. I thought it made it yeah. fresh and a bit... You know, when you get set in your ways as a jewellery maker and you always do certain things and then you're like, my daughter will make something. And I think, oh, I, I wouldn't have done that. It's amazing. Yeah. You've got to get out of your comfort zone. I love it with silver. I, I, I'm, I'm a creature of habit. Mm. 100%. Or you get into... You don't realise, but you get into certain habits. Yeah. Um, and sometimes thinking outside the box, and not, that's what kits will do for you, because quite often you may not have put two things together. Under ten. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just realised. Um, Nine ninety nine, but there's a clock on your screen that's going even lower again. Yay! So yeah, as with the previous kit, oh Debbie, absolutely beautiful. I do like to use the like you know back in the day when we used to have you know like ten head pins and four jump rings and we could only use that as guest designers. It was it was great for your creativity. And I always used to find interesting ways to use the findings. So this is obviously a toggle class, but you could use it for earrings. I think yeah. it's somewhere um, a pendant. You know, if you Love just it. wanted to use a couple of the gemstones, or of course you can use all of them for prices like this. You can you can make a gem heavy piece, but you know this kind of gemstone speaks for itself so you only put like seven eight nine on and you're still going to see that amazing color absolutely beautiful they're flying out the door <laughs> sorry <Was> it going? <laughs> uh, look, i would like to say that was intentional but it really wasn't um <laughs> this what this price stings ross is saying oh seven you can get two kits for 16 pounds yeah Two well, kits for sixteen pounds. Yeah, I mean, we, we've been saying that all three of them, all three of them under thirty. Um, Adam saying you're buzzing. <laughs> so, what do you mean? What do you mean? I killed it. If you have got a bee charm, <laughs> then it's good to put this gemstone with your bee charm because you're making a story with your jewellery. You are. So you can go to people that look, oh, I love bees. And you go, oh, that's Bumblebee Jasper. Yes. Oh, really? What's Bumblebee Jasper? You've opened that dialogue. And then yeah. everyone's learning about... I love that. I used to have so many conversations with people on my stall about the gemstones. You know, whether they bought them or not, they went away interested and enthused yes. by it. And I love that. Absolutely. I love that. Yeah, it is exciting. And it's exciting when people want to uh, sort of hear, mm. want to learn mm. about gemstones. I think that so many people are fascinated. And it was often people's partners, while they're standing, while their partner's looking, that would discuss the gemstones yeah. with me. And yeah. I really liked that. I, I liked me meeting people when I was making to sell. It was yeah, great. miss it, actually. Yeah, yeah. I do. Seven ninety nine only. That's amazing. It is amazing. So for sixteen pounds, you can get both this kit and the fluorite kit, and we've still got the Amazonite kit to bring you as well. Um, I mean, yeah, great if you want to replenish your stash. I mean, that is a fantastic. That's got to be less than what we've brought Bumblebee Jasper to air before um, in the past. I'm not saying always, but you know that yeah. I expect Bumblebee Jasper to be more than seven ninety nine. And then I don't expect to get all those findings. No, exactly. <laughs> Which, by the way, I haven't gone through that. You get two lots of your shepherd hooks, two of your uh, of your toggles, you get your crimps, you get your head pins, you get your length of chain, mm -hmm. and you're getting jump rings. Um, hello, Patsy, lovely. Hello, lovely ladies. Love Debbie's designs. Thank you. Um, I bought a kit to make on the go at the park or an appoint or a appointments. Um, time flies whilst crafting. That's a good call. Oh, that is isn't it and you know you've got everything in there haven't you and you just need your tools and you can just get it out of your bag i do that i do it. i can't do it in cars because it makes me feel sick but um yeah you know if i'm going somewhere i have to have my craft things there because it makes me happy i don't like to think i've gone on holiday or you know sat there or even crocheting in the winter you know i like to to have something so i think i see where you're coming from there and you definitely these aren't going to take up a big especially amount of if you're space, going to be sat they? waiting yeah, uh, around boring. things it is it is it is tedious isn't it um okay how quickly do we think the amazon is going to sell out <laughs> well oh we've got 200 okay i still think it'll sell out i you know i'm still fairly confident it's going to sell out can i just show you this because Look at the quality of these findings, and they've almost been kind of sidelined, I suppose, um, by the strands, the beautiful gemstones. But look, look at the quality of these findings. The length of the chain, it's a really lovely open length, yeah. uh, open link chain. The quality of your toggles, um, your head pins, and, and really the, the grade or the quality of your findings is as important as the quality of the gemstones, I think. Definitely. And, you know, you've got a charm bracelet there. Yeah. Because you've got the chain links big enough to hang your Amazonite from. Or maybe you just want to add one Amazonite and just have, like, the chain and one 
one bead. And if you've got the bead caps, pop a bead cap on there. Oh, and lovely. It's a really, really pretty um, bracelet. And here is one of our favourite gemstones, that is Amazonite. Now, we're going to open this up to everybody. Okay. Amazonite, a natural, genuine gemstone, member of the Feldspar family, hugely popular at the moment. You know, um, pop along um, to pop along um, <laughs> to Monica Veneda. Have a little look on their website and see the prices that uh, her Amazonite jewelry yeah, is. Yeah, true. Um, but also pop on there to uh, read the lovely write-up that she's uh, she has about this gemstone yeah. um, because it is definitely, I think, one of her favourites. One of her favourite gemstones that she talks about this gemstone, how it um, is believed to look better at sunrise and sunset. She talks about its soothing, beautiful properties of the gemstone. I love it. Yeah, me too. I think we all, it, it's, it's up there, isn't it? It's in the top 10 favourite gemstones here at Jewelry Maker. Def I love it. And I just, I can't get over that you can get the three kits for $7.99 each for the price of like one kit. Well, got to correct you there. I'm sorry, Debbie. Okay. Because... I mean, seven ninety nine would be fantastic, wouldn't it, for each of those kits? But your Amazonite kit's going to be six ninety nine. <laughs> oh, that made me cough. <laughs> and, <coughs> no, you're not. There's another clock on your screen. This, this is Ross showing off. <laughs> Isn't it, Ross? I mean, that's him showing off. Oh, I'd get, I don't know what this is going to I'd probably I love get, it, I love it. I'd get two of these at this price. A hundred percent, because there's a strand of beautiful, genuine Amazonite rounds in six mil, which is like the go-to. And just these findings, then you get, you'll get two lots of findings and two strands. Okay, so this is going under six ninety nine. and this isn't... It's okay. not going back up. It's going, yeah, it's going, it's going less. So, um... So hang on, it was what? How much for the other strands? Seven ninety nine each. So you're talking sixteen pound for those kits, righto? Six ninety nine right now, but it's going to go even lower. Amazing. <laughs> we have got two hundred. These are six millimeter genuine Amazonite gemstones, and you get all of those beautiful uh, gold plated findings. Well, <laughs> it is one of those, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. It's noise one of those I prices. <laughs> It is though. <laughs> Five ninety nine only. Once upon a time, once upon a time, that was illegal in the Come world of jewelry on. maker. That means that everybody gets to make jewelry. Yes. And I love that. Like everybody can go. Oh, okay, actually, five ninety nine. I'll give it a go. I, I haven't bought anything for a while, but you know, I'll treat myself. I like this price. Yes. Thank you, Ross. Absolutely. <laughs> He is showing off, isn't he? He's like, but yeah, there you go. There you go. Got a little bit of a... I could almost imagine the little head wobble. <laughs> um, I was on Tendex then. It's like I was at home watching the clock. I was like, is that, <laughs> is that the clock to finish the auction? Is it going down? No, no, no. What's yeah. going on? 5 .99. Amazing. We had 200 of them. Needless to say, they're flying out. <sighs> well done, everybody. I can't do um, this, um, I So hang on a minute. Stressed. So that is... So what we were at before, 16, uh, 16 pounds. 22 pounds, you can get all three kits. £22, if my math's correct, that is. Um, amazing. Well done. Well done, well done. Um, again, talk us through your beautiful jewellery, Debbie, and then take it away. Sorry. <laughs> Can I just let you into a little secret? Yeah. I put those kits together. I know you did. I didn't know, <laughs> I, I don't, I didn't know if you wanted me to say anything. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they go like on, them. Go on, Yeah, because, uh, Debbie, you're... Um, you're, you're making some lovely kits at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm putting some kits together at the minute, but... Um, yeah, so no, I had help from Sam who put it in all the complicated documents. But I um, it's a learning curve. I told him I wanted to find these in what I wanted in, and um, I didn't know they were going to go to this price. And I'm so pleased that you guys like them. Um, so sorry, yeah. Watch this space, <laughs> Debbie Kits on the horizon. Yeah, tell me what you want in your kits. Just put it on my Facebook page. There you go. Not that I'll be able to do it, but you know, I'll try. Well, no, you, yes, uh, absolutely. Right, and so. it's good. It's wonderful because you make jewelry yourself, so you know what our wonderful uh, audience wants. Well, I just, you know, and I want everyone to be able to get involved with this gorgeous hobby, and you know, like my my daughter does it, and she's always done, it. and even my son can make jewelry, but. Um, 
you know, so the younger generation are really getting into it. So if you wanted to buy a kit for your granddaughter, your daughter, your niece, you know, whatever, your friend, I think getting the younger generation off their screens and into, mm. I, I wrote um, an article about this for Craft Business magazine once about how the younger generation, it's so good for them to, to find their creativity. And I think they are. Yeah. And I think kits like this enable everyone to get involved. And I'm quite passionate about that. Can you tell? Yeah, no, but I love it. And it doesn't have to break the bank. No. Clearly. Oh, that's amazing, Ross. Thank you. Um, so, oh, oh. beautiful jewellery. I love this. So you've got some rosary linking just here. Yes. And then this beauty. I'm going to spin it round so everyone can see. Yeah, but it's not just any old stretchy, is it? No. It's a... Um, goddess bracelet so we used to make these a lot about i don't know six seven years ago um with you can do it with it's just beading thread and crimp the ends now this is one's made with smaller jump rings and then the one that i've got on my bead mat which i'll show you in a sec is made with larger ones and it gives more of a um kind of a crisscross effect yeah um if you have that so i've always made it with tiger tan then i remembered that my friend showed me absolutely ages ago how to make one of these in stretchy because you know stretchies are really in so i thought oh yeah i remember she showed me how to do that but can I remember <laughs> so I had a little play and this is what I came up with so I thought it might be quite nice lovely um, to show you just for Perfect. something a little bit different so to start off with what you do you want to take your um, beading elastic I don't know if we've got any beading elastic uh, we'll have a little look but you've probably got some in your stash if you've made jewelry before um, get your beading elastic and make sure that you've got enough no, not really. It depends on the size of the bead, of the beading elastic that you want it to go through. So if you're working with the micro faceted beads, like the smaller ones that were in the kits here, like the Bumblebee Jasper and the Fluorite, you'd want the thinner elastic. So the 0.5. The 0.5. Or, or the, yeah. But for this Amazonite, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it could go 0.8 with you that. You could go it? 0.8 with this one. Um, so make sure that you've got enough to go around your wrist and a bit extra because you don't want to be fiddling when you come to do, to do your knot. And then double that up. Okay. So I've doubled up. It was difficult to see. I only had clear or else I'd have bought the black elastic so you could see. And then what you want to do is to start it off is to take your bead to the centre of your elastic. Now you'll find that it will boing about because it's elastic, but it will soon behave itself. So I've taken my bead to the centre of my elastic. And then I'm going to pop on one of my jump rings. Now, if you've got some of those pesky closed jump rings that you don't know what to do with, you know, you, they, they've been in your stash for 10 years and like, I don't use closed jump rings. This is perfect for that, this project. But if not, you can use um, open jump rings. Just make sure that they're closed properly before you put them on. So I'm putting the jump ring on both strands and it's just going to sit flush there against my first bead. Now you want to have, you've got two strands obviously and you just want to have a look and see which strand is coming out of the bead. So just I'll get my fingers out of the way, I just want to hold it so that you can see. So the strand is actually coming out of this one, the bead. So I'm going to put my next bead on the other strand. So you, it's so easy, you get your next bead and you just pop it on the other strand, the one that um, is not coming out of the bead and drop it down. And then we're going to add another jump ring to both. So you always add your jump ring to both of your strands. And really, uh, the different thing about this is just how you knot it at the end. And I will show you that. So I'm putting a jump ring on. And then I'm going to push it together because look, you'll see that that little sort of arch is starting to form. Uh -huh. So you always put the next bead on the strand that's not coming out of the bead before. So in this case, it will be this lower strand. So I'm going to pop on my bead down to the bottom there so that you can see it starts to make that little wave pattern now this wave pattern is a bit more pronounced because I'm using larger jump rings and the one that you just saw on the um, on the display is actually smaller jump rings so it sort of has a, a, a less less pronounced wave so you can fiddle about with that and play with that and then I'm going to pop the jump ring again on both there. And it will kind of slide about a bit to start off with because you're, you're working with elastic. You can also do this with tiger tail. Um, I suppose that's the old fashioned word for your beading, beading thread, beading wire. So that as you start to go on, it starts to make this lovely little bracelet. And the beauty of it is that it's stretchy. 
So what you want to do is carry on. So we'll carry on for a couple of rows. Um, oh, have, perfect. Oh, there we go. So we've got 25 metres of your clear elastic in the 0.5 that would work with um, each of these, won't it? Each of these kits. Uh, we don't have it physically in the studio, but there we go. You can show a photograph of it. Um, you always need your, your elastic. You do need, I'm always need. I'm short of elastic, need, actually. I, I, again, I know I keep saying buy two, but... Um, this was the last dregs of my beading elastic that I no, use. I can, I can tell. I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, because it's like a funny length. It was like, what, the last bit on the no, score? No, but you know, you can see the difference in the end where it's been close yeah, you to, can. where it's, it's tighter <laughs> to the reel. That's not me bad-mouthing. No, I know. It, it, was... did, it becomes a little bit curlier at it, the end. It does, it? doesn't it? And I was like, have I got enough for the demo? Oh, you have. So well, don't worry. Stock up your stashes, everybody. Six ninety nine. Oh, that's what we need in a kit, beading elastic. There you go, your next project. <laughs> we'll have to get some. So what I'm doing is I'm just continuing on and you want to go until this is as long as you want it to be. Now, bearing in mind, it's not a bangle, so it doesn't have to be as wide as the widest part of your hand. It's going to sit like, this is a stretchy that Daisy made me. It's going to sit on your wrist. So the best thing to do is just measure um, how big you want it to be. So some people like the stretches quite tight, some don't. So you can bespoke the size there. And then how we, well, how you can finish it a number of ways. But how I finished it was I wanted to find a bead with a large hole. So this is just a finding literally from about 10 years ago at JM. Um, but you could use a tube, you could use a spacer bead with a larger hole, you could use a pearl with a larger hole, sort of anything that you can get your elastic through. Um, I've got another one here that is a bit bigger but let's see so when you finished imagine that this is the length of the bracelet you want to get both the strands and I'm just going to trim off so that they're the same because it can be a bit fiddly to get these through your focal bead so I'm going to try and get both of them at once through so I didn't have anything with a larger hole that, that would be easier so I'm just going to Pop this through. Now I might have to take this out of shot just so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay. There we go. There goes one. <laughs> do you need to get closer? I do. Okay. No problem. Sorry. Just let. Thanks. To be able to, I, I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, leaning back. Uh, oh, there you go. There's one. <laughs> just needed to get I think I need new glasses like when I'm at home I put my optimizer on when I can't see you know that thing that makes me look like back to the future <laughs> Marty I think you look really cute with that on is that the thing that you sit, sits on top of your head it sits on top of your head and once I put a picture on um, Facebook and someone went oh Deb why do you bother just do seed beading <laughs> <laughs> so I have my, my mask on for protecting my face and right so I've got both of those on there so both of my strands going through and it doesn't have to be a focal bead if these beads are big enough you yeah. can just use uh, one of those and then the way that I knotted it if you go and have a look at the first bead you put on there is that strand of elastic that just runs underneath or above yeah. the bead so you need to get both of these strands underneath that so again this is a bit fiddly so forgive me for I usually just stretch it out and pop one through so that's one I'm just I don't know if you can see that I've just gone underneath the elastic that's already there yeah and then I'm going to take the second one and go under there Okay, so that's two and then we're going to pull it I'll get my hands out of the way there we go so what I've done is I've popped the elastic underneath the elastic that's already under the first bead that I put on and then I'm not going to pull it too tight so look that's a baby bracelet <laughs> but, ah. you know imagine it's it's the full length and then what I do is I'm going to trim these off a little bit I don't need all this and don't throw your little um, ends away because you can use them for stretchy rings. So stretchy rings! I'm going to then just make a notch. So let me see if I can put that down there. So like that, I'm just making a notch. And then I just gently sort of push it down until it's where I want it to be. And then I never give it like one big tug. I always do some sort of little 
tugs until it's where I want it to be. So let me pull that out. So I've got a knot there. Then what I would do is pop some um, glue, some uh, jeweler's glue, maybe some gel on there, wait for it to dry. And then when it's dry, you can, if it's big enough, you can thread a tail through your bead and hide the knot inside. And then you can just trim off your ends. And I'll get the one on display to show you. So that then you've got sort of a full size stretchy um, and your knot is held inside. It could just be a spacer bead if you've got one with a large enough yeah. hole. Um, and you've got a nice stretchy and there's a baby one. Ah. <laughs> there's its mum. And it's just, you can also do that with tiger tail and instead of tying a knot, you would just crimp your yep. ends around your clasp. So it's an oldie, but a goodie. <laughs> uh, most definitely. And, and, and the fact that we can get the threading material, the kits. I know. Look, six ninety nine for the for the elastic, which is twenty five meters. So you're going to make a lot of stretchy bracelets. Oh, yeah, of course. So yes, and the kits yeah. for less than ten pounds. Yeah, that that was really really good. Good um, job. Well, good the job price good. was pretty good, wasn't amazing. it? Amazing, <laughs> absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know how we're doing in terms of quantity of each of those kits, but they did look like they were uh, flying out. Um, Hang on. Oh, we've got other colours of the elastic. How have you found this, Ross? Because they like gold they dust. They like gold dust. Okay. So we just did the 0 0.5 in the clear. And obviously, if you want to complement your gemstones, maybe you're using a gem that's a little bit more translucent. Yeah, like rose quartz. Yeah. Or you can see, it's nice to see the colour through. Through, or you want to intensify it. Yeah. Well, let's do the 0 0.5 in the black. So, for example... Um, I like to use, the, the, just for continuity, I like to use the um, black with something like, I don't know, your black spinels or your type A jadeites, for example, just to have that continuity and, you know, they complement, don't they? They do complement and sometimes you want the black elastic. My daughter is very into... Um, we sold the boxes a while ago, making the letter jewellery. Yes, know, you know? yeah. Um, and she makes elastics for her friends, like literally 10, 15 at a time. And she uses the black elastic. She likes the black elastic. Yes, it looks nice. Yeah. You wouldn't mind if that was what, on show? No, no, no. 100%. There it is on your screens. Yeah, again, you're getting 25 metres. This is a 0 0.5, uh, £6.99. pence. Um, <laughs> that's the funniest photo ever. The funniest photo, because you can't even see the black elastic. But it is black, <laughs> OK? <laughs> <laughs> it does say it there, though. Um, in the, oh, yes, it does. It's a very good um, width, the 0 0.5 yes. as well. Because it goes through pearls, doesn't it? It goes through pearls. Yeah. And um, so I've got a stretchy on, and it's a pearl stretchy. And I use the thinner um, elastic on this one because, you know, when you want a stretchy and you haven't got... So if you, if you can manage it to get different widths of elastic when we've got it available because it just sells out. Yeah, it does. And, um, we'll look yeah. at the call screens right now. How many have we got of these? Oh, we've got quantity. Oh, yay. Yes. Does that mean that, we'll, um, that Debbie and I are going to be able to... Does that mean Debbie and I will probably be successful as well? Because I'm desperate for elastic. Yes. Do need it. We've got it in the different colours and it is worthwhile. If you see it on your screens, get it whilst you can. It might be nice to put it in a kit if we've got quantity. Definitely. Ooh, there's an idea Watch for next face. week. <laughs> Watch this face. Love that. Well done. Hello to you all. Sylvia, West Midlands, uh, Beshley, Patricia, Monica, Cathy, Maker in Kent, London. Loads of you there. Um, but and, and also, look, I know, I always say this, I know how talented our amazing uh, amazing audience are. I see your yeah. pieces not only on um, the Wall of Fame, but on Facebook as well. You still, every so often though, it doesn't hurt just do a simple stretchy, does it? Because everybody loves stretchies. I wear so many stretchies because I like to layer. Yeah. Um, but designers, like, what, what was this, the famous was it Sweetie bracelet? Do you remember? It was uh, jump Links rings. of London. That's it. It was yeah. jump rings and it was on elastic because mm. I remember that I fixed it for a relative and it was just elastic. Yeah. And that's when I first realised that designers, that, that was, this was a good few years ago, were using elastic in yeah. their designs. Absolutely. So there's nothing wrong with using elastic. Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, OK, let's do the thicker. So this is what you would use with, obviously, your heavier uh, sort of carat yep. weight gemstones. Yep. Um, so this is 0 0.8 in its thickness. Um, and it, you'd probably struggle to get, I'm not saying indefinitely, but 0 0.8 would maybe, you'd struggle going through things like your pearls or your micro 
gems, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would, yeah. These um, would be, you could use it with the 0.6 though. Oh yeah, I mean, Sorry, mo the six mil. most um, of your ge large sort of 0 0.6 gemstones will be able to use your elastic. It's only when you're working with your micro faceted or your pearls or any of the um, higher end gemstones that have the smaller drill holes is when you need the thinner elastic. But like jades and everything, they're great. To, and also if you're if you've got a really valuable gemstone on, you want uh, if you you want a good substantial. Elastic. elastic yeah to totally yeah. So you've got some lovely jade or you know you i'd try and use the point yeah, yeah the try point and eight. try and use it but obviously the the slimmer the smaller gemstones aren't as heavy so that's no. not an issue no good point 6.99 this is a bit more limited though um so again i would make sure you check out how many have we got in terms of quantity roscoe oh okay there's still a hundred available so um but the core screens are yeah, lit up. We do need it, don't we? It's a little bit like a bee caps, they're essentials. Everybody needs a stretchy. I've got so many stretches. <laughs> I've got so many stretches. That's just what I'm I wearing now. I almost put one this morning as well, some of my stretchy Daisy braces. made that. That's really pretty, I was admiring it. So pretty. <sighs> yeah. My baby girl. Your baby girl. She's not, she's 16, but yeah. She's, she'll always be She'll always baby. be my baby. Love it. You can't <laughs> go wrong with stretchy bracelets, as you said. They're easy to throw on as well, aren't they? And away you go. Um, make sure you check out. Congratulations now. Um, the cherry on the proverbial cake um, is your black point eight. Oh yeah. Now, this is like gold I dust. need this, actually. I do definitely need this. Me too. Me too. Do you know what? After this weekend, I've got a couple of days. Got bank holiday, haven't yeah. we? So, and um, it's been a bit of a frenzy. I've had a bit of a frenzy just lately. We've mm. had like, we've, our houses on the market. My mum's house has sold, and just uh, just busy, busy, yeah. busy. Um, I'm going to sit down and make some jewellery. Do and maybe the sun will come out, and you can do it in the garden. That'd be nice with a glass that, of wine. Lovely. Ah. Oh. oh, and there who's having the kids? <laughs> I love them. I love kids. <laughs> that would just, just, just sit down and make some lovely jewelry. I love everybody's kids. I'm the one sat cross leg on the floor going, right, let's do this. Oh, <laughs> you're the best. You're the best. 6.99 only to get hold of this amazing. Yeah, stock up when you get the chance. They are race, aren't they, kids? They're funny. Oh, and you don't realise how quick it is. Like my, my granddaughter's like talking now. I know. And, uh, just pointing, bird and... Nana -na and ganga. -ga. You've got to keep up, haven't you? You've got to keep up with oh, them. That's a blessing. Oh, it yeah. Is. I need... You know, <laughs> more energy <laughs> well done everybody um amazing make sure you check out your baskets on debbie's kits as well they've fl absolutely flown out haven't they loved your goddess bracelet demonstration as well and um fyi your master class we've got tools yeah two tools what are your tools just a um, a, again, a ring can't... stretcher and then a, we've called it a beginner channel setting but that mm. is actually um, a basic component that you're going to see there and i've put all those little crystals on but the, the thing about this is that you can actually make a little channel for a crystal or whatever flat back you want to um glue onto there and, and it sort of sits in the little indentation so it was super fun Amazing. Super, super fun, yeah. Amazing. Well, I'm excited to do that. Um, beautiful crystals embedded in... Oh, where'd you stop with something like well, that? Well, very good for the birthstone jewellery. I've seen uh -huh. whole businesses about this. So you'll see when it gets to 12, but I've got a little sterling silver with a D and it's got a birthstone stuck on. So Love it. that's good. Fabulous. Make sure you're with us at 12 o'clock, but also in just under 10 minutes' time. Oh. <sighs> yeah, take, use this time now wisely. To do what you got to do, I don't know, get yourself comfortable because what's about to occur in the next uh, couple of hours is is absolutely gigantic. And I've said it so many times already, like I said, even if you're not necessarily one of the people that purchases these, and there will only be one for each, um, just to be part of this amazing journey because it is historic and i do genuinely mean historic here in the west mm. not just as a channel um these are all one of a kind there is no other carving like this in the world um you are going to get the opportunity to purchase and ultimately to witness some of the most miraculous works of art that we have ever seen in our entire professional careers and possibly ever will see here is Dave to talk about this monumental occasion that's happening in just under 10 minutes.
I would love uh, for each of you to be able to join me this weekend for an unprecedented collection. And I don't just mean unprecedented here at Jewelry Maker. Um, after speaking with many of uh, fellow collectors and people who are interested in Jadeite in the Far East, we genuinely believe this might be the first time ever a gallery exhibition like this has ever been offered firsthand in the Western world. Pieces like this do occasionally make their way into the hands of Western collectors, but it will come from possibly an auction house in Hong Kong. To have the access to a master's studio, to be able to offer his unique artworks to our collectors, that each one has possibly been worked on for six months or longer, is a real privilege for me. And for those of you that are gonna be joining in, I've got some very special news to share with you. I want everyone to have the chance to be able to own something, something like this. I think it's very important and I'd love for you to come and view these incredible pieces of art with me. Just wow. Just, have you seen that one? Over there? No. Oh no. I Just wow. Okay, but before that, <laughs> let's bring you some more amazing components, shall we? Yeah. Because another essential, I think we'd all agree, are chains. Yep. We need chains. Definitely. Now, these are classes extender chains. Oh. Um, obviously, you can extend your jewellery with them. Um, but I also think they're really beautiful in their own individual right. They're not, they don't ha just have to have that function, if that makes sense. Um, so you're getting a metre of each. I'm going to try and drape them all over the back of my hand as best I can. There's the rose. Excuse me. Here's the yellow. Amazing. And here is the silver again. So a metre on each length. This is my favourite base metal chain that we do uh, because I think it looks elegant, I think it looks high end and it's really beautiful if you just want to put one pearl yeah. or one jade jadeite with a, a bead cap. That the, This chain is, don't you think, it's really elegant. It's like the paperclip chain it to is. a certain degree. You've got a, yeah. a, a much more open link. It's a, and it's just the shape of it. I just think it's really elegant. It's lovely for when you add a tassel. Yeah, beautiful. Well, yeah, all of your amazing designs, you know, um, you know, like the bumblebee jasper, you could use this chain. Yeah, it doesn't have to sure. be. That was my point. It doesn't have to be an extension chain. You could use this as the foundations of rosary linking, yeah, your yeah. bubble style. $9.99 that's three meters and they are precious metal plated so you've got silver plated brass um unbelievable you know that is in my head now one meter long length gets you two 18 inch chains and additional so probably um, a, a bracelet or two so if you look at it that way that's six 18 inch chains and matching bracelets and did you say silver plated brass? Yes. Now that's really high end for a base metal component. That's what I look for because a lot of them are on like steel and yeah. then it just tarnishes. Um, but brass is what you want to look at, either a copper or a brass underneath your plating is what I always look for. Well, it's only six ninety nine. dollars <laughs> Goodness me. You know, you pop along to somewhere like, uh, you know, Pop into any of your high street fashion shops, I don't know, your Zara's, your, mm. your Marks and Spencer's, your Debenham's, whatever it might be, you know, in their costume jewellery. You are talking for one single piece of jewellery, maybe just a chain. Mm. You're talking more than six ninety nine, aren't you? Oh, I don't, you'd struggle to find something for six ninety nine. Yeah. I would have thought. Yeah, I, I, I won't even get on to Claire's accessories. Oh. <laughs> Listen, oh. my daughter absolutely loves, yeah. well, both of them now, oh, loves yeah. Claire's accessories. Yeah. Um, and that's fine, it's absolutely fine, but it ain't cheap. Um, so I'm like, no, mummy, I'll make it for you, it's fine. Mm. Mummy, I'll make it for mm. you. At a fraction of the cost as well. Um, do stock up your baskets while you get the opportunity. How many have we got of these? Yeah, you've got to wait till bank holiday Monday, though. That's when mummy can do it. <laughs> There's 75 available. There's twos and threes being purchased as well. And by the way, you are getting all three of them. Three metres of your lovely chain. I agree. It's an elegant link, isn't it? Yeah, it, again, this is the one that I run out of the most, and then I end up with the thicker ones, which, you know, are great. But if I just want to do something with one gemstone or yeah. a little bit more elegant, yeah. And, and for extended chains, they're perfect because they're little. Yeah, 
they're, they're open enough for you to actually... Yeah, they're little, but they're open enough for you to be able to attach to. You can definitely get a jump ring through there or a hairpin or an eye pin if you're wrap looping. Perfect. Because um, I like to put a gem at the back. My daughter's going to prom and she wants to have a chain down her back. Oh. Um, so I'd use a chain like this because it's that elegant... Very beautiful. Has she chosen a dress? Oh, a dress is insane. Is it? Mm. Amazing. Make sure you upload, upload the photographs. Right, let's do some more chains, shall we? Um, oh, I'm excited about her dress. See the I'll show you in the that. break. She looks beautiful. I'm sure. When you look at your daughter in a dress like that, I suppose you'd only ever look at your daughter in a dress like that on her wedding day again, would yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. I probably. could just stand and stare at her like I'm staring at the coffee. Oh, <laughs> that's gorgeous. Um, now, I love these, and I'm going back. It transports me back to my days when I worked into that in, in that jeweller. Um, these are called ball chains, which oh, I'll yeah. be honest, it's not the most elegant of descriptions, <laughs> but that is actually what they're called. Um, <laughs> um, and they are really expensive, these yeah. in, in, in chains normally. Or they certainly were in the jewellers that I worked at anyway. Um, Meter long length, but I do love them. And I can kind of justify that price point. So, um, because I imagine there's more work in a ball chain than maybe other links. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a chain maker. Um, but look at these. So, again, you've got a full metre length. Um, in your ball chains. Come here. Don't misbehave now. There we are. <laughs> Um, in your ball chains, you do have as well, can you see down there? Yeah, you, you have the those. connectors. You need those to obviously put them together. We've only got 50, so these are a little bit more limited. By the time I get them on the back of hand, they're probably going to have sold out. There we go. You can use a ribbon crimp with these chains as well, though. Okay, if yeah. If you want to cut them up. These are great for unisex designs, very contemporary. Um, I think they stand alone as well. If you just wanted to layer just the chain, it looks really beautiful. So lovely. I, I, you know, you were saying about the previous chains being one of your favourite. These are one of my favourite. Uh, they're really good unisex as well. Like you see a lot of dog tag kind of personalised jewellery yeah. on a chain like this for men. Um, and I've seen steel chain like this um, for like forty pounds on yeah. for one jewellery piece. Yeah. I mean, and all you do. I don't know if I can do it right now. It's, it's, it's really simple to actually connect it together. Obviously, you might cut this down, but you put... I don't know if I'll be able to do it now. I'm putting myself under pressure, aren't I, here? <laughs> like but you that. basically put the, the ball in one side. Yeah. Can you see that there? Hang on. You put the ball in one side, and then you pull to the right, and then you do the same on the other side, basically. Yeah. So those little balls um, will sit there and there inside, yeah. that kind of like yeah. torpedo-like shape. But there's loads of different ways you can do it as well. Like oh, is there? Am yeah. I doing that wrong? No, no, no. No, I don't mean with that finding. I mean, if you wanted to cut it down yeah. and you needed more findings, yeah. uh, you can ribbon crimp it, as I say. You could even um, wrap some wire around it. Um, I uh, love them. I love they're the lovely ball chain. Um, layered like that, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, beautiful. And they don't tend to tangle ball chains. No. They don't tend to get all tangled up, do they? Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Make sure you do check out your baskets, lovely jewellery makers. £6.99, that's for three metres of, um, with the uh, ball chain connectors. Um, OK. It is time. I'm really excited about this opportunity. And again, just to be part of it. Um, because these are the kind of... Uh, Works of art, and you mentioned it earlier on, love to go to a gallery, yeah. my, myself too. I love going to galleries, I love to just sort of, like, so you can lose yourself. Yeah. Whether it be a painting, whether it be a sculpture, whatever it might be. Um, these are exactly that. And it's not very often when you go to said galleries that you can possibly entertain owning it or afford to own it. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that these are going to be inexpensive items. Of course they're not. But um, there will be collectors who are watching today who are eagerly, eagerly anticipating owning one of these pieces. Um, it's a moment in history. They are all one of a kind. That's one in the world. And credit where it's due, our fantastic Dave Troth is going to be making these available in a few moments. Do whatever you need to do to make sure that you are ready. Don't hesitate because opportunities like this simply will not come around again. Dave is stepping into the studio to reveal these incredible, one-of-a-kind carvings mm -hmm. after this.
I would love uh, for each of you to be able to join me this weekend for an unprecedented collection. And I don't just mean unprecedented here at Jewelry Maker. Um, after speaking with many of uh, fellow collectors and people who are interested in Jadeite in the Far East, we genuinely believe this might be the first time ever a gallery exhibition like this has ever been offered firsthand in the Western world. Pieces like this do occasionally make their way into the hands of Western collectors, but it will come from possibly an auction house in Hong Kong. To have the access to a master's studio, to be able to offer his unique artworks to our collectors, that each one has possibly been worked on for six months or longer, is a real privilege for me. And for those of you that are gonna be joining in, I've got some very special news to share with you. I want everyone to have the chance to be able to own something, something like this. I think it's very important and I'd love for you to come and view these incredible pieces of art with me. The first day of the day of this birthday is going to be massive. We're going to start the birthday off with a bang. Three brand new strands of pearls. I'm not going to tell you all the colours of the pearls, but one of them is blue for the very first time. We've only got three strands. One of them has only got 20 in stock and the biggest quantity I think is 38. So they are very, very limited. These are going to be a great opportunity for our customers to get into their collection. The deal of the day is 925 sterling silver chains. We've got four different styles, ranging from rope, cable, and diamond cut. They're perfect for gifting. Uh, you can add pendants onto these, or head pins and seed beads. So this deal of the day is really special because we've been working on this for a couple of months now, working to bring the cost down and bringing the best retail cost to you. So the, the idea for the colour wheel was that any time we ever learn about jadeite, they talk about all of the captivating and rare colours that jade can occur in. They're extraordinarily rare. Um, to put it into context, Asprey at the moment have just launched their first ever collection of jadeite, 60 pieces, um, all imperial green, and the starting price is £130,000. There is one piece that is £18 million in Mayfair uh, as we speak. It's in their safe. It's a, a small chunk of rough, and the reason it's so highly valued is it's, it contains more than two colours. You know, primarily red, white, and of course the green. It's always been a dream to kind of be able to offer our collectors the whole transition of colours, a collection in one exquisite piece, and it's taken us three years to get there, and we think it's fitting that for the birthday we can offer every collector uh, a chance to own the colours of Taipei Jadeite. Jewelry Makers, it's our 13th birthday. And to celebrate, we're having 13 days of great deals and amazing products. But don't just take my word for it. Listen to these lot. South Sea, Akoya and Tahitian Pearls. Diamond Tube Launch. Red Jade. Nan Hong, Red Agate Launch. Mixed Freshwater Pearl Bundle. Secura Agate. Old McBangle. Dremel Relaunch. Jade Colour Wheel. Base metal chain bundle. We've also got some great guests, some great games, some surprises, and much, much more. So join us for our 13th birthday, launching this Monday. Woo! I would love uh, for each of you to be able to join me this weekend for an unprecedented collection. And I don't just mean unprecedented here at Jewelry Maker. Um, after speaking with many of uh, fellow collectors and people who are interested in jadeite in the Far East, we genuinely believe this might be the first time ever a gallery exhibition like this has ever been offered firsthand in the Western world. Pieces like this do occasionally make their way into the hands of Western collectors, but it will come from possibly an auction house in Hong Kong. To have the access to a master's studio, to be able to offer his unique artworks to our collectors, that each one has possibly been worked on for six months or longer, 
is a real privilege for me. And for those of you that are going to be joining in, I've got some very special news to share with you. I want everyone to have the chance to be able to own something, something like this. I think it's very important and I'd love for you to come and view these incredible pieces of art with me. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. I would love uh, for each of you to be able to join me this weekend for an unprecedented collection. And I don't just mean unprecedented here at Jewelry Maker. Um, after speaking with many of uh, fellow collectors and people who are interested in Jadeite in the Far East, we genuinely believe this might be the first time ever a gallery exhibition like this has ever been offered firsthand in the Western world. Pieces like this do occasionally make their way into the hands of Western collectors, but it will come from possibly an auction house in Hong Kong. To have the access to a master's studio, to be able to offer his unique artworks to our collectors, that each one has possibly been worked on for six months or longer, is a real privilege for me. And for those of you that are gonna be joining in, I've got some very special news to share with you. I want everyone to have the chance to be able to own something, something like this. I think it's very important and I'd love for you to come and view these incredible pieces of art with me. Already, the anticipation is building. I said it early this morning, a moment in history, one that we can all absolutely enjoy. A moment in history that has never, ever arisen before until really this moment and we have one person to thank for that and that is the wonderful Dave Troth. Oh thank you Al. Um, I want to thank you guys as well for making this possible and to the team here at Jewelry Maker. This is like the pinnacle of, of uh, my, my career obviously. Getting to bring uh, um, objects that are that belong in auction houses and I'm not talking about the auction houses even in the UK mm. uh, like uh, Christie's did an auction in Paris very recently in Europe or, or Bonhams in the UK when we talk about the auction houses that they, these go to it's only ever in the Far East yes. it's only ever in Hong Kong that's where they exclusively exist and they are created by the modern day Michelangelo's they are created by the Picasso's of the modern era working with something far more uh, valuable than paper I mean mm -hmm. their canvas is jadeite and jadeite is the material we can no longer obtain. Um, and this is, at this specific juncture in the 800 year history of jadeite and the 10,000 year history of carving jade in the Far East, jade's never been more valuable. Now, I know we've often talked about it being more valuable than gold. As I remind people um, all the time, because you know, obviously people, we've, we've been exposed to jadeite for like two years properly, real jadeite. Yeah. People always say to me, even in like jewelry circles, like, uh, Someone you'll know, Charlie Barron, yes. who uh, you know is backed by an incredible uh, wealthy German who he goes and buys diamonds on behalf of this German, and they, they go and buy up estates. And you know, he obviously he's renowned for the deals that he does with pearls, but he also is experienced with like prairie tourmalines and diamonds mm -hmm. and all the finest gemstones. Mm. And he's been asking me about jadeite, you know, because he's getting asked by the biggest jewelry houses in uh, Bond Street, on the old Bond Street where his office is based, because they go to him for like one-off stones. And they know he has special things. And he, he asked me at one point, he said, you know, give us an analogy, what's it like? You know, is it like, now the jade mines in Myanmar are gone, is it like when Argyle went and Pink Diamonds shot up 500% Pink Diamonds from the Argyle mine, or is it like if, you know, if Tanzanite was to end tomorrow, that one mine? And the, the truth of the matter is, and I think you guys get it, a lot of you do, 
It's nothing like that. There is no analogy. There is literally no peer. There's no, mm. nothing to compare this to. Mm. And the, the, the reason for that is, if you're out with your friends, El, um, and you're around a table, and they're not in the jewellery industry, they're your friends outside of that, and you're having a few drinks, or you're at a barbecue or something, and they want to talk to you about your job, because it's really interesting and exciting, um, and they're saying, oh, what do you do? You got to travel, you do all this, and, and then you might perhaps mention about Argyle Diamonds. You might say, well, had, you know, Argyle Diamonds have gone. Chances are, and you guys know this, nine times out of ten, none of them are going to know what Argyle Diamonds are. I know we do. No, we do. Yeah. I'm talking they about don't. real people. Like, when, when I started here, like 10, 11, 12, whenever it was years ago, my mom didn't even know what Tanzanite was. Mm. You know, we take it so for granted because we exist in this bubble. Yeah. In the wider world, you know, people know diamonds and rubies, but do they know Burmese rubies? Do they know Colombian no. emeralds? Do they True. know the, the, the Muso mine? Do they, we do. And the difference for that is when we talk about jadeite, there's 1.2 billion people in China. And I've, I've been there, I've seen it myself. Everyone knows jade. Like from the fishmonger to the school teacher to the solicitor to the child, it's given every christening, it's given on every wedding to commemorate special occasions. Guaranteed, no matter you know, where they sit in terms of like household income or however you want to do it, everyone's got jade. Okay, they'll have jade in their home, whether it's a good luck charm, whether it's an ornament, whether it's every woman in China, I'm told, every single woman has a jade bangle. Wow. That's, or they aspire to own one. Like, it's passed down, or they'll go and buy one on the jade markets, the local jade markets in China. Everyone knows jade. 1.2 billion people. An insatiable appetite. Yeah. Because jade is the gemstone that, for much of China's history, they couldn't even own. There was literally a royal decree where the emperors could only own jade. It sat in their museums, and they gazed at it. This precious gem, the divine gem, filled with, like, myths. It's enigmatic gemstone that they could never, ever own. And now China's entered into this new age of prosperity. You know, they are f ridiculously wealthy as a nation. Like, uh, I've seen it firsthand. Like, just to put this into perspective, before we even start this incredible showcase, I realized how lucky I was at the time when this happened. But even more so now, I think it's one of the luckiest moments of my life. I went to Myanmar. I went to Burma um, before COVID. I think it was like 2018. What an experience, an amazing experience. Now, anyone can like backpack or the could backpack Myanmar, go to Mandalay, do all of that. But like Magok, this, this almost like sovereign state, you have to have an extra visa to get in. And no one gets them. I think the last time the GIA went there was 1957. Wow. Okay, and I remember reading this uh, report that, that was published online. You can find it. It's like uh, about their time in Magok. And when I went there, nothing had changed. That's wow. how traditional it is, right? So, I mean, we're talking about a jungle location where the finest rubies and sapphires and spinels, like the most valuable, are pulled out of the same mines. That's how gem-rich the earth is there. Um, and so we got to go to Magok. It was an amazing experience. We got to see all that. And I got a phone call when we was in Magok. It was with Steve from the gentleman who's helped put this together. And he said, how would you like to go to Kachin State? Right? It wasn't even on the agenda. You can't go to Kachin State. You've all seen videos on YouTube, social media, or maybe Discovery Channel of mines. You've seen ruby mines. You've seen sapphire mines, emerald mines. You've seen pearl farms. You've seen diamond mines. You've never seen the jade mines. No one can go there. It's so secretive. And so this is before we'd ever even bought a piece of jade. Never had it on your screens. And we said we'd love to go. Just to film like a documentary. We had our cameraman with us. We get in this kind of like four by four, we drive the country, get to the northernmost territory, Kachin State. Didn't know what to expect, hadn't read anything about it. And it's like this mountainous jungle region. The only way I can describe it really, and it's probably way off, but what I'd imagine the Amazon to look like. Yeah. It's like a rainforest. Um, low cloud mists, it's unbelievable. We enter security checkpoints after security checkpoints. They remove our camera equipment, very politely, but they say there's no filming. And we'll hold it. Yep. Um, and, until you return, right? So everyone knows Bernard, who I'm with. We go in. I didn't see one Burmese person. I might as well have been in China. It's owned and controlled by the Chinese, okay, because of the value of that gem. Wow. And a kid you not, we've all, I hope maybe we've all seen a footage of like the big auction houses. You know, they'll put them out there sometimes and you'll, you know, you'll get shared around on social media and you see like, the one I remember is the peacock sapphire necklace. It sold for 16 point something million dollars in Christie's. It was like a bidding war. Paddles going up, all well-dressed, beautiful. It's like the Met Gala. And the, the auctioneer's there 
and they've got a massive screen behind him. It's got all the different currencies like Hong Kong dollars, uh, Swiss francs, US dollars, Great British pounds, and the, the price is just going up and up and up. So at one point, it's like 7 million, then it ends at like nearly 17 million US dollars, and everyone's like, oh my God, it's record breaking. I saw that happen in a jungle. Wow. So I literally walked into a clearing in a jungle, uh, you know, no like, uh, you know, uh, airs or graces, just a jungle. And there was about 100 uh, Chinese businessmen there. Everyone is Chinese. There was, I don't know how many, I didn't count, but let's say there's 20 jade boulders in this field, in this clearing, right? Surrounded by just rainforest. Um, and some of them are huge. Some of them are like really big, like maybe the size of this unit. Some of them are maybe the size of this plinth. You know, just round circular boulders that just look like normal rocks. And I walk in, it blew my mind. And I was just watching. And obviously I was stood there, just watching what was happening. They're all studying these different boulders and then they're essentially having a bidding war. Bern can speak Chinese, he's Mandarin, he's from Guangzhou. And he starts telling me, he's like, oh, they're at $4 million. They're at $6 million. And I saw a boulder sell for $10 million wow. in a jungle that no one ever knows Just about. a boulder, well, I say well, just. There, there must have been jade in it. They must have known there was jade in it. Wow. $10 million. Now, when you see these diamonds that sell, when like, I don't know, uh, a mine in Tanzania or a mine in South Africa finds a special diamond, it's a big diamond, and they, they, they want to sell it, and it sells for like, I don't know, 30 million, 20 million, 10 million, you know those special mm -hmm. ones. They're all, always on your news feed. What happens is the diamond comes out, it's processed, it's named. Okay, yeah. they'll name it, this beautiful name. They'll give you this history to it. They'll do a world tour with it. They'll do press releases. They'll invite everyone to a public viewing or a private viewing. And you'll have people like Lawrence Graff there, and mm -hmm. you'll have you know, the, some descendants of the Winston family, and you'll have other notable private people. And there'll be a very small bidding war, and uh, eventually it'll sell for like, I don't know, 10 million, 12 million. I saw that happen in a jungle. There was no name. No one was marketing it. There was no world tour. They don't want the world to know about it. No. That's how secretive it is. And that doesn't happen anymore. There is no jade coming out of this location. The most valuable jades in the world go into the, the most incredible carvings, and you, you're seeing them today. I've only got six for you. That's it. There is no more. There is zero available after this moment. Asprey in London, one of the Brit Britain's most beloved jewelry houses with an incredible history of, of you know, creating jewelry for the royal family, the British royal family. They've this year, and I know you know this, have just released their um, new jade act collection. Okay? And they literally have said that they want, they've done many, many press releases. They said they want to lead the luxury jade up market in the West. Okay, well, like just for this moment, allow me this, we're going to give them a run for their money. Yeah, okay? definitely. So they've got a 60-piece offering. Um, okay. They've been working on it for two to three years. This is some of them. Their entry-level price is £130,000. Okay? Okay. I pay, it's stunning, it's beautiful. That little chunk of rough in the middle... Is 18 million pounds. It's in Mayfair right now. Wow. Okay? And I'm going to show you they have one carving. I'm going to show you because I got their catalogue sent out to me. So that's the 18 million pound piece. And you probably think it's huge because I saw a boulder sell for $10 million. Okay? That's seven kilograms and it's 30 centimeters long. And look, wow. I just want to read the, the, the kind of subheading because I said to you the best jade goes to carvings, like master carvings, right? So. This rough could be anything, couldn't it? It could be a strand, mm -hmm. it could be a bangle, um, it could be a haigu, it could be a number of things. But they say, you'll now be able to commission a carving of your choice from the unique block known as the Stone of Heaven. That's destined to become something like what we have for you today. And the reason it's 18 million pounds is because it features the hues with which this silicate mineral can be blessed. And they say, notably red and white. Yeah. Like, colours are so valuable. I just want to say that because of the colours that we've got for you today. Yes. Okay, and we've only got six pieces, but one of our favourite pieces at the back here, the, um, the, 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 the incredible kind of bangle carving, you've got four colours on it, and it's carved. There is um, the swans, the swan songs as well, which you'll get to see, which are, are going to be unbelievable deals. All have colours on their head, which is so difficult to do. And it's Song Yang, who is the carver behind this exhibition, that's his favourite thing. His swan is what he's known for. The swan. Uh, and, his, and that, the, that's his flagship. Yeah, that and the, the bangles that he does, the, the bangle carvings. But like I said, Asprey has one impressive carving, and it's this one. Okay. There's his laser carved. Really? Laser carved. Ours are hand carved. They take years. 
Um, and even Asprey are proudly saying, thanks to laser carving technology and artisanal ingenuity, the collection includes beguiling intricate depictions of bamboo plants, cabbages, walnuts, uh, steep rural landscapes, and notable figures from Chinese legend. This is the Mountains of Serenity. It's absolutely incredible, and, this piece. You know, we look at it and we say, okay, well, there you go. Ah. Oh. It's the largest carrot weight of our entire collection that we've done, including last week or the week before. It's the largest carrot weight. It's 5,000 carats. Look and at it would have taken, as you can imagine, years to carve. It's the layers, though. Yeah. And like I've said to every single one of you today, this is just, for me, this is about doing something really special for you guys. And I've been very honest and upfront. I'm already in talks with um, an international gallery in yeah. London who want to work with me on, on the next collections of this. Okay. And maybe at that point, we might not be able to pursue this on Jewelry Maker going forward. But I have said, the first people that I ever wanted to view this collection is you. Now, we, for me, if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. I want to offer you the opportunity. I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to, you to just tune in and see yeah. the intricacy, the detailing we're doing. And when you go to First Dibs right now, you find something similar to this. It's an important certified natural jade decoration titled My Beautiful Hometown. And it's a half a million pounds on First Dibs. 558,000. Yeah. And, and by the way, the yellow that you're seeing there isn't jade. That's like the host rock. And it's obviously got okay. a wooden base as well. It's absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. But it is beautiful. But I'm just letting you know right now, deals like this will never exist again. Half a million pounds. Yeah. And deals like what we're about to bring you have never existed, will never exist, and don't exist again. Every single piece in this collection comes with um, the kind of David Harry Jewels portfolio folder. It comes with a letter from myself. And then your certificate will be in its own envelope. Now, this is not a jewellery maker certificate. No. This is not a Gemporia certificate. I want you to understand that these certificates are for these pieces from the lab in Hong Kong. As you open them up, it you know, talks to absolutely everything that you would want when you're uh -huh. acquiring something like this. The jadeite, um, you know, look at the ground weight that we're talking about, green and lavender, 100% natural. That is tied to the piece that is in the studio. And also, um, Dave, the fact that these, it's how they're, as you would expect, beautifully yeah. presented. You know, they come in these amazing silk boxes. Oh, yeah, they, they, they come, you know, obviously, they, they've been shipped around the world, yeah. for one, from an artist studio. Um, they come packaged with inserts, so they do not move. No. Uh, with the wooden base, everything you see, you get. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to take you to Hong Kong right now. I'm going to take you to a friend of mine, Eric, uh, who has a store on the Canton Road. This was filmed in November. He has some carvings, and he's offering them me at wholesale. Okay. At wholesale. And he expects me to, like, double this price or triple it. And I'm going to share that with you when we come back. Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of allow you to own these pieces. It is obviously phone bids only on this yes. collection. Yes, yes. want to make sure of that. And for those of you uh, that maybe get in and you secure it, if the final price isn't what you want, just drop it out. Just cancel the order because, like with the week before, we had several people on the phone lines. We don't want anyone to miss out. Everything from last week has, has gone. It's sold out. There's yes, nothing left. Yes, gone, yeah. Uh, in a moment, I'll read you a message from uh, a wonderful lady named Anne who texts me about her wonderful dragon sculpture that I want to share with you. Oh. But um, before that, let me take you to Hong Kong. And I want you to look at the, the incredible carvings that you're going to see and then think about how more intricate the pieces I'm offering you are. Good luck. Take a listen to this. I've got something really, really special here. I didn't expect to find this um, in, in Eric's incredible boutique, but what we have here is some wonderfully hand-carved natural type A jadeites. Uh, you've got this wonderful lavender here with the yellows coming through, all carved from one single piece, and you've got the kind of blue-green over there. Um, Eric, what, you know, he's talking to us about the kind of wholesale prices of this and the, the artistry, the craftsmanship are on display that you can see here, and pieces like this can command you know, wholesale here, 30,000. But when these enter auction houses, we've seen prices that are astronomical for this element, this detail of, of pure, incredible carving, especially when it's carved from one single piece. So here, wholesale, if you ever want to get the best deals, you come straight uh, to, to the Canton Road, you know, in the heart of Hong Kong. Uh, you bypass the auction houses where the market is trying to outbid each other, and you might just be able to pick something like this up for around 30 
thousand dollars. Incredible. <laughs>$30,000 wholesale, far smaller, not as intricate. That's the reality. That's why they're half a million on first dibs. That's why they go to the auction houses and command these huge premiums. The market is so strong for these incredible, impressive carvings. I'm going to open up our first piece, which is the largest that we shipped from China. Um, Taipei, Burmese Jadeite, wow. with this impressive, incredible imperial green streak through it. Certified lavenders as well. You've, I mean, there's so much to see, but you've got, you know, the waterfalls, you've got the, the boat at the base, you've got the temples. It's literally carved from one piece, but I don't know if you've ever seen this, but the way that it's lifted from this material. The way that you can get right in there, look, like, I don't know, in here, you know, it's just unbelievable. It's polished, it takes, you know, years to produce something like this. Years, there's temples on the side. I'll show you the back as well, because the back is also carved. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me, Dave. That is absolutely astonishing. And then I'll bring it back. And this is the piece we're talking about. It is the most impressive piece maybe that we've brought to you. For me, it's those steps that almost disappear yeah. into the mountain. Absolutely. And you'll never get tired of looking at it. Um, we're going to open the graphics up for this right now. Um, phone bidders only yeah good luck and and four thousand nine hundred and fifty four carats the mountains of serenity um here we go this is from jane in lancashire it says from the last carved auction i have dragon carving stunning also black jade carving and beads superb thank you for sourcing these beautiful yeah, pieces exactly. no problem jane you're absolutely more than welcome this is going to be one of those important moments for a lucky collector who will be able to join us um for this exclusive auction We've got a number of you on the phone lines right now. Um, the biggest carrot weight, the most in incredible color, top gem material. We're talking lavenders and we're talking, you know, those imperial green leaves and the way they've used the green to create the foliage, the leaves on the trees. I'm going to start at 80,000 pounds, which, you know, in the world of jadeite, it's, you know, who knows? But we're going to be nowhere near in that. In the world today. of jadeite, when you're comparing it to something that is 550,000 mm. on first dibs, yeah. you know, it's actually... <laughs> yeah, a steal. It, yeah, a steal, I guess. absolutely. But we're, we are jewellery maker, and like I said, this for me is about offering you these opportunities, like real people being able to own this impressive, incredible material. Okay, so this is your moment. There's several of you on the phone lines. We're taking tens of thousands of pounds off that price. And this is what you will own. There's nothing else like it on the planet. An artist has spent many years carving this. Yeah, I'm returning sure. Returning to it. You know, it's not like you don't chisel away at it like marble. You know, you have to abrade this, sand it down over many, many thousands of hours. You know, creating these intricate details. This is the difference. You know, what you saw in, you know, kind of Eric's store on the Canton Road were like carvings. This is a master carving. You can very, see very the difference, different. though. Yeah. Sorry, Dave. No, please. I'm just... Making my way over. It's it's oh gosh, it's this part here on the top yep. of the of the bridge. Absolutely, I'll give you a minute Fine. clock, and we're going to start giving you some incredible deals. Oh my goodness, the figure, yeah. the basket. Yeah, the traditional kind of uh, fishing uh, vessel, you know, uh, the traditional Chinese fishing at the base there, and you can see the waterfall coming through the bridge. Oh, you goodness. can see the rail in the background. It's got depth. It's got perspective. Even the, 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 the openings on the temple windows. Yeah, so precise. Mm -hmm. My goodness me. Debbie, feel free Remember, to go and uh, have a look. Remember, phone lines only. You've got 30 seconds. This is going to be very special. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Debbie, I know that you were sat there what, desperate to have a closer <laughs> look. So, yeah, feel free. Because we're never going to see anything like this again. Ever, 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 ever again. Do you know what I thought about this one? that you can get absolutely lost in it. You can, absolutely. You know, like looking at this is a bit like a meditation when you go to somewhere beautiful in your head. I don't think you'd ever, ever get sick of looking at it. Oh, I, I, I agree, you know, it's when we- absolutely incredible. 
I, you know, I love, you know, I would love to at some point in the future, if we ever get a chance to do this again, even if I have to offer it exclusively to a gallery, yeah. I'd love to do a public viewing for you guys to come and see. Oh, maybe, how amazing. Uh, you know, a dinner and everything, and we get to view some of the pieces if we get to get them again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something incredible for you. Ross, there's a lot of you that want this. I wish you the best of luck. £15,000. Wow. Amazing. Well done. Congratulations Absolutely if you are incredible. successful. incredible. Just divine. Uh, yeah. I divine. Mean, it's the divine gem. It's the heavenly gem. With imperial green, it, it, that artistry. Um, hello, lovely Caroline saying, guys, I moved to tears. These carvings are unique, exceptional. They need to be loved, cherished. Well done, Dave. Be very proud. And I said oh, this, you, Dave, um, earlier on this morning. I was like, you know, what you've actually achieved for everybody today, Dave, mm -hmm. um, and I'm not just talking about the ownership, the possible ownership of something like this, but for, for each and every single one of us to be able to be, um, to witness something in person is That, that, is, that was is, the is one amazing. thing I wanted to, I didn't know if, you know, we, we, we could offer these for sale here at Jewelry Maker, but I wanted you guys to see them. I wanted you to see what I got to see. I wanted you to see true, priceless, incredible, Jadeite wow. artistry, wow. At the hands of a, of a master. And when we talk about masters, because you mentioned in your kind of heirloom collection that's been passed down from yeah. your, your parents, you have a wonderful jade carving. Yes. And I'm not saying this, guys. Elle said No, this. these are my words. Yeah, Elle said, you know, words. when, when yeah. I see them stacked up or compared to this, oh. it's like night and day, right? Yeah. And that's why I wanted you to see this, to understand the value of what we bring you day to day. You know, to understand how good the, the opportunities that we bring you are. What you're looking at here, there's a hundred recognized, around a hundred recognized actual masters in China. 1.2 billion people. There's thousands of carvers. Yes. Maybe tens of thousands. There's carving industries. There's carving villages or cities almost. But when we talk about masters, that's the difference. Like Song Yang. You've, I was thinking the same. You know, the, the one I have at home is a carving. Yeah. Whereas this is a masterpiece. Yeah. That's, that's the, the, there's, a, there's a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. Um, now, you can always add these two wish lists. I would recommend doing that. Yes. Um, I've got a collector that it looks like has um, acquired this in uh, Manchester, Greater Manchester. What I would say to you, I'm not going to say your name, I don't want to, you know, I think this is a, a very special moment. I think with auctions, when we talk about, it's always, you know, anonymous bidders. I am just going to say to any of you, if, if you don't want it at any point, for whatever reason, change doesn't mind, matter, yeah. change your mind, just drop it out, cancel the order, and, because we have so many people on the wish list. Well, the, yeah, we um, call, we'll call them. Jane says the, the carvers of these pieces are pure artists. It must take them years, and it does. Uh, it, it takes like 20 years to serve as an apprenticeship. Um, thanks, Dave, for allowing us to see these. No problem, uh, Jane, you're more yeah. than welcome. So we believe this one may have... Gone. Sold. It's gone, okay, yes. So congratulations uh, to the collector in Greater Manchester. Um, you asked me earlier what my favourite piece is. Yes. And I said, well, it's between these two, but I did opt for this one. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to introduce you to Bernard Liu, um, and he's going to talk to you about this being the first time in the West that we even get to see material like this. When we come back, I'm going to offer you the vineyard carving. Good luck. <laughs> In the Chinese culture, everyone loves fancy的雕刻。是卖到中国了，你跟中国能出更高的价格。这是第一次西方呃客户能接触到翡翠，翡翠雕刻。呃，翡翠翡翠雕刻每一件都是独独一无二的，通常没有没有两件一模一样的。
Oh my goodness me. So you get like bicolours. That, I mean, you guys know, but that drives the value up. Ridiculous. Have you? I, I've never seen anything. This is mind blowing, Dave. I mean, I, I genuinely have never wanted to sell this. That's the reality. I have to, but I've never wanted to part with it because I just think to myself, I may. Ne I, it's not lost on me that I may never see jade like this. Lav just so you know, lavender only forms in the skin of a jade boulder, so you never get solid lavender carvings ever, really. And to have a solid lavender carving. Oh. Thousands and thousands of carrots. And you can tell how gemmy it looks, you know, it's because of it's translucent. And that's why it has that kind of unbelievable ability for the light to, thank you so much, Adam, to pass through it. This is everything that we could want and uh, more. Um, oh, wow. You know, I showed you that piece earlier with the, the kind of impressive and incredible landscape that we saw for half a million pounds. Um, which is, which is yeah, amazing, and I, I really think we're at that caliber today. Yeah. And I want to share with you as well, like another piece uh, on first dibs as well that I saw, which again is just a, a two-piece kind of jadeite decoration. It's, it's amazing. It's from the 1930s because it's so hard to get jadeite of this size anymore. Mm -hmm. And again, it's that price. Yeah, you're talking 426,000 pounds. Now, I know you can make an offer. I don't know how much they would move on that price, but you know, this is Jadeite. This is the world that we are in right now, like all of us that are tuned in. You know, pieces like this, the, the important certified natural Jadeite, decoration, newborn dragon. These are all on first dips. You know, 350 or $340,000 uh, pounds. Six figures. And it's, yeah, it's a master carver, no doubt. Yeah. One of the hundred. Look at the incredible detail that we're talking about. Pieces like this, that's 4.5 million pounds. Why? Because it's translucent. Yeah. Okay. That's the difference. That's like the only difference between that, which is like 300,000, to this, which is 4.5 million. And it's because you get that wet look that finish. That that I've, I've added a new word to my vocabulary when I'm talking about jade over the last couple of days. And uh, in China, they would never use this word. But I think it really, really kind of epitomizes what we're trying to say. It's like that juicy appearance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that, and, and especially when we're talking about these grapes, but it is that element of top crystallization, yeah. the, the, water, the water content of the material. And I love the way, and if, if I can, I'm going to take you back through those two one more time on your screen. Because there's this one, again by a master, we all agree on that, absolutely phenomenal. The egg, the broken egg is carved out of jade as well. Yeah. And again, they're so clever in their use of the colors. You know, they have to select the right jade. They're like, right, okay. In the rough, they, they could see there was a moment of green and they could see there was white. And they were, I mean, how smart is it? How clever? And obviously, I'm, I'm absolutely watering down what they do. But to say, we'll use the white. And by the way, that's not broken in terms of, that's not separated. That's not been stuck on the top. That's one piece of jade. One piece. It looks like it's two. And they've used the colors to, to create this incredible vision, right? But that's 300,000 pounds. This one, they call it museum quality. Yeah. Okay, and it, it is because, obviously, because of the colors as well, because of the intricacy, but it is also because it's that juicy appearance, that incredible transparency, that translucency. This is our friend Bernard, and he said there, this is the first time that jade like this has been available in the West. We spent months just researching how to ship this level of value across mm. the world. You know, this yeah, is you the don't reality. just send it. DPD. No. No. So, you know, we have worked that out. Bernard has worked that out. I won't take anything for that. Now, just so you guys know, Bernard isn't the carver. Bernard is, I guess he almost acts as a broker, right? Because the, the think about these hundred carvers. It's steeped in tradition, yeah. right? So they don't speak any English. They don't really adopt like the modern age. You're not going to find them on Instagram, like tattoo artists or whatever. You know, they are in these rural villages. I mean, they're extremely wealthy. Yeah. But, you know, this is a skill that's been passed down through generations and they live that same life. So you need people like Bernard. If I bowled in there with like some translation app in a suit, Westerner was like, we want to take all this. It's not, oh, you know, Bernard does, <laughs> Bernard does a great job of, you know, conveying how much we value Jade, how much yes. we understand Jade, you know, yeah. who I am and, and, and what we want to do. And then he puts me in touch with the incredible carvers. But Bernard takes care of all the logistics and everything like that as well. Um, and um, if, sorry, the click has gone a bit weird, Ross, sorry. But thank you. So this is his wife as well, who works for three of the biggest global brands in the world as a designer, and legally not allowed to say 
um, the, the name of the brands, but they're household names. And they talk about Song Yang. And she says, um, he's one of the most revered masters in Greater China. This collection is, like all of it, I mean, has taken over a decade to put together. Each piece will have taken over six months to carve. And they're saying, we've seen pieces of Song Yang sell for over $100,000. That's the, the level of the gentleman we're talking about. Yeah. And then I want to talk oh. to you about the meaning behind this. So to the Chinese, the legend goes that grapes bring great success in the near future. So displaying a succulent bunch of grapes signifies good things to come and an improvement in one's fortune. If you're about to embark on a new business venture, start a new job or, or move into a new situation, you have to display a bunch of grapes to bring you good fortune in your coming endeavours. Or if you find you have been going through a spate of bad luck, these grapes will uh, bring a turnaround in your fortune. Grapes, you, you probably know this, are also a sign of fertility uh, and strong descendants. And this, this piece, for me, is the one that I just never wanted to part with because it's the only one that has this level of translucency, this transparency. This whole uh, wooden uh, base, or, you know, I don't know what you'd call it, is all carved, hand-carved. Yeah, the wood, wood, the, the the wood itself is art too, isn't it? And it's bamboo, you see? It's like carved like bamboo. Uh, but how as well, do you know what's really um, amazing me here? Obviously the beautiful carvings, the wood, etc. But the weight, yeah. how they, 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 they've worked oh, out sure. the weight Absolutely. to make sure that it, it balances. stands and yeah. balances. So we're going to bring the graphics in for this right now. There are, there are I'm being told, eight people okay. waiting. Okay, I wish yeah. you the best of luck. We're going to bring the graphics in. Of course, we're going to start at £80,000. We're not going to finish there. No. We're just going to put those prices on so we understand you know, the, the, the level of what we're dealing with. There obviously is only one and will only ever be one. Yeah, I've never seen anything else like this. No, never. I bet. Because this is so heavily reliant on finding lavender jade. It's grapes. Uh, you know, like you, uh, green jade, okay, you can make, you, you can make, a, 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 you can maybe have a plan of how you want to work with green jade, but they, this is like the mother load. This is like so fortunate to find, you know, what, I mean, we look at it and we go, oh, it's like three, uh, three, three, almost three and a half thousand carats of lavender jade. Okay, what would it have been in the rough before yeah. they carved it down to this impressive, unbelievable design? The level of artistry is, is, is just astonishing. Yeah, it's, it is sublime. Translucent, bicolour, you're getting the, 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 the lavenders and the greens coming through here, uh, which you can quite clearly see. There's a lot of you on the phone lines. I'm going to give you a minute clock. Good and luck, again, everybody. I just want to show you the certification that you'll get with this one. Um, and this one actually talks to the, the, the water-like transparency of this material. My mind. Good luck. Yeah. You can already... Um, yeah, we can already see you there. Yeah. I just want to show you the certification because we know it's lavender, but they, they call it the aqua as well. And that's uh. because of the transparency that we're dealing with. So aqua and lavender that we're seeing here. You get the physical certificate from the lab for this piece. The clock has started. I wish you the best of luck. I really do. We should, this should drive the price up massively. Transparent, top gem, lavender and green, and the, the detail of the carving. Mm. Nothing else like it in the whole show. No, and, and quite possibly the only one in the world. Well, yeah. it is the only one. It in is the, the only one in the world, yeah. Um, but. To see this, Dave, again, I'll never, I'll never forget this moment. No. It is absolutely incredible. Ross, I'm going to go to a price that we should be, and then don't worry, I'm going to go again. So I'm going to go to £20,000, which yeah. is what we all know. This is on your sheet in there, Ross, of what we, we we're going to sell this for. But right now, because there's eight of you on the phone lines, I'm going to go to £20,000, then I'm going to tell you I'm not done. I'm going to give you an even better deal. I'm not taking like a couple of hundred pounds off. I'm taking thousands off. I'm going to give you the opportunity of a lifetime right now. £20,000 is exceptional for this grade of jade, for this <laughs> level of carving. But I'm going to give you a, th uh, I'll give you a minute clock. I'll give you one minute. There's eight of you there. You've got it in your baskets. I would be checking it out in this minute now because this will go and we'll never see anything like it again. We may never see... We're talking about how we might never ever see lavender jade eye again. Have a shot. Well, just um, again, you can check out in the basket on your baskets. We will chase it up with a follow-up 
uh, phone call. Our call centre will, so we would prefer really your telephone confirmations. Because um, obviously we need to discuss with you how we get it to you. It's not going to be sort of your standard um, delivery. These are physically couriered. Obviously the nature of the insurance of, of something of this amazing, uh, um, uh, well, this, this value, quite frankly. It needs to be couriered, specially delivered to you. So we need to obviously discuss that. Um, I, I, I just can't believe that you've got an entire piece of lavender jade when we know that lavender jade is one of the rarest colour colours to get. Oh, hang on, Dave, your mic's gone. One second. We'll just rectify that. Okay. There is one in the world. There will only ever be one in the world. Even here, even here, I think, and I'm not saying this is a small amount of money, but... Even here, that is an incredible price point. When we are showing, you know, half a million, yeah. And they're not unrealistic. This is a one-of-a-kind master uh, masterpiece, quite frankly. Good luck to each and every single one of you. But again, for those of us that... Is my mic back? Yes. Okay, brilliant. There we um, go. So we oh, no, it's not? No, it's not. We're having issues with Dave's mic, so let's get that sorted first. Um... Yeah, if I, I tell you what, I'll use this time now to talk about sort of the housekeeping of things. Um, you can, we, we, would, we need to speak to you, physically speak to you. You can check it out on the web, but we do need to physically speak to you um, if you want to get hold of this. That's because we need to obviously arrange delivery. This is not something we will just send out sort of willy-nilly. It needs to be insured by courier. We need to obviously work out a day that will suit you. Um, but also... Um, they're one in the, there's one opportunity in the world. And these are all opportunities that we quite possibly will never, ever, 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 ever see again. Yeah. Am I back? Oh, he's back. Okay. Amazing. So uh, we did a clock. I asked you guys to trust me. There's eight of you on the phone lines. I'm going to do something unprecedented right now. I want you to get this. I want you to own it. It was the one piece it's I did my part with. It is my favorite. We showed you that translucency. And I'm going to do this one. This is where we should be. But just for this one time, everything we know is going to sell out. This is going to be an exceptional deal. They all are. This one. Do it for 12 grand. 12? Yeah. So 11,999. Wow. Good luck to anyone who wants it. I know, I think many of us thought we'd be up uh, nearer to this price. We possibly should be. But there's eight of you on the phone. Remember, we're only taking phone bidders only. Yes. If you want to own this masterpiece, if you want this piece in your collection, then right now is the only time you'll get to see it. So good luck to anyone who wants to acquire it. And, and the ten people now. I don't know who's going to do it. Remember, you have to speak to someone in the contact centre. Yes. And I wish you the best of luck. We are far too low for this. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. The wood carvings, too. Oh, it's yeah. the, it's, I mean, it's you've got the, the bamboo. We know the meaning of, of the bamboo. You see how it arches over as well and comes over. Beautiful. You've got that incredible base as well with the floral detailing. And then you've got this incredible vineyard, this incre this, these grapes, these translucent grapes. With the bicolour, you've got some greens coming through. The overwhelming lavender and the transparency makes this mm -hmm. maybe the best deal in the whole show with the yeah, deal just put on your screen. Uh, we don't know who's going to be successful. We are waiting for confirmations, of course. There are so many of you. I think this is one of the, 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 the biggest cues I've seen. Yeah. Most on popular, these yeah, carvings. for sure. Um, one of our collectors has got two in their baskets. We don't have two. They are one of a yeah. kind. One in the world, right. in the entire world. Um, but again, you do need to make that confirmation and speak to our call centre to guarantee your success. If you do, if you are told that you um, have missed out on this opportunity, please wish list Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And remember, for so anyone, important. any one of you that changes your mind, there's no shame in that. You can just drop it out because we, we can see the cues that we have on these pieces. We can see the, the interest in these pieces and we'd much rather, you know, you go to the right person. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Dave, you, we, we have people um, who are watching right now from all around the world. Yeah. Um, because, like you said, this is an opportunity that really we've probably never seen. No, well, we've we haven't. Privy we, to. We, we, we haven't seen anything like this um, it, you know, anywhere. You know, it just doesn't happen in the UK or in the West, in, in Paris, in, in New York, wherever you, you want to name. This material doesn't leave China, and we've worked so hard over the last three years to, to build these relationships where we can offer you these singular moments of, of art, mm. this top gem, icy jade iron, yeah. that saturated lavender colour. 
This is going to be going to one of our collectors. Remember, it is phone bids only, so I can see it in so many baskets. This is not a normal show, guys. No. If you want to own this impressive piece, then call up the contact center, speak to them, and they can take you through it. Yeah, absolutely unbelievable. Okay, how many people on the phone lines? 14. 14. Okay, I'll take a 30-second clock. I'm about to package this away. I'm going to do something wild. Just this, just this one time, if you want it. I can see so many of you. I'm going to go lower. Good luck. I can't believe I'm going to do this, but we are. This it's is the only lavender, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, so many of you, I can see you there, that are obviously uh, interested in this piece. It's only going to have one outing. So I'm going to do it right now. If I check it out, I'm going to take a considerable amount off this price. Yeah, this is a favorite for us all here at Jewelry Maker. It is incredible. Yeah. And, and, and it's even more incredible up close. It's like the curls of those beautiful petals, Absolutely. the the tendrils of the grapevine. There's a hidden a dragon, is no, that right? They, they used to get the vine coming down here as well, which is just absolutely exceptional. Oh. Moments all through it. Ross, 10,000 pounds. What? Good luck. We're taking 2,000 pounds off the price for the fastest one person to check out. Okay. That is a steal. Um, on Ross's paper, it literally says 20,000 pounds is what uh, this should have been at. We are doing Just something amazing. crazy today. Um, we won't ever see carvings of this caliber again. No. The last no. show of its kind. No. And of course, the um, same applies, Dave, as the conversation that we had previously. Yep. This, is, this is not available to, uh, uh, to staff. No, absolutely not. These are for our amazing collectors from around the world. Unbelievable. It really is just incredible beauty, the intricacy. And like you said, to have that gemmy translucency oh. in something. Well, of we this just way. never see it. We don't even see it in the smaller pieces. No. You get something with this level of crystallization over thousands and thousands of carats for it to be able, the light to be able to pass through it like it yeah. has. And with that level of saturation of color, certified type A jadeite, um, this is without a shadow of a doubt one of the most important jadeites that is in the UK right now. And now, you're about to get an incredible deal. There might well be a little bit of a. Um, I would say uh, bidding war is the wrong terminology, isn't right, it? Because yeah. there's your price. But who's going to confirm out first? But Belfast and London, we can see you there. Um, yeah, you, you can make the most of that you, uh, of that split payment as well, if you wish. Absolutely. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do a 30-second clock and move on with this piece. Yeah. Like we okay. said, you know, if, if they don't find homes today, then there is uh, interest elsewhere. I wanted to offer you these incredible deals. You've got 28 seconds if, if it is you that wants it. If not, like I said, we're not going to see this opportunity again. It's not going to be here. No, I think there's a couple look. of conversations being had right now as we speak, Dave. Okay. Um, and that might well be sort of the uh, logistics, you know, how it's going to oh, be absolutely. delivered to you. And that is really important that we do that too. So um, appreciate that. So there's no, look, no, no rush. Yeah, no, no rush, rush at all. Well, I understand it's a considered acquisition. It will be here for you. Um, but in uh, three, two, one, we're going to move on. So if you are successful on this, I want to say a massive... Congratulations. We'll keep an eye on it and, and congratulate you as and when. So amazing. Absolutely. That has been, that one, the Grapes of Prosperity have been certainly one of the most popular here. Absolutely. Now, another one of uh, Song Yang's kind of moments of expertise, I would say, is what he does here with these impressive, incredible bangles. Unbelievable. Um, this, by the way, just so you know, for all of you, this piece here, the fancy entwined bangle, this is the first one we ever saw. That's my favorite. It made me fall in love with everything that we're bringing you. That was the first one I ever saw. That's how this whole thing started. That's was my that favorite. one. Oh. Um, so I wanted to let you know that. Of course, we're going to start with the, the, the double uh, carving, uh, oh the butterfly and a bangle. But before, in fact, let's do it this way. Let me take you to Bernard. I want him to talk to you about bangles. He was yeah. here um, a, a couple of weeks ago. When we come back, this piece will sell out, and this uh, piece will sell out, and I wish you the best of luck. This is our very good friend Bernard who helped make this possible. Take a little listen to this. Usually, 也会浪费掉一些料，所以手镯的价值是很高的。呃，中国人特别特别喜欢手镯，通常是会把手镯当成传家宝来传。So uh, this is, you know, really the only thing that Song Yang does. He kind of developed this, and it was 
you know, when, when Jadeite, you know, is forms and you can make a bangle, the first thing you do is make a bangle. And I love what Song Yang's done. He's basically saying that he's going to make something far more valuable than a bangle. And, he, and he's almost showing off in a way by putting, including two bangles in here. And I love the fact that these two points never meet. Yeah. You've got the butterfly here. This is tricolor Jadeite, which is just unbelievable. It's, there's one in the world like this. And there's one other that's coming up, which is the single wow. uh, bangle entwined, which is sensational. Just unbelievable. Yeah. But Everything the bangle is there. Point. So you've got yeah. the bangle, but he's gone beyond that. Yeah. I mean, and I'll just show you the back because I want you to see that, that they bangle. are perfect bangles. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is the reality. He's literally carved what everyone in China wants twice and hidden it in a jade carving. It is Wrapped honestly it. one of the most kind of unique aspects of Song Yang's work. Um, we are talking about an unbelievable, unrivaled <laughs> transparency as well. This is what we call ice jadeite. Um, I'll show you that if we just dim the lights. We're gonna bring the graphics in for this. There is only one. We know, you know how, how busy this is oh gonna be Oh my goodness me, look at that. That's absolutely, astonishingly beautiful yeah wow and then you know when we when we talk about the actual bangle as well this is just sublime top gem top crystal there's the bangle you see how everything's growing over it yeah intertwined yeah and it comes all the way around and all the way down it is just as good as it gets really for a collector amazing Amazing to just witness this, Dave, yep. let alone be able to Absolutely. There is just, own it. Guys, there is just one in the world available, of course, um, butterfly on a bangle. And using all the different colors of jade, you've got lavenders in there, you've got greens, you've got your, your incredible uh, honey jadeite as well. You said Let's earlier on, Dave, and I, I don't think I'll ever forget this sentence, is where you say that these are, um, in terms of master carving these are your michelangelo this is the michelangelo of like the the, the modern era yeah you know, they, they, they've been doing the same kind of uh intricate carving mm. for, for different emperors for ten thousand years uh, yeah. eight thousand years and you know obviously they've got better and better and better and right now this is the pinnacle and, and you've got some of the biggest jewelry houses in the world using laser technology just to be able to bring carvings of jade and right now i get to offer you hand carved jadeite masterpiece amazing i'm going to start incredible. just to show you how serious i am today for, for yep. this piece i'm going to start not at eighty thousand pounds not at fifty thousand pounds i'm going to start at twenty thousand pounds and we are going lower this is going to be an incredible deal in the context of this ex exhibition in the context of these incredible offerings yep this is going to be uh one of those deals that i don't think any of us will believe but just to remind everyone Everything that we are bringing you is a one of a kind. And you've had conversation with the collectors that managed to get hold of some yeah, of the Yeah, let first. me, I'll read you one from our, our lady who got the dragon and the pearl. And um, I'll read this to you. It's, uh, it's amazing, really. So, so this is the dragon? Yeah, so this is the lady. She said, hi, Dave. Just thought I'd let you know that I received my master carving this afternoon and I'm blown away by its beauty. I can't stop looking at it. The talent and the skill of these master carvers is just incredible. Once again, thank you for making this possible and a big thank you to all at the team of Jewelry Maker and above all to Bernard and his wife and the whole team of master carvers. Uh, thanks also to the delivery man. I'll send a photo as soon as I can. Can't quite believe this carving is mine. And then I think it was a day or two later, she messaged me um, saying, hello uh, again, Dave. Just wanted to thank you for reading out my message. Um, she talks about... Um, She's talking about my dog. Um, <laughs> and then she says uh, that, you know, she, she can't believe the, the, the material. Um, so good luck to all of you. She says she feels like she's won the lottery. No, yeah, and that's the I kind of that. That's the kind of reality yeah. that you're going to feel when you get these pieces home. Amazing. Um, we want to show you, because there was a question saying, uh, where's the butterfly? Very subtle. Yeah, there he is. Blended in amongst, um, okay. amongst that beautiful Let's foliage. give you a 30-second clock. Look. And let's take this to a deal that it should never be. 
Wow. I hope you can own it. I hope this is coming home to you. I hope you're going to display it or maybe put it in a safe. It's going to be in your heirloom collection. Remember, in the modern era, there's just no jade coming out. They can't get jade this size to create pieces like this. So it's, it's irreplaceable. The, For sure. You know, the material itself is irreplaceable. Um, this is an opportunity. You know, can you imagine that? You know, th this is... Those master carvers don't have the material to create amazing offerings like this moving forward. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, not just to own it, but also to see it. Okay, it is the fastest of you. Remember, I just want to remind you, phone bidders only. We want to make yeah. sure you speak to someone and talk, you know, get this across the line for you. Your deal right now, 8999. Nine, nine. Good luck to anyone who wants to own this. I can see a few of you there. Um, it's under 10. Under 10,000 pounds for this. Impressive, wow. incredible, what is it? Nearly two and a half thousand carats. Would have wasted thousands of carats. You know, you think about the bangle, you think about the central portion that have been carved out. Two hidden bangles. Yeah. You've got the vines growing over it. You've got that, I mean, it's just, and they're, they're, we've brought you bangles before, but never of this grade. We've never brought you transparent bangles like this. Nope. And you've got those vines growing over it. Nothing has been separated. It's not like they've been stuck on. This is all carved from one single slab of tri-colored jadeite. You've got the lavenders down at the bottom. Obviously our lights wash it out a little bit. You've got almost imperial green along the top. Yeah. This apple green and imperial green. And then you move into this honey jadeite. And this, it's dappled here as well. This is as good as it gets. And uh, we again, sold them in Hong Kong at $30,000. Yeah, well that, yeah, for that, that one that you were holding, which Absolutely. was much smaller. Again, it's the positioning of those colors as well, yeah. using the yellow within the flower and the butterfly. Sure. Amazing, now there's eight of you Okay. Currently, and there's only um, one carving, guys. So if you want to own this, yeah. it's kind of genuinely now or never. These aren't making a return. We are um, offering them into a, a gallery, of whatever we have remaining, which I don't think will be anything. But this is your moment. If yeah. this is the piece you fall in love with, with these intense, incredible uh, tricolor series, with the translucency, how gemmy this material is, then this is your moment. Do you know, we talk about, you know, all, all your beautiful gemstones, you know, the legacy that we offer, the fact that we can pass these on down to future generations yep. and generations and generations and generations. Wow. To be able to say that you can, ha you have something like this. Yeah, I mean, you know, it belongs in, in a museum. It does. It's museum quality. It's translucent. Everything is certified by the lab, which comes with each and every yeah, masterpiece. Do you know what? Because this is the last time we're going to offer these, let's do a minute clock. Let's do one more deal for you on this. Hey. One more deal. We're going to go again. We can see uh, several of you on the phone lines. We want you to own these masterpieces today, but you're going to have to be quick. Okay. Good luck. And remember, you can always wish list it, speak to our call centre if for whatever reason yeah. um, um, somebody changes their mind and that's absolutely fine. We totally get that this is a considered amount of money. Um, however, not when you make comparisons to um, what it can be elsewhere. You know, this is, go on to first dibs. First dibs can absolutely, um, you know, the, 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 and I've said it before, they can sell your jewellery, can't they? So you can, they're a great point of reference. There's one in the world. One available opportunity in the world. Good luck to each and every single one of you. I mean, to be able to own, to say that you own something like this. There's not very many people on this planet that could do, especially at the price point that we are seeing right now. Again, I'm not saying that's a small amount of money, but it is very much so a small amount of money in comparison to what we're getting hold of. No, I don't want to do this, but I am going to do it for, for those of you. And the reason we're going to do it is because, and you know, it's not the normal process. There's several of you on the phone lines. There's one of these and you're not confirming. I don't know if you're on the phone. Um, and the only thing that I can do is take the price down. Uh, look, we will never offer these again. We're never going to show this collection again. Mm. So we are going to allow you to get this today. And I'm just going to go for this one time deal. And, but I am, when I say this, it's the fastest of you to do it. Remember, there's only one. This is not like a hero, star yeah. buy or whatever. So I'm going to say a price. And there's seven, there's eight of you now on the phone lines. The fastest one of you to check out gets this. I'll give you the clock. I'll give you the warning. Ross, go, and I can't believe I'm going to do this. Go 6999. Take 2,000 pounds off the price. Fastest one of you to get this. I've said it. You're going to see the price. 
confirm whilst you can. I don't know who's going to get it now. There's even more people joining the phone lines. It's, any of you can do it, but you've got to be quick. I think it might have gone, Dave. We'll just double check. And I think it's a... Um, a I, I, we shouldn't have done it. I absolutely shouldn't have done it, but I can't, I'm not bringing these back. Just so you so, know, our, our call screen, Dave, has been playing up a little bit this morning, yeah. so we don't see the names as quickly as we would, would usually. Um, but um, I think it has been one collector who has dialed in at the tail end of yes. that. Um, and that's and it, you know, you don't have to be the first one on the phone lines, you can be the last one, it doesn't matter, it's just the first to confirm. Yeah. So good luck. Um, we're just, yeah, waiting on that confirmation. There's 12 of you there now. It's absolutely unbelievable. Look, I'll tell you something now. Never look at this. I know this is crazy to say because seven thousand pounds is a lot of money. Never look at this like this is a seven thousand pound piece. Absolutely not. It's we've gone way too low on this piece. I think a lot of us are aware of that. And whoever gets that, it's an, one of the craziest deals we've done in the history of jewelry maker. That phenomenal. That is very, very, very low for what we're talking about here. Yeah. Just amazing. If you do have any questions, you can message us. Of yeah, course. we'd love to hear from you. Um, and we do physically need to actually speak to you um, to obviously arrange the delivery. Okay, there's the more people calling like for it, this. so I don't know if I don't know if it's available or not. There's there's now 15 people on the phone lines for this is one of a kind, of course. There's nothing else like it in the world. You see my hand through it. You know, okay. there's all those moments that they've carved out these I impressive, incredible, intricate yeah. carvings, the vines. Everything about this and the translucency. Yeah, we're just waiting for that conversation, you know, just to have the conversation yep. confirmed back to us. Um, we're, we're, we're pretty sure it's gone. So well, congratulations. It Once has. we know where it that's has. gone, we Amazing. will uh, congratulate you properly. Um, so well done. So, yeah, it has gone, but we will, uh, yeah, congratulate you shortly. So... Um, Amazing. Okay, the first piece I ever saw from the artist. Oh, Dave, I love this piece. Okay, this is the first piece I ever saw from Song Yang, and it started my whole love affair and the, the pursuit of wanting to bring this incredible collection. You can step in now, you can jump in and have a look. Oh my. Yeah. This is the first piece we acquired. Yeah. It's, ac it's actually belongs in a museum. Yeah. That does. It belongs That's in Bonhams imperial. or Christie's. Like imperial yeah, so you've got color. these imperial greens. Um, you can see the strength of that colour. You've got lavenders here. This is lavender. The, our lights in the studio really wash this out, but you can see that. And then oh a bangle suspended word. within have the centre. Have you seen that, Debbie? It's you can come and have a look, Debbie, if you want. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You don't have to ask me twice. Uh, I can't believe... I, can, I get why this grabbed you, Dave. Yeah, it blew I get me it. I saw it. I didn't know anything was like this was possible. I just did not know because it was it's because because obviously it's a big carrot weight, but this is really so. On the previous piece, it was Somerset. I'm not going to say your name, but congratulations well done, Somerset. on the, the 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 butterfly on the Bangle series. <gasps> it's for me. It's yeah. so <laughs> it's slender. Yeah, no, it's just perfection. It's elongated. Yeah, it's uh, so ornate, so beautiful. Oh, that photo, that image right there. Mm -hmm. I, I genuinely thought. Nothing gets better than this from the first moment I saw it. Look at the moments on the vines. Mm. Look at the colours, imperial greens. And the shape, it's just a really lovely shape as well, surrounding your beautiful bangle. Yeah, so Obviously this is the, the bangle first, is the first one. I didn't know if we'd only be able to ever get anything even of the same calibre. I saw it and I was like, I need that. Yeah. I need to find a way to get it. And it blew me away. I've never seen so a carving. So this is the start of the journey? Absolutely. Wow. This Amazing. is what made me, you know, seek out Song Yang because I saw this and I was like, that. For me, I have no idea of the the art world, but I was like, that's. If someone told me that's a million dollars, yeah, I could see why someone would pay it in in an auction house. Yep. I have no idea. It's certified. It's top gem. It's the most prized colors: imperial green and lavender. This is literal perfection. Absolutely. And no one else in the world. No. Will own a piece like this. No. It's the um, unfolding petals. Yeah, there it is. Uh, you got. It's like it's almost like a fantasy piece, isn't it? Like a yeah. dreamscape. Again, certified green and lavender. So, uh, although our lights wash it out a bit, you can see there it is green and lavender. Yeah. In, in if we were in Sotheby's, we'd be looking at this. What's on your screens right now? We'd be looking at that kind of lighting conditions. They'd be under spotlights. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, It'd be the best lights for that best piece. Yeah, absolutely. 
And remember, each of these do come. It's not like sort of a, 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 a usual jewellery maker purchase here. They come with Dave, uh, with, Dave with your uh, package. Yeah, so um, the portfolio folder, which is you know, the, the, the David Harry Jewels kind of uh, folder, I guess, inside yeah. is, is you know, a little letter from me. And then within that is a, a small envelope, which will contain your certificate, your certificate yep. which you, know, you can keep safe in that sleeve and put that to one side or you know, keep it with it. But this is... You know, you're being offered something that is just well, you know, on another level. And probably. you'll need to insure pieces like 100%. this, obviously. Yeah. So um, because they are one of a kind, and they're priceless, irreplaceable. Really. So I'm, I'm going to bring the graphics in for this right now. This is going to sell out in like a second. Yeah, it's a lot of favourites, I think, on this one. Good luck to anyone who wants to own this. Like just this moment here blows me away, and I'm just going to put this behind it. You know, so you can really, yeah, you, you, you're you getting those moments there. Yeah, the phone lines have lit up on this one. And this and is called what, Dave? Intertwined? Yeah, so this is called the bangle entwined. And it's, oh. it's literally, you've got that bangle in the center and it's entwined in this incredible Amazing. kind of fairy tale vines that are, that are securing it. Everything is from one piece. It's just one piece of incredible jade. Um, type A, Burmese material. We've got collectors all over the country on the phone lines again you're going to have to be fast on this this Amazing. is not going to hang around and, and i'd like just before we give you the deal on this uh well let's start at eighty thousand pounds because genuinely like i said the moment i saw this I, I thought to myself if that was a, if that is it had no price i was like if that's a million dollars i remember saying it in my head then I, I, i'd have no argument i haven't got the money obviously but if it's a million dollars yeah you'd see it. i can see why you could see it it was certified well, the reality is you have seen it, Dave. Yeah. You have seen and I, it. And the moment I, I saw it, I know I needed it. And I think many of us are feeling the same right now on the phone lines. There is nothing else like this in the world, anywhere. In China, in uh, you know, New York, in London. It's the, it's the only one. That, that, that's legacy material. Yeah, truly. I'm going to take you to Bernard, and I want to explain the time it takes to carve something you know, of this caliber mm. you now this this is a piece of art it is priceless and bernard right now who was here a couple of weeks ago is going to talk to you it's been translated about the time it takes to carve something like this take a little listen to 一点一点的把细节雕出来Okay, your moment right now. There's uh, six people, I think, that are interested in this uh, on the phone lines right now. I'm going to hope that you speak to someone. This is, you know, as good as it gets for me. When you read, uh, I've got the jade book, right? And um, when you look at the, the carvings, and when it goes to the carving section, they call them uh, the Picassos of the new era. That's how they refer to them. And they, pieces like this are like, photographed from Christie's auction houses. Yeah. That's where the photos come from for the book. This is, they don't come to the UK, they don't come to uh, the West, they don't come to America, they don't leave Asia. And I'm telling you right now, they'll never leave Asia again going forward. No. Like Jade will not leave China. You know, it doesn't matter how much money you've got, no one values it as highly as the Chinese. No. Like to them, it is the divine gem. There's no diamond, sapphire, ruby, emerald that even gets close. It's Jade. And this is like the... You know, every woman aspires to own a bangle, but this is the material that only the 1% can own. You know, it's like the material that they appreciate, but they just can't own it. And it's available right now to anyone who wants it. But I just want you to understand, because sometimes I think we're so used to jewellery and diamonds or whatever, we get caught up in carat weights. I wish we didn't list the carat weight. I know we do, um, because I know you guys like it. You know, on the, la on the, the, the lab cert, it's all in grams. Carat weight is not important because the whole point of jade carving is that they're brave. 
you know, their, their vision is more important than the carat weight. Yeah. That's the that whole point of a bangle. Yeah. You know, you'd never do that with a diamond. But carve away 95% of a diamond. Yeah. It never happen. The, 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 the point of jadeite is not the carat weight. It is what you're viewing right now, the intricacy, the detail, the quality of the jade. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking back to an article that I read some time ago, Dave. Yeah. It's probably on the back of one of our shows together, and it was by, uh, from a gentleman, Wan Hao Yu of mm -hmm. Sotheby's. Right, yeah. And he was say, talking about valuing, I don't know, uh, he's talking about valuing jadeite. And does he say that it's still severely undervalued? He was talking about, he says, to view jadeite not as a commodity. Yeah. but rather as a work of art. Yes. You know, in the same way that you can't value um, um, a, a, a Michelangelo, as we've said, Michelangelo, by sort of the, the size of the canvas yeah, that and he's working Or the with. materials. It's the wow factor. Yeah, and, and the reality is that's why we're so different because the way the art is valued is they let the market decide, right? That's where they do bidding. Because mm -hmm. they, they, they put it out there and if people want it, they're going to bid on it, yeah. and that, that tells you the market price of that. We know the market price of jade carvings. We've just seen them. Yeah. They're like, whatever, 100 grand, 300 grand, 500 grand, million pounds, mm -hmm. 30 grand. But what we do is if we get a deal like we've managed to secure here on you know, 10 years of this gentleman's work, we're going to offer it to you at the most incredible deals. We could let the market decide. I could look at that piece there that's 300 grand and use that to justify why this Absolutely. is. Absolutely. You know, I don't know what it would be, why it's 80 grand, but I'm not. I'm not going to sell this for 80,000 pounds because I, we know the deal we got across the series and the way that it worked, just so everyone is aware, when we took a kind of possession of the uh, 13, I think, uh, jadeite carvings, it's one kind of price. So it's not allocated to each piece. No. So I don't know what each piece costs. We're figuring out as we go. We're giving you these incredible deals. I just know the total sum for that portfolio. We need to. I need to highlight that. Sorry, Dave. Um, mm. Tell. We need your telephone confirmation. So, rather than put it on the web. So even if this is showing as sold out. Speak to the contact center. On the web. We will take it out of baskets because we need to have a verbal conversation with you. Yeah, because this, this material is, is leaving the building today. Okay. And it only stays here if we've got that actual confirmation. Just we so have you know. to have a verbal um, a conversation with you. So I'm going to give you a minute right now before I give you the final deal. Um, for anyone who's interested in this legacy piece, please speak to our, our incredible contact centre so they can take your details and talk to you about this impressive carving. Also, I think I, I have an update. I think, did I hear r rightly, Ross? The, gr the grapes of prosperity have gone. Okay, well, I'm just, can I just, I'm just going to talk to Ross, but I, I'll just say to you right now, to whoever the collector is, if, if, if ever you want to, uh, you know, part with that, or, or you, if you get it home and you won't do this, but if you get it home and you don't want this, let us know because I did go too low on that. Like I said, I know the total price of the whole collection. Yeah. I went way too low on the grapes because there were so many people on the lines and I was kind of hoping it hadn't sold. <laughs> so like usually I'd be really happy, but right now I'm like, oh God. No, uh, but right. congratulations. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go speak to Ross about that. Good luck. Make Amazing. sure you're speaking about Huge this. Huge congratulations piece. to every single one of you that has got one of these pieces. Just unbelievable. We do need to have a physical conversation with you. So um, if you can, you can check out on the web, but we need, we need to speak to you as well. Otherwise, it's, we need to make a verbal confirmation. Not just because of the fact that obviously we need to physically arrange the delivery of it. Um, it's it's mind-blowing. Debbie, I mean, what or not, these are absolutely... I, I'm genuinely lost for words. I mean, this one particularly, when you go up to it, it blows my it mind. It unfolds, doesn't that it? That a human hand has created yeah. that. I mean, I know that... This is why... It's crazy. I'm just taking a deck off the moment to put my jacket behind it so you can see those moments through... Because we're, we're obviously looking at the size of it. We're looking at... Um, you know, the, the bangle in the centre because our eyes are drawn to it. But like what Debbie's saying is, you know, when you get close and you get to see those minute moments yeah. that just should not exist, those, where you see all, all like of coral. the dark colour coming through, you know, those, that's been done by the human hand. Wow. And the, I'll tell you right now, I can understand why these are sold in auction houses because the hardest thing for us is trying to get across what Debbie's just seen. 
Yeah. Because we're on TV, it's washed out lighting, mm -hmm. yeah. we've got cameras that aren't as good as you and I. Pieces like this should be sold when you have like, that's why I spread do invitation only, mm. concierge. Yep. You can have the best photographers in the world, but when, when, you take, when you see this, it takes your breath away. Yeah, it does. And, and I think moving forward, we might do maybe something where we do um, maybe a Jade Ant garland. I think. Yeah, that would uh, be amazing. Like quarterly or you know, biannually where we hire out some hotel somewhere. And, uh, sorry, I'm talking much. Uh, yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, we can... That sounds like an amazing idea. If we can get hold of them, you know, the actual jadeite, that's the thing. Because we already know that this is something that is not, no longer coming from the ground. The most never, expensive... Never more confident in anything we've brought to you than this material. Because what I mean by that is, you know, we say it all the time. We're like, oh, wait until you get it home. This is the material I know will never get returned. Any of the pieces in this series, I can almost guarantee... We won't have a single return. No. Because if you love it now, mm. you'll like love it Elle, even more. Elle's over there and she's coming over to see it. Yeah. Debbie's on the other side of the studio. And Debbie can see what you see the wonderful pictures and the images and the videos. Mm. Debbie, you know, comes over and wants to study it, wants to touch it, wants to see it. Yeah. When you get this home, yeah. you won't it's believe even better. the material. So <laughs> I'm going to give you one price and the, the price is going to be absolutely crazy. It's going to be, um, it, and it's the last of the, the largest pieces, and it was the first one. So I'm going to do it right now for seven nine nine. Wow. Oh. So we've just uh, gone to me. a fraction. We've gone to 10% of that price. Range. Yeah, which, uh, you know, it's 10% of that price point, but it's probably, I don't know, 2% so of the price absolutely. of the ones on first dibs. And to the wonderful regular collector that's on the phone line right now, congratulations. It says you've confirmed on it, but we understand if you change your mind, there is no problem with that. Wish list We're not precious else. about it. And every single one of you, there's 23. 22, 23 people on the panels right now. Put it on your wish list. Better than that, speak to the contact centre and say to them, if this becomes available, call me back now. Like, call yeah. me back today. I'm not, don't I don't want to wait until chance. Tuesday. Yeah, you need to, you need, yeah, speak to, that's a good point. Actually, speak to our amazing team. If you absolutely cannot live without that, then say, I want to be the person that is called. Yeah, I mean, honestly. That is called. Now, we are... We will confirm the confirmation, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, because we do need that verbal conversation as well. Oh, uh, how lucky. That is absolutely breathtaking, that one. Wow. Yeah, mm. I, I, yeah I agree. Amazing. Um, and now we come on to the swan song. The Not swan just the swan song. song of the show, but that is what these pe pieces are titled. And it's a collection of these swans. And like I said, it's what he's famous for. It's like he's one thing, you know, how like there's different artists that have motifs that are just famous in their yeah. work. The swan is, uh, is um, Song Yang's, and we wanted to bring the opportunity of this material right now. So we have Swan Song 1 and Swan Song 2. Um, which one do you want to begin with? Uh, you want to begin with Swan Song 1. Okay, so those are these ones here. It, I, I've, I've literally got Tchaikovsky in my head right now. <laughs> I, can, I can hear it. One of my, uh, um, one of my one. bucket lists is to go and watch... Um, wow, you're very cool. Swan cultured. Lake. Wow. I, lo I, I love ballet. I think ballet is absolutely beautiful, and I'd love to go and watch Swan Lake. So I can, I really, really uh, uh, relate to these. Oh, you can move them. Oh yeah, they're, they're, these are all individual uh, swans, so you can position them however you would like. Oh my goodness, that's stunning. All of them have their own personalities. You can see the feathers. There is a lavender swan here in the foreground. Again, the light is doing it no justice. I'm trying to shadow it out. And you can see the, oh, the wow. tricolor jadeites, translucent. You know, you can see the, the, the different, there you go. Look at what you're dealing with here. There's the lavender swan. So there's, there's two, what'd you call? Uh, a flock? Uh, the plural. Is it a flock? Yeah, I guess it is a flock. I thought it was. Is it a flock? I thought it was I don't know. way more romantic for swans, but you're probably right. Probably is more romantic for swans. I probably. If a group of butterflies is a kaleidoscope, I feel like a group of swans will be something. Can we Google? Good old Google. But anyway, you've got two collections of the swan songs here. With you've the with the coloured jade yeah, -like yeah. caps. So the first one we are offering is uh, Swan Song One, isn't it? Uh, Ross? Swan Song 1, yes. Okay, Swan Song 1 is five swans. Uh, swan Song 2 is six swans, just so okay. we know. Amazing. On these beautiful hand-carved wooden plinths as well. Uh, I love this, and I think particularly, um, particularly, Dave, you know, the moment in history that we are right now, 
You know, the swans are, of course, were the Queen's birds. Oh, of course. Weren't they? they were the but I just birds. think, you know, everything about this, I'm just going to keep kind of moving them around so you can get a good look at all of the different swans in here. They will have variations of colour. They are, you know, exquisite top gem jadeite. Stunning. Massive carrot weights. Let me just get the details for this. I love it. I, I can see that one behind almost, I can hear it squawking at the others as they do, telling off the other swans. And this is... Sorry, I'm just going to give you the carrot weight. That's okay. This is the, uh, his signature. Yeah. The swan itself is his signature. I love that you can actually move them. Yes, I thought they were kind of positioned. Because you want to touch, don't yeah. you? And I think that that adds to it, really. So, yeah, I agree. This is 1,050 carats wow. of jadeite, which is, you know, as translucent as it gets. I don't know if you can see that, Ethan, but... You know, top gem material. Yeah. They only work with the best material, and they've they've carved this away, and they're creating these incredible, impressive moments of jadeite. Look at that. Oh, they're so beautiful. It's like ice jadeite on every single one of these impressive swans. Absolutely. You can see that here. So this is Swan Song One that went out in our incredible catalogue, um, and it's a thousand and fifty carats, just so everyone's aware. And it's certified. Comes with all the same. Uh, Portfolio comes with the letter, comes with the, the independent certification. This is the penultimate piece of our jadeite master carving exhibition. It's almost like it's sad, I think. It is sad. I was, uh, yeah. It's really sad. But this because is your you, moment. Uh, and Bernard has said, no, this, this. Well, I mean, there's still artists with this material, but now they know they can't replace the, the raw stones, then they can't, you know, they're not going to. The, the price has escalated dr of dramatically, course. essentially. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is, if we can actually, uh, Adam, let's hear from Bund when he's talking about how difficult it is to get the raw stones for, for the jadeite carvings. And when we come back, we'll give you the best deal you've seen across the whole series. Wow. The two, the two exhibition events. Good luck. Make sure you're successful. Obviously, it's a one of a kind. Good luck. Amazing. Don't know what happened there. Uh, no one knows what Bernard said. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we, I will be sharing those clips on social media anyway, but obviously he's talking about how difficult it is to get uh, the, the jadeite in the modern you know, climate. Remember, we're talking about uh, the mining location that has disappeared. I'm going to start, Ross, at the lowest price across the whole series. That's where I'm starting. Okay. Which starting. is, I think, £8,000, isn't it, Ross? Six nine nine. Oh God, sorry. Oops. Okay, well we I said it. So <laughs> I said it. So let's start there. We're going to do it. It's over a thousand carats. It's five ornately detailed, beautiful swans. You can move them around and position them. It comes with a wooden base. Comes with absolutely everything that you see. Oh. Um, it's top gem material, and I'm going to urge you to be as fast as you can on this. I love to you know this is something a sentence that I never ever thought I would say, but Go I on. just. It's I and I apologise. It's this the detailing on their yeah. little tail feathers. Yeah, absolutely. This is what he's known for, the swans. You know, in every single one of his kind of exhibitions in his studio, there's a swan. There's larger swans, and then there's these series of collectible swans. Yeah, I love that one. I like Such that's, personality, isn't it? It is. That's the, that's the one that's telling them off, isn't yeah. it? There's always one squawking yeah. away. Yeah. Oh, Dave, they're absolutely and just so you know, you know, you've got... The, the, the little bit of uh, yellow, sorry, Ethan, a little bit of yellow on, on the head on the yeah. face of this one. Um, this one has the, the yellow coming through it as well. Oh, uh, she's You've got beautiful. the lavender swan uh, and you've got the, the incredible, you know, apple green jadeite swans as well. I'll give, you, I'll give you a minute. There's only one collection like this. There is another collection coming up with uh, six swans and we'll give you a crazy deal. Best of luck. The Amazing. clock has started. I'd make sure you're confirming now. Just beautiful. I don't know. For me, this is... A, a, a lot of emotions in one because, I, you know, I'm, I'm fond of Tchaikovsky, Swan Lake, so I immediately think of that. But also I think it is very quintessentially British, your swans. My children, like, you know, the swans are owned by the Queen. The Queen's birds. They're the Queen's yeah. birds. And also there's this lovely fairy tale element of the swan, yeah. isn't there? The and ugly this, duckling. I love the idea that you've got... A few of those, because if it is a legacy piece, yeah. and you've got children and grandchildren. That's a good point. 
you could, you know, split it up, dare I say, um, and somebody could have each have a piece of that legacy piece. That's a lovely idea. Um, I mean, the wooden base is absolutely beautiful, so that's not ideal. But if you wanted to, you could, whereas if you have one big sculpture and you've got three children, all together, who's yeah, gonna amazing. Get that? <laughs> I love that. Well, there is only one, though. Swan Song won. Okay. Um, just before I do this price, Ross, the other Swan Song isn't on pre-order, is it? No. Okay, because once you realise what I'm going to do, I've only just decided this. And I, like I said, I only know what we paid for the, the entire lot. And I'm a little bit worried because I'm trying to tie it up. I'm like, have we even, you know, is this <laughs> all right? But I just want to do it for you guys because you've been part of, like, genuinely the most important moment in my career. Um, getting to bring, like, these priceless jadeite masterpieces to you mm. feels like we're in the Louvre it feels like we're in an art gallery it feels like something absolutely it's like an out of body experience generally just being here is amazing and I'm loving the fact that we get to share it with you guys so I'm just going to do the craziest deal and the other one I'm going to do an equally impressive deal I'm going to do this for three and a half thousand pounds wow Taipei certified carved by the master um, you've got five important jade swans here uh, featuring a rich array of colours that comes with the, the wonderful wooden base. Um, this is Swan Song uh, Carving Collection. You get everything that we've talked about, and it's part of this impressive gallery event. And we've just gone to three and a half thousand pounds, the lowest price, of course, of the whole entire um, event by a mile. And there's many of you on the phone lines. I don't know who's going to be successful, but I cannot wait. Please, um, when you get these home and you position them in the house wherever you want them and you put the formation of the swans however you want, please would you send me a picture? I'd love to see yeah, uh, them see in their you. new home, I guess. I, and I guess that's something you're going to move around as well. Yeah, quite possibly. Beautiful. Um, phenomenal. It's that little phenomenal. chap in the background for me. I know, you love that guy, don't yeah, you? Yeah, he's this cool. One. This, this one. This is uh, Elle's favourite. Yeah. I just, you could just see him honking. It's just, I just love the, the fact that they all seem to have a different personality. This is a master carving. It's not done by machines. They're not identical. Everyone's different, all different sizes. You know, what does this represent? Is it family? I don't know, but good luck. Love there's, them. there's so many of you right. on the phone lines right now. So oh. many. And um, remember, you have got to talk to someone and make that confirmation. Uh, we, we want to know who it's going to. We want to know the person that this legacy heirloom yes. jade is And of course, we still need to arrange as well the, the actual delivery, the courier. Yeah, yeah, and we will be in touch about that. Has gone to a collector yes. in Lanarkshire. I want to say a massive congratulations Well done. To you. Um, well done. What an acquisition. Um, phenomenal. Swan Song one. Okay. Beautiful. Just charming. They're absolutely charming. Right. Now we have... I always think as well, whenever you see swans, and it's always like, oh, can you know... <laughs> <laughs> approach with caution but they're so beautiful as birds aren't they? Don't they, they pair for life? Yes. And you can hear these just as I was moving it you can hear the, the sound. Oh, okay. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it. I, yeah no I heard it. I, I know we can hear it scratching on this thing but there's this sound this pitch to Jade. And it's just uh, you'll hear it when you get it home but essentially it's this really oh. high but it's because of the crystallization of these and I love the fact that all of them have those moments of the coloration on their little heads. You know, it is just phenomenal. Dave, they're so beautiful. Six of these. The signature of the artist. Now remember, Yeah. if you, it, okay, I need to say this, uh, um, this is our finale, but if we don't physically hear from you to confirm, we will take it and give it to somebody else. So there are 20 people in excess of trying to get a piece that might not have been confirmed. Yeah. So if we need to physically confirm it with you verbally, and if it's not, then it will be taken out of baskets. So um, we, we, said we did this on the first Opportunities, Dave, a few weeks yeah. ago, didn't we? We did. It ha same applies. It has to be telephone confirmations. Um, we don't want people to miss out on opportunities like this, especially when we can see in excess of 20-odd people wanting it. So, um, yeah, you have to physically confirm verbally. So please call our call centre um, and do so. Otherwise, like I said, it will be allocated to somebody else. Yeah. OK, so for the finale. Yeah, we're going to bring the graphics live. This is the last piece of our whole exhibition event. Wow. The Collector's Series right now. These six magnificent, beautiful, intricate swans. Such elegance. The little facial, the facial features. Beautiful. It's the feathers, the body of the swans.
folk. Like I can always remember the really precious things that my nana and granddad had that we mm. weren't allowed to touch, but we looked at. Yeah. And they're lovely memories that I take with me now yeah. when I think of them. Is, Absolutely. You know, and oh, remember when nana and granddad's swans or... Yeah. You know, it's that sort of thing that you can see people passing down. That used to sit on, I don't know, in, in, in a display cabinet yeah, or the, sit on the mantelpiece. Do you remember that, you know, grandma's house where she had the swan? Yeah. It, it sort of evo evokes mem lovely memories, I totally agree. It? I, I, I totally agree. think of family. Agree. And again, these all come in silk, beautiful silk boxes. Mm. Mm. Um, so even if you were to have them packed away and not necessarily on display, they're a thing of beauty just in the box themselves. Yeah, absolutely. One of a kind. One in the world. Yeah, one in the world. And I'm going to give you a 30-second clock. Mm -hmm. And our last carving is going to be with one very lucky, one very special collector. And I want to just, right now, wish you the best of luck. This is available as we speak. Yeah. But in 22 seconds, you're going to see the final piece disappear from this collection. And it's been, what an experience it's been just to get to spend it with you guys, to share it with you guys. It is absolutely phenomenal. It truly is. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. And well done to those of you that have um, confirmed your pieces and now eagerly await, uh, anticipate their arrival. Ross, just because away? of how many people missed out on the last one, even though you've got the extra swan here, um, I'm going to match the price. So we're going to do the, as the last piece, we always like to go out with a bang. And right now we're going to match the lowest ever price that we did as part of the offering of the exhibition museum quality jade. Which was what, 11 pieces? Um, pounds. Yeah, uh, 12 I think. 12 pieces. Maybe 11. Um, I can't quite uh, recall. But uh, you've got uh, the catalogues, you've seen it. This is your moment. But one, one in the world yep. of each. Absolutely. It comes with that beautiful hand-carved base. Yeah, so you get the, you get the hand-carved base. You get uh, the, the portfolio folder with the letter. You get the certification as well. Um, you get it all, um, and, and it comes packaged in the box as well. Congratulations. Where's that gone to, Ross? Essex. Congratulations to our wonderful collector in Essex. Yeah. Um, well done. And if there, anything does become available, we will, of course, let you know. Yes. But as it stands, are we right in thinking that everything has gone today? <coughs> Is that right, Ross? Everything sold, yes. Okay, so as it stands, if it changes, if it changes. Of course, you'll be the first to know. Yeah. Make sure you put it yourselves on the wish list. There is no more of this material making its way here. No. As it stands. Um, it is worthwhile making the phone call and telling our. What have you got to lose? Um, absolutely, with the, the deals that we brought to you, we know the value that we're dealing with here. We know the artistry, the, the intricacy, the, the rarity. Yeah. Just put it out there and say, look, if anything becomes available, let me know. You've got, you guys will have in your emails the catalogue that we sent out two weeks yeah. ago. You know what was available across the two uh, in, in individual kind of showcases. At the moment, everything has gone. But, you know, like I said, make yourself aware on the wish list. Put yourself in, in the hat if anything was to become available. But like I said, the confidence we have in this collection... There's nothing coming back. I, I think you've described it there perfectly, Dave. If you're if you're blown away on the Here, TV yeah. screens, wait. Do you agree with that, oh, Debbie? Absolutely. Wait until you actually yeah. see them in person. For sure, absolutely. Dave, um, I, and, and I said this in your absence this morning, um, alongside Debbie. You know, genuinely, what you have achieved, um, and we're so grateful as well oh, I for, that. For, for for making opportunities like this possible. Mm -hmm. um, because I'll say it, because I know you're a very humble person, that, but. If it wasn't for you, Dave, I would have never have witnessed works of art like this. Oh, well, I very much appreciate that. And um, I, I extend that sentiment to you guys at home as well. If it wasn't for you, you know, putting me in this position, um, being just as passionate about Jade Act so I can convince our teams to, to give the budget to go and get these moments, it wouldn't be possible. So you ha you're the architects of your own success and of your own collections. We do have some unbelievable carvings still to come your way, don't we? Yes. I believe of Jade Act. Um, not, not, not part of this series, but as part of, you know, offerings with more than one. Yes. With incredible deals. And they're going to be coming up on the other side of this. But before we do that, we're going to go to a very quick break. Let the phone lines simmer down. We'll, we'll take stock when we come back. Good luck and join us for these incredible carvings.
So the, the idea for the color wheel was that anytime we ever learn about jadeite, they talk about all of the captivating and rare colors that jade can occur in. They're extraordinarily rare. Um, to put it into context, Asprey at the moment have just launched their first ever collection of jadeite, 60 pieces, um, all imperial green, and the starting price is 130,000 pounds. There is one piece that is 18 million pounds in Mayfair uh, as we speak. It's in their safe. It's a, a small chunk of rough, and the reason it's so highly valued is it's, it contains more than two colors, you know, primarily red, white, and of course the green. It's always been a dream to kind of be able to offer our collectors the whole transition of colors, a collection in one exquisite piece, and it's taken us three years to get there, and we think it's fitting that for the birthday, we can offer every collector uh, a chance to own the colors of Taipei Jadeite. The first day of the day of this birthday is going to be massive. We're going to start the birthday off with a bang. Three brand new strands of pearls. I'm not going to tell you all the colours of the pearls, but one of them is blue for the very first time. We've only got three strands. One of them has only got 20 in stock and the biggest quantity I think is 38. So they are very, very limited. These are going to be a great opportunity for our customers to get into their collection. When we talk about jade, it has uh, like a 10,000 year history. But obviously before modern gemology, before labs, the finest and rarest gemstones that were collected by the different uh, uh, emperors, the different um, dynasties, were all referred to as jade. But one of the most valued stones in the Quinlong period was a, a gemstone known as the, the red jade. It was actually a Nanhong agate, which is actually far rarer than red jade. Um, it was mined so heavily during that period uh, by Emperor Quinlong that they mined it to depletion and it disappeared. In around 2009, they rediscovered the seam of Nanhong um, and China was said to enter into Nanhong fever. So much so that pieces the size of eggs um, like chicken's eggs were commanding over $100,000. It's extraordinarily rare. It's the most valuable form of agate in the world. It is a quartzite jadeite variety. It's 100% natural. And the most interesting thing is this new seam that was discovered in 2009 is a finer grade than even what was in the prized possession of the Quinlong uh, Emperor. It has no cracks, it is pure. But as we, we know, this material can and will disappear at some point. And um, a lot of collectors are trying to get it. We've managed to secure this one-time launch for Jewelry Maker to commemorate our birthday. And I would encourage any collector to get hold of it while they can. Jewelry Makers, it's our 13th birthday. And to celebrate, we're having 13 days of great deals and amazing products. But don't just take my word for it. Listen to these lot. South Sea, Akoya and Tahitian Pearls. Diamond Tube Launch. Red Jade. Nan Hong Red Agate Launch. Mixed Freshwater Pearl Bundle. Secura Agate. Old Mac Bangle. Dremel Relaunch. Jade Colour Wheel. Base Metal Chain Bundle. We've also got some great guests, some great games, some surprises and much, much more. So join us for our 13th birthday, launching this Monday. Woo! Okay, my wonderful jewellery makers, congratulations from the very bottom of my heart to each and every single one of you that was successful in those incredible carvings. Truly, they are utterly, utterly remarkable. But, like I said, we deal with um, not just one single uh, master carver, we actually deal with a few, a few um, over in China, um, and they all bring you just amazing works of art. So you have your display works of art, but you also have your wearable works of art, some of which you can see, um, and I just uh, sort of undressed our Debbie. I was like, give me your jewellery, Debbie. <laughs> give me your jewellery, please. <laughs> so uh, of all of which we, of course, wear on a regular basis, don't we, Debbie? And it's pieces just like this. 
Well, um, Dave, you're going to give us some opportunities. Absolutely, but I just need to look at this Olmec a second. Yeah. Um, this detail carving is, is obviously amazing. I know you guys have seen it, but it's translucent. It's top gem. Crystallization is really good. And what you'll see, I don't know if it'll come across on the camera, but I remember looking at this this morning. If we get close and you see it in a moment, you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like yes. dappled. It's dappled, right? Uh, and what that is, that they're called pollen inclusions. And pollen inclusions are only found realistically in Imperial Green Jade. Thank oh, you so yes. much, Oh, yes. Is that the colouring so, so, we're talking about now? So that's the, the crystallisation. So within okay. the crystal of the Olmec Jade, you can see these moments, these flecks of like pollen inclusions. You see them? Yeah. That, that ever so slight white kind of... Uh, well, Flurries. looks like pollen, yeah. This is because what you're dealing with is Imperial Grade Olmec Jade Eye. Mm -hmm. To replace this today from... Uh, and I've spoke with the team in China an Olmec Jade carving like this. And you're not going to believe this because of the deal we're going to do, but I'm telling you right now, you're looking at... Well, i put it this way, Ross. To replace this carving would cost more than we've just sold uh, some of these sculptures for. Oh, really? Yeah. It's gone up that much? Yeah, because this is... We know the jadeite mines are mined out. Imperial green jadeite from Myanmar is the most valuable gemstone on the yeah. planet. It's about $2 million a carat more now. Olmec Jade is the replacement. Um, and only the finest crystallized Olmec jade. It is the material that is the heir to the imperial crown. Wow. And, you know, it's not a case of, because I asked Bernard this, because um, I'm naive. I was like, oh, okay, so they're buying uh, the Olmec now in the, the local markets you know, in China and everything. He's like, no. And he explained to me, he said, what you've got to understand is that, you know, they're not just buying the Olmec jade. The Olmec jade's always been coming to China. It gets processed in China, the fine goods. He says, um, You've got, you think, I told you, didn't I, at the beginning of the show, I said, when I went to Kachin State, northern Myanmar, it was like a miniature China. They're all Chinese, mm -hmm. right? Um, well, these Chinese people that have had these mines, have had them for generations, okay? They're like hundreds of years, passed down to their families, very wealthy, and now their livelihood, what they do, is gone, right? So, just so you know, when um, Rio Tinto, the mining giant behind the Argyle mine, they're... Yeah, diamonds actually represent a very small amount of what they do because they're like precious resources, tin, aluminium. They mine everything. Probably said that wrong, but they, you know you get the idea. They, they're mining precious metals. They're mining, you know, unsexy things on a commercial scale. They okay. accidentally found a diamond mine in the 1980s. <laughs> and they were like, oh, my God, this is good. But they knew it was finite. And, and once they'd had this success with the Argyle diamonds, in just like 30 years, they were like, right, we need to find another diamond mine. So they bought another diamond mine in, in, you know, in Canada, which is a Diabic mine. Yeah. Because they're just not going to have anything to do, essentially, and they're, they're good at it. These guys in Catching State are like, oh, my God, jadeite's ended. Where is jadeite? The only jadeite is in Guatemala now. Nowhere near the same supply in terms of volume. Nowhere near the same supply in terms of the quality. Like, for instance, with Myanmar, let's just say 50% of it was top gem, like Taipei. Mm, mm. In, in uh, Guatemala, that's about 10%. Okay, so, okay, so you're not getting the same, which means it's expensive. They're, they're flying to Guatemala. They're buying up swathes of land along the Montague Valley. They're doing it right now, and they've been doing it for like the last year. So they've bought up pretty much the whole jade mining area of Guatemala. They're buying up already established mines. They're, bu they're buying up um, swathes of land to, to mine for it, and they understand it better than anyone. And they are, that's their jade now. That's the jade that will be in China. It's Olmec material. And the Olmec blue, the pristine material, is going to be the imperial green. Just so you know, it's happening. It's already happened. And... This is the, the reality for, for that's facing us. And that's why I say something like that would cost about five grand today. So I'm going to bring the graphics in right now, if that's okay, Ross. And I know this is ridiculous because you know the deal we're going to do. I'm going to start this at five thousand pounds. Yeah. I want to show you that price because if if any of no one's paying that price, even if you confirm now, you're going to pay the final low deal. But if that price seems reasonable to you, or you think I can do that, then we will buy more Olmec Jade. But other than that, we're not. And I'm not even telling you it's mined out. I'm telling you we're priced out. That's the difference. You know, like I said, yeah. 1.2 billion people in China that can't get enough jade. They're looking at the first time in their history that their, their children can't own type A jade out first hand. It doesn't In exist. generations? In forever. Yeah. Like, that's the reality. And so they are buying up all of this land for the jade out. Now, we talk about um, the, the couple, the Ridingers, uh, the late, great Jay Ridinger and his, his wife, Mary Lou. They d rediscovered the Olmec mines. And they've been mining them since the 1970s. And I don't know if you know this, but it's very kind of uh, rock houndy. Okay, it's not fully mechanized, not mass production. Yeah. It's like they live a humble life and they're mining this material and it's a nice little industry. Okay, it's not anymore. 
like the Chinese are plowing millions, maybe billions into that area because they need to get the jade out. They need to get the jade out and they're looking for what we've got in this studio right now. And um, I talked to you about Bernard, but I also talked about his wife, Sandy, who I, uh, I'm not actually 100% sure if I'm allowed to play this clip of film, but I think she's okay with it. She is in, and I want to stress this legally, we don't work with Sandy, we work with her husband. And the reason I say that is because she has exclusive contracts with three of the biggest brands on the planet. Like, I'm not talking even Chow Tai Fook, who are the biggest brand in China, I'm talking global brands, household names, okay. she is a designer for. And so she, I'm telling you, she doesn't work with us, although I'm very friendly with her and I work with her husband, Bernard Liv, and I asked her about Olmec Jade. And I'm gonna show you what she has to say. Now, if this clip doesn't play properly, I'll explain what she says anyway, because I know we're having problems with it. She said it in Mandarin, we've had this translated professionally, because I, I didn't want her to water down what she was saying, English being a second language. I said, please convey exactly what you want to tell our collectors about Olmec Jade. Take a listen to this. Unfortunately, you know, we are experiencing problems with that. We've just, we've tried. Um, just so you know, that translation goes on to say that these are now being traded. They're, they're selling for the price of Imperial Green Jade. Okay. This is Imperial Green. I've never bought you Imperial Green. How many of these do we have, Ross? 30. Okay. I just want you to look at these through new eyes today. That's it. I want you to understand the actual current market. Um, and we're not going to change the price. I'm not going to put the price up. But I want you to understand that this is a £5,000 piece of jewellery right now. Yeah. Or a carving, okay? That's the reality. For I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward, you won't see it. Yeah. Oh. So, like, I, I know I said playfully, if you want to pay five grand, I'll go and buy it. But I'm, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't pay five thousand pounds for it because otherwise I'd bring you Imperial Green, yeah. but I don't because I think it's too expensive. Look at that. It's the color, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's and the, the and the thing is, this color's even even if Burma was producing, they don't have this color. It's a leg, legacy color. Um, Thirty second clock is all I'm going to give you. I'm going to take thousands off the price. Thirty of these. My advice to you. If, if, I mean, like, you don't have to listen to my advice and whatever, whatever it's worth, but I would say multi-buy, genuinely, because this, this is ridiculous. It's actually crazy what we're about to authorise happening, knowing we can't replace it. The whole point that jadeite price has gone through the roof is because they can't replace it. The reason these, these jadeite carvings are like half a million pounds right now are because they can't find the rough to carve anything like that again. Yeah. So if you can't replace something... Mm. You, you're not going to let it go for even... My, I'll give you an analogy in a second, but I'll give you the price first. 199 I'm doing. That's not two grand, I'm talking 200 pounds on that. 199 Sensational, epic, incredible. The Imperial okay. Green right now, trading for those prices, and you've just got it certified, it's natural, it's the legacy Olmec Jadeite. And we've, we're literally giving this away. Giving it away to any one of our collectors that wants it. Forty-nine pounds seventy-five on interest. On split payment. Split payments. Okay. I would multi-buy and multi-buy. I'd buy. I know it's crazy because I know one hundred and ninety-nine pounds considered to anyone, including me. But just like Maker in Lanarkshire, I'd buy three of these. Mm. Genuinely, that's how. And these are hand carved as well, aren't they? All... Um, and they are pristine, top gem, yeah. translucent, incredible material, massive carat weight, the ultimate material. Yeah. And I wish, obviously, I wish we could play that clip of Sandy talking about this material, talking about the unbelievable prices being uh, traded for, for this material. If you just, and I'll tell you another thing, I don't know, you know, with modern technology, which is amazing, if you can, I'd like you to record this moment on your TV. Yeah. I'd like you to record this show right now and watch it back in like six months and think, even if you're not getting involved, just be like, they were crazy to sell Olmec Jadeite that carrot weight do you know, 200 quid. You saying that, Dave, um, I used to do that. When I, when I, when I, not long after I started presenting and I, and I worked on our sister channel, yeah. some of the gemstones that I acquired, and across our gem collector as well, so the gemstones that I used to purchase, I used to, in pencil, by the way, um, just jot down how much I paid. Yeah. Um, just, just so I know. Um, yes. I'm moving forward, and then when you get them valued, you can make that comparison. You can Absolutely. give yourself a gigantic pack on, pat on the back. We know, even Today, there's no need to wait in yeah. moving forward. We well know done. today. Congratulations if you were successful. That was the only old we were able to bring to you. And like I said, that is the new Imperial Green Jade. So congratulations, whoever just acquired that, for that unbelievable deal. Well done. Oh, that's beautiful, this next one. We've got a beautiful... Um, 
Type A Jada. Type. Oh, look at that luster. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, it does look wet, doesn't it? It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's Debbie. It does. It looks wet. And that wet look is so important for for jadeite, and it's not like to be found on most jadeite. Most jadeite is very chalky. Yeah. Even when it's uh, natural and type A, to have that kind of almost porcelain finish, to have that yeah. wet look appearance, is absolutely phenomenal. This is what we consider ice jadeite. Yeah. Such an intricate carving that we're dealing with right now. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. You've got at Circle of Heaven. Yeah. Beautiful and you've got flowers. all those kind of beautiful vines as well. It's a double side carving. How many of these do we have, Ross? 26 available. Uh, nowhere near enough, guys. Nowhere near enough. No. And I've just literally positioned it alongside this. I don't know. I'm going to go to the price that we should be at, which again would be 199 and then I'm going to give you an even crazier deal today. I'm going to go straight there, Ross. I'm going to go 199 We could start at 1000 2000 but you know we're going to do an impressive deal right now. We've got a very small quantity, and this is my start price. It's still, a, it's still an exciting quantity. You know, the days of us being able to do sort of two, three hundred quantity oh, God, auctions yeah. of jadeite are gone. Well, yeah, for sure. They are absolutely uh, gone. In fact, yeah. you know what, guys? How many do we have, Ross? 26? 26. 26. Okay. Um, can I have a 30-second clock, please, Adam? And I'm going to say, if there's 26 of you right now that are tuned in, that are watching, you, you're not going to believe the deal you're going to get. And I would encourage you to get in in 24 seconds. Or you can wait, but you're going to join a massive queue. Mm. You're going to join a huge queue. These are carved by masters as well. Um, out of solid type A jade, untreated ice jade, phenomenal. Equally as impressive, Dave, because actually we're talking about something that is almost wafer fine. Yeah, I mean, you see pieces like this, you actually see these pieces in Christie's. Yeah. Like that size, that level of detail, one of a kind. Yeah. And then you've got to outbid everyone in the room. I told you to be on the phone lines. Do you know what I'm going to do on this, Ross? 129. 129? Yeah, 129, 100 carats. Uh, Glowing uh, uh, type A, uh, pristine. <laughs> Green Jada. I want you to appreciate this in the same way yeah. that we appreciate Song Yang's work that we've seen today. Absolutely. Right? I remember it's you. the same techniques. Yeah. I remember you telling me the story, Dave, about our financial director yeah. just asking you the question in a board meeting saying, yeah, but why? You can't replace this. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's ridiculous. It's... And that, that's what we do. You know, at the time that financial director was new to the business. Yeah. And she's right. She's like, it makes no sense. And I was like, I, I remember saying to her, have you met Steve Bennett? <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. crazy guy. Like it makes sense. I agree, I agree. Because if you want an analogy, you can't do it with diamonds or whatever, but I will no. give you an analogy. The analogy is we bought this at an incredible time and we got an incredible deal. But the market value of it is such that it's astronomical. And that was her point. She's like, you're better off selling it back into the trade. She, she wasn't saying raise the prices to you guys. We'd never, ever do that. But she's like, just sell it back into the trade. And, and you know, you'll have, then you're going to have a much uh, bigger amount of profit that you can go and use to uh, liqu liquidate into other jewellery, go and buy more jewellery. Yeah. Um, and, and the reality is, it's like, I always say it's like my parents' first house. Their first house, you know, I don't know, 35, 40 years ago. I don't know what it would have been. Let's say it was 12,000 pounds. Let's say it was like a three-bed or a two-bed house, you know, yeah. semi-detached. And let's say that house today is worth in excess of 200,000 pounds. Yeah. And they paid 12 grand for it. Mm. Yeah. They're not in that same house anymore, but let's just say. Uh, mortgages paid off everything, and they're like, hey, you know what, it's time to sell, we're gonna downsize, we're gonna do whatever. What they do, obviously, is you have someone come around, a state agent, and they give you the market value of it. Yeah. So they say, well, this house is uh, 230,000 pounds, we'd expect to put it on, we'd take offers over whatever, okay? Yeah. The reason that you do that is so you can get back into the market. Yeah. Okay, they, they, they don't look at it and go, we only paid 12 grand for this. Let's sell it for 13. We've made a thousand pounds and whatever, you know, we, we've, we've done that. And then they're just going to live in a cardboard box because they can't afford to get back into the market. Yep, yeah, exactly. That's, that is what we are doing right now with Jade. Yes. That's it's, actually it's, what we're doing. It's, it's we so should, true. We should have someone come in and go, the market value of a piece like that, 100 carats, type A, pristine Jade yep. is this. But we don't. We go, we just want to make a tiny profit on it. That's it. Yeah. And of course, we make a tiny profit. You know, that's what we do. And we work on volume basis and we bring these incredible deals. But realistically, when you go to Christie's and Bonhams and Sotheby's and you see pieces like that, and they're, they're actually trying to get the market value. They invite the market in to bid on it. And then that's what happens. We never do that. And that's why you get these impressive, incredible deals. That's why across the partnership over nearly 20 years, we've got a million customers around the world, a million unique customers. That's why. Yeah, because we do something exciting. no one else would do. So well done. And, and it's amazing that we've that that, that we it's can't amazing do we're still that. going. Let's yeah. be honest. It's yeah, that's true. Still. That is true. Um, now, of all the jade carvings, I have to say I absolutely love the little pixie. Oh, pixie's my favourite. A pixie's my favourite carving ever. 
for, so for what, for what is a pixu? A pixu is a dragon cross. Well, he's, yeah, he's like a dog? yeah. I guess he's a little dragon dog thing. I don't know what he is. I think <laughs> you're closer to call him a dragon. But oh, I yeah. love him because I, I want Disney to like make a film about a pixu. I rem uh, he's we almost like, be like Stitch. Yeah, he is like Stitch. Oh, amazing! He's yeah. like Stitch. <laughs> so the the, the pixu is um, let's come in at like. £2,000, Ross, because this is type A material. And we've got quantity of these, I'm just being told. How many do we have? Um, 50 That's available. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So he is drilled as well. So if you wanted to wear him as a pendant, you actually. You know what? Can. Like, actually, that recording, look at the amount of detail here. Yeah, he's amazing. So let me just give you the brief story of the Pixu. The Pixu, it goes back to the Han Dynasty, thousands of years ago. It's found in the Book of Han. And essentially, the story goes that there was this Pixu. This, this brave warrior, brave troops. It goes by many different names. And thank you, Ross. You're a hero. This is the, the Pixu story. So the story of Pixu's ability to attract wealth for his master, because he's like, you know, said to, to you know, bring good fortune, explains his ability, ability to accumulate great wealth. So one version of the story is the Pixu had an accident on the palace floors. Oh. Okay, so he went to the toilet on the palace floors of the Jade Emperor. <laughs> and the Jade Emperor was so angry that he scolded the Pixu so loudly that he never defecated again, but you know he couldn't ever defecate again anywhere. So with no way to process his food, and he condemned him, by the way, to a diet of uh, you know gold and silver and gems, anything valuable, and with no way to process it, um, Pixu retained all that they ate, and their masters became exceedingly wealthy. But the beauty of the Pixu is that they've got this reputation as being fierce creatures. You can see their large fangs, in, in, you can see it in our recording, um, are used to attack demons and evil spirits. So it's like, you know, the North African evil eye, mm. yes. how it takes, wards off evil intentions or whatever. Yes. This does that. So any, and the any, hamza any, hand. Yeah, the hamza hand. So any evil kind of uh, uh, misgivings directed at you, it takes and converts it into, like, wealth. Fortune. Into fortune for you, said to anyway. Um, Pixus also guard against disease caused by these evil spirits. And it's written that the Pixu patrols the gates of heaven to keep demons at bay and to protect their owners from all harm. It's believed that the ferociously devoted Pixu would always and constantly guard its master, even after he passed from this life into the next. It was also believed that the Pixu would help their masters ascend to heaven by flying them up to heaven on ah. their backs. This is the story of the Pixu. All in all... He's, he seems like a, he's a kind of guy that you want on your side. Oh, for sure. 100%. Definitely. He's a protection. Yeah, protection. Good, good in a protection piece of jewellery. Beautiful. And he's sat on a money coin as well. You yeah, they, they you most often are sat on money coins. There's, there's like rules to wearing the Pixu. Um, yes. You know, you, you, you want to pet your Pixu. When you get this home, you want to put it in uh, a bowl yep. um, of, you know, valuable things like money, jewellery, whatever it may be. So he knows what to go and look for in the world for you. Uh. Um, he's always going to be facing outwards. Yes. Um, and if you want to make this into a bracelet, for instance, he's always going to be on your left hand because that's, uh, uh, you know, um, the, the hand that you receive with. Yes. Uh, and if you're wearing it as a pendant, you always want him facing outwards. Yes. Um, 30 second clock. Sorry, guys. And I'll give you the final idea. It's going to be wild. Absolutely beautiful. 50 of these available. I wish you the best of luck. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I mean, there he is. Look, look. I just so want to show you a carved jade uh, pendant necklace in kind of imperial. Again. This is the picture. Sold for forty one thousand dollars in two thousand fifteen. Yeah, it's this is the kind of jewelry that you can make. Obviously, it's not the in same. In two thousand fifteen, when it was still available. Yeah. Still being unearthed. Yeah. And I actually prefer this little pixu. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I do. He's cute, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. He, d he definitely has that kind of stitch about him. Doesn't yes. He? Yeah. Uh, good luck. I'm going to do something crazy. It's my final deal with you this morning. Um, I know Debbie has an amazing masterclass coming up. I know Elle's got incredible deals for you as well. This is my final deal. I wish you the best of luck. I'm going to do it for £99. Good luck. Oh, really? Yeah, we're going out with a bang. £99. Take advantage. Multi-buy if you can. What an amazing gift to, to give to a loved yeah, one. Yeah. Um, you know, the gift of, like, good fortune and uh, protection. I, I didn't know that story, though, that you've got to introduce him to the wealth. Oh, yeah. So. And also, as well, if he's handed down through generations, the new master or the new wearer or owner yeah. has to bond with him. Oh. So you have to pet them, but never on the eyes. Oh. That's what he uses to look for. That's the rule. Are you just saying that because no, I no, genuinely, said no, I'm just telling you because I wanted to stop you doing it. But if I show you the rules quickly while this is selling out, um, 
Never on the eyes. So they say uh, the P hour is the, also the other name that it goes by. It okay. serves you best when you strengthen your bond with it. To do this, you must touch its body frequently. We know Jade's tactile, just like how you would with your pet. However, avoid touching its mouth and eyes, which it uses to hunt for treasures. Okay. Uh, to train your Pixu, you've got to pl uh, place him in a bowl of money, gems, or anything valuable or precious so that he knows what to look for. This is called feeding your Pixu. Always have the Pixu facing outward so he's actively searching for wealth. When you're wearing your Pixu, when you're not wearing your Pixu, place him in the living room or the main living quarters of your house facing the main door. And uh, obviously with the bracelet, always wear it on your left hand. We just did that for 99 pounds. I hope you're getting just it. Just amazing. Good luck. There we go. We're just feeding our Pixu. <laughs> right yeah, there, there. Look at him. Find me some jade, please. Yeah, we uh, yeah, off you go. All the jade and all the pearls. All well, the jade and the pearls. How amazing. Dave, just, I love him. I think he's absolutely beautiful. So Again, just tilting him forward. Look at all that detailing. It's amazing, isn't he's it? He's not small, is he? No, he's He'd large. He'd be great for an 18th or 21st yes. present, wouldn't he? Yeah. I agree. Like, and the story behind it. Oh, I'll share that story. Amazing. £33 on your split payment. Again, make sure you do check out your baskets, wonderful jewellery makers. Dave, what an amazing day oh, today has thank been. You. Thank you very much. Um, a moment in history for sure. Absolutely. Huge congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I, I mean... A moment in history that we'll For probably sure. never. Yeah, we've we've again. all we've all managed to be a part of. Um, you know, thank you to Debbie and and Elle and the whole team, the whole team that have been part of this. It's it's great to be able to share it with all of you. And of course, you guys at home. And congratulations to anyone who was successful in acquiring something from the the exhibition series. Um, you know, there is an amazing masterclass that's coming up, and I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Thank you so much for your time uh, today. Oh, oh, thank you, Dave. Isn't he just wonderful? Now we have got some more amazing. Uh, um, jade opportunities coming up over the birthday celebrations Yay, which starts exciting. on monday um so you're going to learn a little bit more about that as well during this break so again from debbie and i absolute heartfelt congratulations to every single one of those collectors that yeah. managed to get hold of um the one-of-a-kind pieces these amazing master carvings but we still have so much still to bring you between now and the top of the hour beautiful master class get yourselves ready we'll join you after this so the the idea for the color wheel was that anytime we ever learn about jadeite they talk about all of the captivating and rare colors that jade can occur in they're extraordinarily rare um, to put it into context asprey at the moment have just launched their first ever collection of jadeite 60 pieces um, all imperial green and the starting price is 130,000 pounds there is one piece that is 18 million pounds in Mayfair uh, as we speak it's in their safe it's a, a small chunk of rough and the reason it's so highly valued is it's, it contains more than two colors you know primarily red white and of course the green it's always been a dream to kind of be able to offer our collectors the whole transition of colors, a collection in one exquisite piece, and it's taken us three years to get there, and we think it's fitting that for the birthday, we can offer every collector uh, a chance to own the colors of Taipei Jedi. Jewelry Makers, it's our 13th birthday. And to celebrate, we're having 13 days of great deals and amazing products. But don't just take my word for it, listen to these lot. South Sea, Akoya and Tahitian Pearls. Diamond Tube Launch. Red Jade. Nan Hong, Red Agate Launch. Mixed Freshwater Pearl Bundle. Secura Agate. Old McBangle. Dremel Relaunch. Jade Colour Wheel. Base Metal Chain Bundle. We've also got some great guests, some great games, some surprises and much, much more. So join us for our 13th birthday, launching this Monday. Woo! The first day of the day of this birthday is going to be massive. We're going to start the birthday off with a bang. Three brand new strands of pearls. I'm not going to tell you all the colours of the pearls, but one of them is blue for the very first time. We've only got three strands. One of them has only got 20 in stock, and the biggest quantity I think is 38. So they are very, very limited. These are going to be a great opportunity for our customers to get into their collection. Join us 
on Monday for the very first day of our 13th birthday celebrations. We're going to be joined by the amazing Natalie. Can't wait to welcome her to the show. Natalie's kits have got the brand new diamond tube launch. Really excited about that. You've got a gorgeous nephrite donut birthday banger. We've also got a red jade. We've got a pearl deal of the day and loads of fun and games. We'll see you then. When we talk about jade, it has uh, like a 10,000 year history. But obviously before modern gemology, before labs, the finest and rarest gemstones that were collected by the different uh, uh, emperors, the different um, dynasties, were all referred to as jade. But one of the most valued stones in the Quinlong period was a, a gemstone known as the, the red jade. It was actually a Nanhong agate, which is actually far rarer than red jade. Um, it was mined so heavily during that period uh, by Emperor Quinlong that they mined it to depletion and it disappeared. In around 2009, they rediscovered the seam of Nanhong um, and China was said to enter into Nanhong fever. So much so that pieces the size of eggs um, like chicken's eggs were commanding over $100,000. It's extraordinarily rare. It's the most valuable form of agate in the world. It is a quartzite jadeite variety. It's 100% natural. And the most interesting thing is this new seam that was discovered in 2009 is a finer grade than even what was in the prized possession of the Quinlong uh, Emperor. It has no cracks, it is pure. But as we, we know, this material can and will disappear at some point. And um, a lot of collectors are trying to get it. We've managed to secure this one-time launch for Jewelry Maker to commemorate our birthday. And I would encourage any collector to get hold of it while they can. The deal of the day is 925 sterling silver chains. We've got four different styles, ranging from rope, cable, and diamond cut. They're perfect for gifting. Uh, you can add pendants onto these, or head pins and seed beads. So this deal of the day is really special because we've been working on this for a couple of months now, working to bring the cost down and bringing the best retail cost to you. yourself moment I know yeah I'm to, to have been in the studio with those and it's an honor isn't it and, and <laughs> while Dave was talking Ellen and I were getting each of the little um, carvings and going to each other <laughs> silently <laughs> weren't we I know <laughs> trying to be professional yeah. Whilst, uh, yeah I know I know but it is an honor <laughs> genuinely it's an honor isn't it to, yeah. to, to just to see something so beautiful yeah huge congratulations to the collectors by the way not just for the one-of-a-kind pieces to the of course those amazing carvings as well and again um, um if you missed out on one of those one of kind one of a kind carvings i really really want to emphasize this i don't want you to put your lay your head down tonight thinking um oh, perhaps i should have made that phone call make the phone call even if our call center said no it, say it is gone currently you never if, if we're okay if people change their mind that's absolutely fine because it means we can give other people an opportunity so um speak to our call center um because they do need to be physically confirmed as well which i think which we're gonna I'll, uh, we're doing in the process i think okay. right now so i think i think they are but we'll need to double check it um Okay, now, Masterclass, oh. Debbie, three years. Three whole years. It's quite a long time, isn't it? Yes. Since we've seen this tool. What is this tool? It's a lightsaber. I love it, it okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ring stretcher. Now, hang on a minute, because... So I've got jewellery within my just jewellery box, which, you know, a bit heavier now than I was once upon a time. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. You know, same. <laughs> you know. You used to go on that finger and now it's between fingers and you can't wear it. Can't wear it anymore. Yeah. Um, I'll just blame my kids. Yeah, me too. It's not. It's actually just because I've got, I like cake. Um, <laughs> <but> <laughs> Mine's crisps. 
<laughs> I like cake a lot. Um, but, so, it doesn't mean that these pieces of jewellery need to stay in the abyss of your jewellery box. No, and do you know, I didn't even think of that until I got the other ring stretch at all and went through my jewellery box and then thought, oh, I can wear that now. Because there are things that you just disregard because you can't, can't wear them. Can't fit them anymore. And also, kind of, you kind of put it, put it back, put, put it in there. Just don't want to think about yeah, it. Oh, you take that it, it out. Fit yeah, and you look at it and you think, oh, that used to be nice when I could wear it. <laughs> but not only that with a tool like this, when you're beginning silversmithing, um, and even those of us that have been doing it for a while, it can happen. You'll make a ring and it's just, you know, you've done all your calculations, but it's just with the working process, the ring has worked out just yeah. a little bit too small. Okay. And tools like this are invaluable, especially bands, for just, you know, bringing it up half a size, bringing it up that, that millimetre. Um, and also, this is, look, it's only little. So if you are limited on your space in your workshop, mm. then, you know, it's literally something that you can put in a, in a drawer. Um, and Debbie, I'm just thinking back to my, um, to the jewellers that I worked at. They had a workshop upstairs. People yeah. used to bring in jewellery to be repaired, you know, um, wedding bands, whatever, rings to be um, uh, made bigger or smaller. And they do, if it's only going up so many sizes, they do stretch it. Yeah, they, they do. Don't, they don't add gold every time, no. contrary to belief. They, no. they will just stretch yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have ring stretchers in the jewellers. Mm. So if it is um, a band that can be stretched and up to about half a size, they most certainly will use that tool to stretch the ring. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what this does. Yes. It stretches your rings. No stones. So this would be um, any of your bands or plain silver rings that have no stones in. Is what what, what about one with like a, um, a setting? So i.e. one that has maybe a, a, a Tiffany's setting. A four claw setting. Could I stretch the band bit, do you reckon? Again, it's trial and error. Okay. Um, this is more for, I would say, things like, you know, signet rings. Yeah, and, wedding bands. Um, wedding bands. And I've got a little one here, a little silver ring, which I found in my... Because um, I think that I used all my bands to stretch when we had the last stretch at all, the one for, for the stones. But something sort of like this that... Yeah. You know, it's all silver yeah. um, and it hasn't got anything that you can... You can ha certainly have a go with a claw set ring. I would do it before you set the stone, obviously. Um, and it just depends how it's soldered. Yeah. If you have got a weak solder joint, it can pop it open. So make sure that whatever you're um, stretching has stretching is, is been made well. OK, now we do have quantity of these, I believe. Is that right? 200 Ooh, that's but good. they have it's been three years oh, yeah. I, I, yeah I'm, I'm, i don't joke three years apparently since this has been on air it's called the wonder <coughs> ring me. stretcher Ooh, i like it and we have had some ring stretchers that have been big pieces of kit yeah the ones we, like this yeah that you know take up a lot of your bench um, but maybe, you know, you're only stretching here and there, or yep. you just want to stretch a ring because sometimes you make a band a little bit too small. Mm. This is the perfect tool and the perfect price. Okay. Because maybe now you don't you know want to spend. Me. Well, it can't be as much as the great big one that I've got on my bench. See, and... she's doing that motion again. I'm sorry, it, it, there was, there was. You go like, you <laughs> I know the one you mean. It, it, clip, it clips to your desk and you have to kind of stretch it yes. like so. Great. But takes up a lot of um, surface area as absolutely. well. Absolutely, and yeah. you might not have a workbench. Yeah. I haven't got a workbench. I bench. didn't for years. No. Um, so here we go. We've looked around. Okay. Um, we've had a little look around for the Wonder Ring Stretcher. Sorry, I think it's just the best best branding ever. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and we can show you comparisons. So exactly the same tool. Yeah. Um, this is ours is Rathburn Ring Stretcher, which is what Cookson and Gold have on your screens right now. Straight away, is that right? Hang on a minute, £15.61, that that's seems an amazing price. That is an amazing, and that's what I mean. Like, the other ones were great for what they were, but, you know, people who are just starting out or people who you know, might not have the money for a large, heavy tool, £15 is amazing. Yeah, it is. I mean, you've got to pay your postage and packaging on top of that as well, I guess, yeah. but... So that seems like a great deal. Let's match Cooks and Gold then, straight away. Oh, wow, OK, good. OK, we've got a big quantity of these. Um, and I'm thinking as well, you, I'm not, a, I'm not a, a metalsmith, I'm not a silversmith, which reminds me I need to speak to you about something we spoke about the other day oh, about, okay. uh, about, about yeah. uh, precious metal. Um, but I'm not, but if, you know, I, I, again, I can already see the need for me mm -hmm. getting one of these. 
oh yes because you know we've all got rings that don't fit, fit. anymore yeah and you know and, and also you know if your your joints change as you get older and sometimes you get arthritis in your joints it's the joint that you can't get the ring over isn't yes, it yes there's that too so this is is brilliant for that sort of thing absolutely um okay well we've bettered Oh, yes. and and Gold's price point. So we've okay. gone to £14.99. pence. What's this little doobie all about then? That is just like a um, rubber block. So you pop your tool on top of it and it absorbs the shock. Okay. Right, oh, so like that? Like that. Okay, well, you're going to be demonstrating, aren't you, how to use this? I will. There we go. And any questions that you might have? Any questions that you might have, feel free um, to send us a text message. Start uh, the graphics alive, you know, and we can't always do it, obviously, but um, Jewelry Maker will always endeavour, if we can, to bring it to you at the most affordable price tag. Um, Our out tools there. are amazingly priced. And we can buy big quantities, yeah. that's quite often how we, how we do it. We buy big quantities of them. We've got a big audience, you've got to remember as well, um, international audience. So, um, yeah, that's how we tend to negotiate the best possible deal. Mm -hmm. Now, Ross has just found something, yes, Roscoe. When you go through to check out on Cooks and Gold, yeah. Okay, it's still, look, £26.40. Look, look, let's be honest, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's quite expensive potion packaging. Not, not unusual, by the way. If you buy from, you it's know heavy. that? Yeah, it is heavy. I mean, if you buy from that um, uh, shopping channel, I buy from another shopping channel. <gasps> I do. Traitor. <laughs> I do, I do. But we don't sell um, the face creams that I use here. <laughs> okay. So uh, I do shop, yeah. Um, I like, you know the biggest shopping channel in the world? You yeah. know the one? I yeah. know the presenter who sells those face creams. Yes, I one. buy those face <laughs> creams. And I have to pay that, by the way, eight ninety nine per item. Well, this is... Uh, and, I, and I'm always banging on about this, so I'm glad we're seeing it actually on our screens. But the postage and packaging for metal smithing items, sometimes, like if you're paying like £15 for a tool and then you've got to pay another £5, that's the difference between whether you're actually going to buy it or that's not. That's true. Um, and our postage and packing for these tools doesn't ever increase with how heavy the parcel is. No, it's one and postage and packaging all day. that's a real thing. Selling point. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Totally agree. Totally, totally agree. You know, it, it, it makes a difference, doesn't it? I don't know, vinted. I'm big into vinted. So at the am I. Love a bit of vinted. Yeah, me too. You know, um, so yeah, quite get a lot, quite a lot of the girls' clothes from vinted. And um, you might see something. Oh, hang on a minute though. That's really good. That price. Yeah, but. The However, price... by the time you put the postage and packaging on yes. top, it's actually not that good a price. Exactly that. Or if you've got, you're doing a big order, like I'm spending a hundred pounds, so four pound forty is okay. But when you're spending fifteen. Mm. It's like a third of the price of the item that you're buying. Well, we, well previously we were, we were almost half price. Right now, we are half price what it would be with the delivery of Cooks and Gold. 12 99 And you're not wrong, it's not light. This no, is it, a heavy tool. Yeah, so, you know, it's... The postage will reflect that usually anywhere that you shop for silversmithing tools. Yeah. That is an incredible price. It is, isn't it? <laughs> and this is going to last you and last you. And um, just make sure that you keep it away from water. And um, those little silica gel uh, pouches that you sometimes get in your jewelry maker parcels or you get in handbags and yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put those in with your with your silversmithing tools. Put it in the drawer and it'll take any damp out. Okay, because you don't want you don't want it to be rusting, do you? No. No, that's the last thing that you want. Now, um, yeah, Cooks and Gold with delivery, £26.40, pence, amazing. And by the way, we love Cooks and Gold. You might be a competitor of ours. We've got a great relationship with them. Um, we've got 200 today, though. You're not. We are. We're doing okay, it. We're doing it. We're doing it, you know. <laughs> okay. We're going to take it under £10. This is just an add to your order price. How many have gone? 103. Okay. Even if you're not a silversmither. Oh, no. And so many people messaged me last time I sold, uh, we sold the, um, the ring stretcher tool, the one for the stones, mm. and said that they'd had heirloom pieces or pieces from their mum or whatever yeah. that they couldn't wear, and now they could. Yeah. Yeah, same. My, um, you know, my mum's very much still with us, but, but mm. uh, um, she has smaller fingers than me. Yes. So I know that... You know, when I do inherit her jewellery, you know, I'm probably going to have to get them resized. Yeah, which 
you know, and something like this, when you can put on, and also wedding bands. I used to wear my Nana's wedding band and my mum's and mine at the same time, but my Nana's was too small, so I put it around my neck. Yeah. Um, but you could, for a wedding band, just take it up that little... Sometimes it's just a matter of a couple of millimetres, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. That makes all the difference, doesn't it? And it's more comfortable then. Comfort. Yeah. There's nothing worse than wearing a ring that's ever so slightly too small because you're just like, ooh, and as you especially get when it gets hot. hot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> which, which I'm always getting hot at the moment <laughs> here in the studio. Um, amazing. £9.90. Look at that core screen. That is the price of a bottle of wine <laughs> or uh, a sandwich and a coffee. I can No, stick with the first one. Okay, I can relate yeah. to that. I was, I was just trying to sound a bit more classy <laughs> than I actually am then. A sandwich <laughs> and a coffee because I never drink wine. <laughs> Come on now. We know better than Who that. Who doesn't love a tool for nine ninety nine? Tools. Yeah, and we expect tools to be much more expensive. We expect to have to pay for a tool, don't we? And this isn't a version of the one on Cookson's. This is the same, same one. one. It's Rathbun. I've got the box over there on the shelf. Yeah, exactly the same one. Amazing. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not uh, um, where we've done a version of ourselves. No, it's no, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same and it's a reputable brand. Absolutely. Well done. We had two hundred of them available. Lovely jewelry makers. Again, any questions that you have for um, our fabulous Debbie, then do message us. Um, in fact, without further ado, Debbie, do you want to show us how it works? Now, when you get this, this is inside. Okay. And you might do everything that you can to get this out. And one of the easiest ways, um, I've put it in the wrong way. We're off to a good start. Yeah. There we go. One of the easiest ways is to either get your mandrel inside here, like your ring oh, mandrel, okay. and then give it a whack. Okay. If it's really, really tight, because remember, they've been shipped, I threw mine on the floor. Not, not on... Um, on carpet, just drop it gently, and it'll it come up, and it'll come apart. Okay. Um, because it's a top tip. yeah, it's just because metal smithing tools are often like that. And then you see so it comes in three pieces. You've got these two pieces, and it'll probably be um, one will be inside the other. So do not worry if that is stuck in there. It's supposed to be. It's just like it's been stuck in there in the box. So they're easy ways to get it out. Okay. And then you've got this little base, which basically sort of works like a, a rubber block. It sort of absorbs the shock. Okay. But what I tend to do is either use a rubber block um, underneath it anyway, just because I've got one. So what you do, you need to obviously know what size your ring is that you are going to um, I haven't got a band because I used them all when I had the other ring stretching tool, so I'm just going to use a signet ring. So this one, I would never say t take your ring up two sizes unless it's something that you really don't care about if it snaps. You'd really not want to go up more than about half a size with anything without like putting some metal in. Yeah, that's, um, where, that's where they would add metal. But half a, half a size can be the difference between it fitting or it not fitting, yeah. especially if you're making rings. That is often, it just varies by just a millimetre, and this mm. is perfect for that. So you want to pop your ring onto your ring mandrel and just see what size it is so that you can monitor um, how large it's going. Because you want to do it in increments. You don't want to put it and give it loads of wax and then it's gone way too big or it snaps. So, you know, being gentle with it. So I'm going to use this, uh, this ring here. So you take your ring um, size and you can see you've got all of the different sizes here of the rings sizes that you can use now i think that i saw that the smallest ring you can stretch is a six but it's whatever ring will actually fit on the very last gauge so it's pretty much taking you through all the sizes there and then you're going to pop your ring on just make sure that you've got it on equally and then you just pop your mandrel into the middle like that and then you hammer it down now as I said, don't be really, really um, aggressive with it. Just you want to do this in, in increments. So you just pop it down. Oh, I see. And then I'm going to take it off. And then I always, because it's tapered, will take it off and turn it around the other way. Mm -hmm. And then pop it on and just put that mandrel inside because as you can see, that mandrel is tapered. Bash it down, take it off. Pop it back onto your mandrel. Sorry, I'm flailing my hands around here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's gone up about half a size. Amazing. Just um, with a few taps? Just with a few taps. So that's all there is to it. What I would say 
um, and just to stress is don't pop your mandolin and then just go for it because you just want to do it in small increments if this does get stuck inside which sometimes it does mm. then the way to get it out is to either pop um, your mandrel in there and just give it a bash and it'll come out um, if it gets really stuck as i say i drop mine on the carpet and it just comes apart you're not going to damage it it's steel don't drop it on a hard floor or outside on the mm -hmm. concrete but on a, a rug or um and then it, it's just it just comes apart. And so you've got all of your increments of sizes here. And you definitely, definitely need your ring mandrel because you're going to need to monitor how many sizes it's going up. Yeah. So it's a really super simple way of, of doing this with a really inexpensive tool that doesn't take up a lot of space. So that's just, that's all there is to it. There's no um, clever instructions. That's it, it's that. really straightforward. It's really straightforward. You don't need to be clever because I can do it. <laughs> no, well, you are clever. Well, you pop that in and just ba 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 ba. Yeah, rather than off. one big heavy blow, yeah. don't shock it. Have a play. Don't put your favourite ring on there first time. Yeah. Just have a play with it and you'll get used to how much pressure to put on. But, you know, it's not gonna, you're not going to lose anything by putting it on four times as opposed to one. No. But you, what you're going to gain is accuracy. And, and in terms of metals that this will stretch, will it stretch your silvers, your golds, yep. your copper? Yeah. If you find that um, your ring is really resisting or it's taking a long time and it's got on you know it's just a plain band then you can anneal it of course if you're a silver work with metal go and get some heat on that band because the more you work with metal the more the molecules form to harden work harden that metal yeah. so maybe even wearing rings or you know going together in the jewelry box can make metal harder yeah. which is why we put metal in tumblers to work hard on them so if you're thinking well why wow, this is you know maybe it's a thicker band i'm having trouble with this just give it an anneal before you put it on okay um now we do have a i was just uh, sort of signaling to ross there i was like have we got a ring mandrel you need definitely need one if you haven't already got one if okay. you want to be precise with it yeah um and i also think that they're, they're a really useful thing to have um within your uh, within your stash or within your home to be honest i mean i get asked all the time um sort of oh what ring size is, is is this ring or exactly you know i get asked all the time yeah. um for that so it's actually a really handy thing uh, to have within your home particularly if you're a jewelry maker obviously but absolutely needed uh, to go alongside this tool yeah um so we do have availability of um of a mandrel i mean you can use your ring mandrel to decrease too can't you you can um not this one but the one with the handle you can decrease. no 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 this oh, sorry. this sorry oh yeah absolutely so that's how i've yeah, seen yeah. jewelers working with just like a rawhide uh hammer to decrease the size of yeah. a ring so i mean you need to know the size and sometimes people don't know their ring size so you can say to them we'll take off that ring and put it on and mm -hmm. then we'll see what size it is and if you want it on that finger then you can work it out if you don't have a ring gauge to hand but when you are resizing you have to have one of these to be precise because yeah. you need to know what it was to start off with so yes. if it was an o and then you can see that it's gone down a little bit from an o and then the next time you put it on it's gone down a little bit more until you end up with like an o and a half or yeah. whatever and so then you're protecting your jewelry and also to work on i, I use these all the time to yeah. form things I, Absolutely. I have more than one and then i have one that i kind of raw height mallet on and then one that's kind of that stays nice so that i can get an accurate reading of what size my ring is. Um, I'm excited by these because it's actually, we don't often see the UK size ring mandrel. I know, and I love that because uh, that's how I think of it. Yes. Uh, so we use the letters of the alphabet, alphabet, whereas in the US they use numbers. Numbers, yeah. Um, so yeah, but we don't often see the uh, UK sizes. So um, have we got a photograph of this ring mandrel? Because that's obviously, that's obviously Debbie's. I've got, I can show, yeah, there we go. I've got this ring mandrel. I think I brought it to air a little while ago. This is a really... Oh, it's got UK and US. It's it's got UK and US, and it's got um, it's got something else in there as well. I think it's got um, actual measurements. Oh, okay. So it's really precise, and it's also very easy to see and to get a precise measurement. So if you get this, oh, is it six ninety nine? Yeah. That's amazing. So if you get this one, you would keep it for sort of best for just sizing rings. You wouldn't want to hammer on this one. This would be just for measuring, yeah. and keeping that accurate measurement. And just be gentle. You know, don't be hammering things when you're in a bad mood. <laughs> Um, in this case, I usually say hammer when you're in a bad mood and file when you feel very zen, uh, 
sore when you feel very zen but in this case it's the opposite because you want to gently increase yes, that size absolutely 6.99 only the amount of times like i said when i worked in that jewelers that people would come in just to have their uh, to, to, to find out the size of their their finger oh, or the yeah. size of a ring and whichever just it might have be. it because you do fluctuate through yeah. your life depending and you know it's a thing about i don't fluctuate is... i just increase <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know. No, I'm waiting for the down. Life's for living, you know. Exactly. <laughs> yes. 99. You need it. Amazing. So we had 200 of the um, of the tool. Um, how many do we have left of that tool? Oh, 38 left of that original ring, ring stretcher tool. Um, uh, mandrels. Have we got quantity of the mandrels? Well, we got quantity of those amazing, so keep on dialing through. Um, okay, but Debbie, this actually wasn't your master class. No. Because you made, and I was admiring him on Facebook, the most beautiful pieces of jewellery, visions of colour, mm. and there's a, another tool, another um, that goes alongside this. Now, I have to be perfectly honest, because you know me, I'm pretty transparent. I looked at this and I saw a picture of it and thought, not really sure what I need that for. And then could you get me out of my studio once I started using it? Oh, really? I was like, oh, I know what I can do. And what I've seen a lot of um, sellers on Etsy do with this is they use crystals um, as birthstone colours in their jewellery. Okay. And this is a great way <gasps> to get your crystals. So some of you may have seen this connector before. It's a JM connector. And it's plain, which I'll show you in a minute when I demo, because I've got a plain one here. Look how that Bollywood and oh, fun pops. that looks. It pops. And you could do all the same colour. It doesn't have to be multicoloured. But I wanted a bit of colour in my life, and this is amazing for that. So is that these? Little punches, a bit like stamping punches. So, OK. So um, it comes with, I think, the punches and three sizes of the flat back crystal. Right, OK. So you're getting these. Which again, Debbie, um, I'm very much going to be leaning on your knowledge. Yep. So you get, um, they're coming up, they are coming up. Um, so you get these, which are three different sizes, and then you are getting your beautiful crystals in also, hang on, doing this one handed, one second, um, in the three different sizes as well. Yep. So you have the, look at all of those. And they are really lovely. I mean, any flat back um, gemstone or anything, you can use these punches for that fit the size. So um, this comes with all of these crystals and all of these lovely different colours. And if you're working with base metal findings or you want to do birthstone jewellery that you're making to sell that you don't want to put a gemstone on, because maybe you want to do, you're doing your children's school fate or something, you want to do sort of less expensive things to offer. This is amazing. Okay. And it's in press art as well, so it's a, a really good... Uh, so we, I'm just looking at a price point for the same, for one of these, and it's $16 for, for, for the smallest one, actually. Yeah, that's so that, that one. Yeah, that's an impress... Sorry, that's an impress art one. This is our one. Yes, okay. Um, but it's the same thing. Same thing, do yeah. the same thing. Just the okay, but $16 translates to about £13. That's very good, actually. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, again, you're not going to need to replace them, but that is for one. Whereas you are getting all three. Yep. These are our version. Yep. Um, and you are getting the, uh, um, the corresponding crystals uh, to go alongside. Oh! Really? $29.99? And you get three lots of crystals as well. Yeah, but there's hundreds in there. Yeah, like absolutely loads. Oh, it's not on there. He's playing his card <laughs> close to the chest again. Um, and it transforms, doesn't it? So I'm just thinking, you know, this could work with your metal sheeting. Oh, yeah, the earrings, if you come down to the circular copper earrings, um, that is just copper that I've take, I've cut out with a disc cutter, you know, our disc yeah. cutter. And then I've put the little channels on and added the crystals. And I've left them that organic shape because I didn't want them to be completely flat. I quite like them with that movement in them. So that's that. But of course, if you don't work with metal, you can use our blanks or anything that you've got in your stash. Bangles. If you have a look at this one, I did a letter. I was very proud of myself. Ah. So you can personalise somebody's initial age, you know, whatever. Um, so that's a letter. And then, the yeah, a bangle is down here. And that was sort of the birthstone ones that I was talking about. So I've put a D. So I've stamped the letter and then I've just put the little... Oh, um, that's a lovely idea. The little colour. But you could have your children's birthstone colours yeah. on there instead of having their names. What about or... things like photo frames? And... You could do... Yeah. 
it depends if it would take you being anything that you can punch I'm into. Move the glass first. Good point. <laughs> Good point. Anything that you can punch, that they'd be going, that's a good idea. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember, we showed you one, one uh, mini crystal setter kit. Um, that's the smaller, so a version of, for what, $16, which is about, how much did we say? £13. Yeah. You're getting all three. You've got the different sizes written on the, uh, uh, on the what do we call these? Punch. Punches, there we go. And you're getting all of the crystals just down here in all three sizes. Who wants what? this entire set? Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. What? Under £10. And do you know what this is great for as well? I think this would be great for working with youngsters. You know, we're talking about getting young people into crafting. Yeah. Because they can personalise. They can do a letter number. Like, my daughter has this this word, I don't even know what it means, that's like her favourite, like secret language with her French. You know what I mean? You can really personalise things with this um, and you can put it into um, base metal findings. It doesn't have to be precious metal. So it could be steel or, you know, it's from a favourite YouTuber, I think. Okay. You know, it's like some, I don't know. Yeah. But you can do all that. <laughs> Actually, you know, my six-year-old said, said that to me the other day. Mummy, this is my favourite YouTuber. I was like, okay. You've lost me. <laughs> You've lost me, darling, but okay, good. Um, £9.99. I mean, come on. Are we good for That's like, what? Well, yeah, exactly. £3.33 each, and you're getting all of your lovely crystals for free. And you can make some really fun embellishments for your costume jewellery. I mean, if you go into your high street shops, most of that is costume jewellery. Yeah. You know, n not very much of it is precious metal. Nope. And it's like 40 quid for a necklace, 30 quid for a bracelet. You can totally bespoke sort of charms, pendants, yeah. blanks that you've already got. Like, that was just plain gold. And I've just, you know, gone to town you on it. You have judged it. I've judged it because I would definitely wear that um, as, as a statement piece. Yeah, for sure. Just popped it on a piece of memory wire. But I think would work lovely for, you know, like the long line necklaces that we like to yeah, wear. Yeah, beautiful. So you've got sort of a chandelier component on the bottom. Amazing. You'll find so many things in your stash that you can use this with. Wow. Um, make sure you do check out those baskets, everybody, at 9 99 You can buy the single tool if you want um, for 1.5 uh, millimetre for $16 or you can get all three of them plus the crystals uh, for 9.99 with us today um, Debbie over to you so this is very technical God. so I've got one of these and this sorry about my block but it does get used all the time it's well loved I yeah I can pretend that I've got a shiny one but no so as long as what you're using will take um, a punch and this is the punch with a hammer then you're going to be fine and I have actually punched into these and they are plated and none of the coating came off and it worked really well so on the bottom you've got this very much like a letter punch you've just got this round circle mm -hmm. and it corresponds with the size of the crystals so you've got three different sizes of these punches and you've got three different sizes of crystal now if you want to be super precise you can get a permanent marker so if you were doing say um, a letter you'd probably do this and you can just mark where you want to sort of punch but I think on this sort of blank it's pretty self-explanatory because you can see where you can yeah. add, add your crystal so all you do is you need a block I've got mine on a rubber block as well it just absorbs some of the shock but it's it's not a, you don't absolutely have to have that so a metal block and then you're just going to pop your punch in the place that you want to pop your crystal take a nice heavy hammer give it a whack now just let me give you a couple of tips about this because it's like punching anything keep hold of it don't lift it up and then just give it a wiggle roly, so roly. you get the whole of the circle now it's very difficult to see on these blanks but I've now got a little circle there so that I can pick my color of crystal so just let me so I'm so excited I was like oh I want that one no I want that one and uh, this is just actually a little very useful little gem pick her up tall but you can use your blue tack it's okay no blue tack the other tack is available <laughs> I can never white think tack. Of white tack um and then what you do ah, is you it pop just, it on it just jumped in yeah so because you've got that little indentation there so that it's kind of it's channel setting essentially in a very basic way yeah and so then what i did was once i'd made all of my little um little channels I transferred it from my block. I'm just going to move, but I'm just going to stay in the same place onto 
a rubber block and then I chose all of my gem colours and sort of laid it out okay. on, on the block so that they were easy to sort of get what, when the time came. And then you want to use a dab of glue. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this and I found um, a really good craft glue that had sort of a little trigger on the side so it just gives out a really tiny little bit of glue and then you want to just dab a tiny bit of glue there and pop your crystal on and then depending on what glue you're using you could use e6000 e6000 will take a while to dry so that's why you want it on something like that's why i put it on a block so that when i finish i'm going to put that aside and leave it to dry without picking it up we've um, got this coming up over the birthday E6000 is amazing, it just works for everything. Um, and you just would pop that dab of, now if your E6000 hasn't got one of those um, precise nibs, mm. what I usually do is I take like a piece of, of packaging, um, or this is just an old lid of a, a, a craft box, and I'll pop that there. And then I'll tip some of the E6000 onto that surface. Yeah and then take, it can be anything, it can be a cocktail stick, this is just an old um, crochet hook. And then I get the glue on the crochet hook first, and then I dab it where I want it to be so that I'm in control of the flow, because you don't want a great big mass of glue so that when you pop your little gem on there, it all splurts out. Now if that does happen, it's not the end of the world because you can take that off with nail varnish remover afterwards and a cotton bud. And same as if the glue goes onto your crystal and sort of makes it a little bit cloudy. You can take, make, make sure it's dry first, but you can take a cotton bud and some nail varnish remover and go across the top and that will get rid of any of the glue. But it literally is as simple as that. And now with the, um, the silver, when I did the birthstone, um, I just literally stamped a letter into that. And if you've got letter stamps, you'll know what I mean. And I did exactly the same process. And this is sort of a concave unit. And I just popped that onto my block, got my punch. And again, just to show you when I'm not punching anything, and this is a, a basic rule of, of stamping, um, rather than just stamp it once, don't lift it up and move it around. It needs to, the anchor point needs to be the same, but you hammer it and then you just sort of wiggle it so that this is a circle so that I'm making sure I've got that whole indentation. And that works as well when using letter stamps like an A or a K or things that if you just give it one bash, you might take off and think, oh, I've only got half the circle. If that does happen, just pop it back into the indentation and, and whack it again. That's not, not the end of the world. And then what you're essentially doing is you're making little channels for your gemstones to sit in or not your gemstones your crystals or you could put flat back anything in there and just glue them in and it's so clever Ta -da! well we've just put some of those lovely sterling silver pendant blanks on the screen as well they're on the website for 9.99 i think that they're really good because i've seen a lot of people using those for birthstone jewelry mm -hmm. so you've definitely got enough room on those for a letter two letters um, maybe an age and then you know maybe you don't want to do a birthstone maybe it's someone's favorite color yeah Amazing. Now, we do have additional. Um, so, perfect to, with your demonstration with this, amazing, yeah. uh, um, with this amazing bit of kit. Now, this, sterling silver, you get the chain, which is so pretty. Such a lovely chain. Oh, that is lovely. You wouldn't think it, the difference between one chain and the, and the other, you know? Mm. They, is, look at that. It's pure white, isn't it? That luster yeah, is amazing. Very... You don't just get that though, you also have a lovely sterling silver pendant here. So um, all you need to do is attach it with the jump ring. And so you could pop either lots of crystals on there and make it really pop. You could do your chakras. Yeah. You could do, you could, if you've got your letter stamps or your number stamps, you could do personalization. Yeah. You don't need to, just with the tool that we've brought you today, you could do somebody's um, initial with the tool. But what I would say is like, do sort of have a little template first, sort of draw on it with a permanent marker yeah. um, or put dots where you want um, to punch and then that will give you a good map point. Map it out. Yeah, map it yeah, out. Yeah, map it out. And they are 925 sterling silver as well so um, the pendant blank is 15 millimeters 925 and your cable chain is a 20 inch chain as well in 925 sterling silver I mean wow that's amazing an amazing deal imagine what you could sell that for yes especially if that was if you do things like your artisanal markets or I don't know craft events whichever it might be and if you had a supply of these yeah and you said look I can I can create 
You know, I can personalise a piece of jewellery, maybe choose your favourite gemstone Absolutely. or favourite colour rather um, and put your initials on there or something like that or, or, or I don't know, coordinates. And it's quite fun, isn't it, like doing this? Like yeah. if you have a look at um, the A, the letter A that I did do, I just did it on the copper blank there. Um, it's not the neatest the first time I did it, so it shows, but you know, it works. Isn't it fun and funky and young and i and think it's all the rage at the moment yeah, isn't it i think it would appeal to if you are doing those craft fairs i think the youngsters would want something like that because yeah. you can and you could do your chakra colors you could do their favorite color um yeah so personalization doesn't have to be just one with a color you can actually do oh. little shapes and it is great. It's such good <laughs> fun, honestly. I was thinking, I was coming up with all things that I could think yeah, I of think, to do. With. I think it's a great idea, and especially on the back of that tool, because um, weirdly, we had we had a conversation with the girls the other day. We were just sat having dinner, and we're trying to encourage sort of uh, with Tiggy, who's only two. I was like, oh, "What's your favourite colour?" Yeah, and she just says says a colour that's in front of her right now. But <laughs> you know, we get she's getting there. But like uh, Willow's going through her Wednesday Adams phase. She's like, "Oh, black." Black's oh, yeah, my yeah. favourite colour, right, okay. Uh, Mummy's favourite colour's green, Daddy's favourite colour's blue, um, and Tiggy or whatever, she's yellow, say. You could put the, your favourite colours of your family on there. Yeah, you could put your family's birthstone. Like, you might not want the names of your children for everybody to see, or even the initials, but you could certainly put their favourite colours or their birthstone colours. Oh, lovely! Or, yeah, I, I love personalisation because it adds to the story of the jewellery, Absolutely. It? I've got one more um, opportunity I can bring you as well. Keep on checking out for those. Now this, yes, um, some lovely components, and you can use these. You can use these uh, um, tools with silver, base metal. Yeah, anything that will take. Obviously, don't heat um, a plated metal to anneal it because you'll take the plating off. But you can heat Excuse anything me. that's precious metal to make softer. So yeah, but you know, I used a lot of base metal and plated components to, to, so that I could tell you and it really worked well. It does. Um, so within this kit, and it's difficult for me to show you, you've got a little tree. Oh, I love that mushroom. A little mushroom. Look at him. Hang on, ready? Oh, he's so cute. Hello, little mushroom. I'm yeah. obsessed with mushrooms. I know they are. They're so cute. Because fairies live under them. That's they do, that's what I tell everyone, yeah. including my grown-up children who Absolutely. raise their eyes at me. Yeah, no, they do. What do you mean? Don't believe it. Um, you have a, mo uh, a moonstone just here as well, <gasps> which is amazing. Oh, full of adolescence. Then you also have the mount. Oh. That you pop this in. I'm holding yeah. it back to front there. Sorry. Oh, come on, Elle. Come on, come on, come on. Tweezer skills. <laughs> here we go. So you can see. So you can actually set that beautiful moonstone. It's got the little lip there oh, as well. Oh, how lovely. How amazing is that? There's and so much you could do with that. Lovely sterling silver components here that you can also, you know, add your crystals, embellish um, all the more to. £12.99, pence. so that's all that sterling silver, plus the little mushroom. And use that in your um, dapping block, dapping and doming block. And I think Claire did a little kind of window scene. She did, it. yes. Um, so you could do that, but instead of, if you didn't, if you wanted to use the charm somewhere else, you could put an initial on the back, but nice. make sure you've domed it first, because don't do any manipulation once you put, do your crystals last. Yeah, absolutely. So do the personalisation as first, in doming. First, yeah, do any forming first and then put your crystals last. Amazing. Okay, now, as if tomorrow, uh, today's shows are already, Ooh, gone um, so already gone. Now, just to show you, tomorrow's going to be equally as exciting. We have got the most amazing show with lovely Mark. Um, so I'm very excited about that too. And I want to show you the early bird just quickly because it is absolutely beautiful. Um, check these out. Swoon. <gasps> Am I holding that the right way? Oh, Hang on. Goodness. Hang on. There you go. There we are. Sorry. There you go. Are they little fans? Yeah, like little, little oh, they're flowers. Oh, so cute. There are 200 available. Um, obviously, a pair of earrings. Make sure you're with me. Um, your deal of the day tomorrow is brand new black jadeite in some new shapes, but they're very, 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 very limited. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and of course, you've got wonderful Mark and some absolutely amazing kits on tomorrow's show. Satellite beads, rondelles, rounds, bicones. 
um, but 50 or less in terms of the actual oh, quantity. Okay. So Ooh, um, just to do a little bit of a uh, do a little bit of a recap, we're putting the ring, ring stretcher graphics back onto your screens just to give you a little bit of a stock update, everyone. You can pop along to Cooks and Gold, get exactly the same tool, exactly the same brand if you wish for, I forget how much it was, was it like 26 pounds, something like that? Yeah. Uh, delivered um, 9.99 with us today especially if your order um, is already open and then it's only an additional 3.95 postage and packaging all day so good. fabulous even if you're not necessarily a, um, a silversmith you, you don't know. need to be everyone no. needs to stretch a ring here on there right? yeah true <laughs> I've probably got more <laughs> than I've I've got probably <laughs> Far too many rings that I need to stretch. You've never got too many rings. No, that's true. It can never be true that you've got too much jewellery. Just no, I agree you. with that. Just probably too much that needs stretching. Oh, <laughs> me too. You and me both. Doesn't fit. Doesn't matter. <laughs> stretcher now it's all good um what an amazing amazing morning it has been oh. once again congratulations to every single one of you um like i said not just on those one-of-a-kind carvings which are absolutely remarkable but on all yeah. of your amazing acquisitions thank you as always beautiful oh, debbie welcome i always always love being with you do you know when you're back sunday sunday yeah. next sunday yeah Oh, fabulous. Oh, not it? tomorrow. <laughs> not tomorrow. Then. No, don't worry, I wouldn't do that again. to you. <laughs> uh, no, that's always good. So next Sunday for our lovely Debbie. Remember, I'm joined by the fantastic Mark tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful Saturday afternoon, everybody, and I'll see you bright and early. Take care.